Alright, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say, hello friends. Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> Took a moment. My apologies. <laughs> hello friends, how's it going? I thought the button was not working. Uh, it's a great day here. It's a great day, it's a uh, somewhat cloudy day, but things are feeling pretty good a-okay. I'm glad you're hanging out with us already this morning. I hope things are lovely wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, thank you for choosing to spend a bit of your day with little old me. Uh, Stimmy, it's good to see you. First person here today, I appreciate that. Hello to you, Freak. Hello to today, Pepper. How's it going, Slivers? Good to see you, my friend. Uh, good. One second. My heater's making a weird sound. I think it's fine. Just my heater's making a very strange sound. I hope it doesn't explode. I'm gonna turn it off for a moment. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's not my heater. Is that the song that's playing? Oh, that's not the right song. Anyway, my apologies enough about that. Uh, which, hey, hello. Hello, Jerry Fodor. How's it going? <laughs> George, welcome in. <laughs> hello, Marks. How are we doing today? Jim, Triscoll, Volo, HPG, Pi, History Teacher Steve, Dado Quist, Signora. Welcome, 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 everybody. Hello, Wizards. How's it going? Good to have y'all here. Yeah, a very strange song come over here on the, uh, the so-called piano stream. Just like loud, weird noise. We're going to skip that one, definitely. Whichever way, uh, today is a Tuesday, we can stream as long as we want to, which is always good for the old CK3 playthrough days, because CK3 is a game that can sync hours and hours of your life just like that, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, we have two things though to discuss as stream begins, uh, one is a brand new RimWorld announcement. We'll get to that in just a second, but first a story from yesterday, so as many of you know, I teach. And uh, yesterday I was in my classroom a little bit before class began, uh, doing some grading, and a student came in, one of my students, said, oh, professor, professor, uh, would you mind meeting someone? And I said, uh, sure, happy to do so, who is it? And I stood up, and it was the student's mother and grandmother. And uh, yeah, they were so glad to meet me, and they'd come all the way over from Los Angeles to spend some time with the... Uh, uh, with the students, and they wanted to meet this professor that he liked, and it was a nice little conversation, you know, good to meet you, I hope your travels are nice, hope you enjoy your time in Japan, and then something, something struck me, so I said, hey, you want to stay for class? <laughs> And they said, yes, absolutely. And only then did I discover that one of them was a high school teacher and the other one was a former professor of education. <laughs> so... <laughs> it was fine. It was good. They hang out in the uh, hung out in the classroom. Uh, after it was over, they came up and said they had such a nice time. We were so glad that this is the kind of education that the student was getting. And then the high school teacher mother offered the number one best feedback a high school teacher can offer, which is, I was very impressed with how you scaffolded your lesson, <laughs> which is the way in which you introduce earlier, easier concepts, and then use them to support later hard concepts. I don't do this intentionally, it's just how I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the uh, college professor said that, uh, that she was delighted to see what the classroom was like from the other side, it's been so long. So that was a, a very nice experience, and the student was very grateful that I had let his mom and grandmother stay in instead of like having to sit in the hall, so that was all very, very good, and uh, a nice, yeah, a nice way of approaching the world, a nice way of, of, of having a little thing different than usual. Uh, when the class began and we announced the the presence of the students' family, many other students went, Aww, I want to bring my mom! And so I made a general announcement that if they all want to bring their families, they can all come. And so I hope they don't all take that seriously or we need some more chairs. 
That said, the majority of the families are in other countries far away, so I don't think I'll have to make do on, or make a good on my promises there. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Hello, Carl. It's good to see you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Folks, it is time for us to discuss the other new bit of knowledge. What is this? Oh, this is the black eggs. These are the black eggs we discussed on stream yesterday. If you eat these, you get up. Another year of life, apparently. So, here is the topic of discussion. It is this right here. It was posted on the Twitter yesterday. This is how the RimWorld people announced new RimWorld DLC. That is the picture we've got. And as usual, it is time for us to point out and discuss literally everything we see in this picture that might be of some note or import when it comes to, um, yeah, when it comes to the next possible DLC. You recall we did one of these, it took about an hour and a half when it was last DLC announced, uh, the one that ended up being Mechanators, um, and we got a lot of things wrong, but this time, what does it mean? What does it all mean? Yes, indeed. Um, the very first thing to say, of course, the very, very first thing to say is what is on that woman's back? We can embiggen it if we want to, but I think I know the answer, and I think the answer makes me sad. So, on the woman's back appears to be a tentacle monster, uh, an eldritch horror, Cthulhu, etc. I just wish we'd stop doing this. <laughs> I wish we'd stop adding Cthulhu to every game we play. Because um, honestly, when it's come to all of the RimWorld DLCs, the parts that I've enjoyed the very much are like, hey, new uh, technology I can imagine in our future. The part I've disliked has been like the magic side of things. So I haven't been a huge fan of, you know, in the first big DLC, uh, there's like kings and queens. Awesome. Um, there's also like psychic magic. Less awesome for me. Because I feel like it goes against the core of what RimWorld was. RimWorld's initially like a sci-fi game with fairly clear um, real-world uh, constants at least. But now, but now, you know, the next one after that was, was ideology. So ideology was mostly like regular world stuff, people imagining stuff, fine, whatever, all good. Um, then there was the children, and like I like the children very, very much. Children are wonderful. Uh, I like the idea of being able to build families and all that other good stuff, but they matched it with, let's play as vampires. Why? <laughs> Why do they keep doing this? So this one, given the calculator and the Cthulhu, I'm guessing it'll partially be you know something to do with looking at old ruins, uh, maybe the ruins we built up some. Uh, as many of you know, every single... Um, yeah, every single uh, map now does have a uh, a ruin on it that's kind of built up, but they are very repetitive. So I'm really, really hoping, I really, really hope there's more about just ruins. Um, but if we're going to find ancient horrors in them, I don't know. I don't know. Just not for me. Yeah, Dogbury, I'm basically the same. Like The, the way in which RimWorld has moved away from being like the Western space opera into so many other kinds of games simultaneously. Ah, uh, just, just not quite for me, unfortunately. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'll definitely play it. But honestly, I've been enjoying the vanilla playthrough of RimWorld uh, more than any of the recent DLC playthroughs. And that, that might just be because I know the old game best, but hard to say. Is it a scalpel next to the pen? I assume it's what's called a pen knife. I think it's called a pen knife, but... Yeah, it might be kind of scalpel-y there. Uh, what else do we see? We see some, like, files of something. Vials of, like, magic alchemy stuff, possibly. And then she seems to have a, a sword or a knife or some kind of tool. And then what's this thing? Looks like a mold, possibly. Has two little ears. She's got a very fancy belt. Some chains. So a chaining between the belt and this book, this book which is locked up. Many of you said this was a book of forbidden knowledge. It seems plausible, seems plausible. She's wearing gloves, and then a block of something. Uh, looks kind of like gold. This makes me think the alchemist element might be correct. So she uses uh, base metals like copper and iron and transmutes them into gold. Um, I don't know how that would work inside of the game. I have absolutely no idea, but it might just be cheese. Very good point. 
I shouldn't assume gold. It could be cheese. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, gold is not a super rare resource in RimWorld. Like, it's it's one you have to work to get, but it's not impossibly difficult to do so. Um, I, I wonder, like... Uh, I, I guess occasionally we have trouble finding enough plasteel, so it could be a way of transmuting basic steel to plasteel. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. She's got some amazing earrings. She's wearing a bit of a collar, it seems, along with the gunslinger est cape. Fascinating. I like that she has glasses. More glasses, more good. And then, is she wearing an earpiece? Or is that just a... Uh, yeah, is that just like uh, the, the inside of her ear is very dirty, possibly? I don't know. It's a cool look you do it for Halloween. Absolutely. If you want to do a Halloween costume like this, I like it. I'm a big fan of it for sure. Uh, pretty cool clothes overall. Oh, there's a second book here. I just now noticed there's the big book to the right and then a, a satchel maybe. Possibly a satchel there. Uh, what are the other things we see around the screen here? Now, you'll recall that last, <laughs> last DLC, we did one of these, and I talked about every little thing I saw in every little corner of the map, and 95% of it was absolutely wrong. But wasn't it fun to speculate anyway? So, once again, we see space junk. Uh, is this a destroyed ship? Is this an asteroid over on the left-hand side? Uh, these little bits of... Um, metal or ore in them possibly so it could be these are the asteroids that occasionally fall or meteorites that occasionally fall and uh, give one resource on the map who knows who knows the asteroids might match your earrings oh interesting there's some interesting uh, color overlap there fascinating uh, on the right hand side we see I guess not too much else. That does seem to be about it. There's not nearly as much background speculation as previously. This time it seems to be the character is the uh, main focus. And so I think I have two questions for you all. Two questions about what you think. Uh, so number one, number one, um, what do you hope is in this DLC? What would be a cool thing to see that you'd really enjoy in it? Uh, based on the picture here, not just like, ah, oh, I want three dimensions, but what do you see from this picture that you can make a, a claim of? Some archaeology. Yeah, my comment was I'd love if they build out the ruins some, if the ruins are not quite so repetitive, if there's more to do in uh, planetary ruins than just, uh, like, pick apart some tables. Uh, character graphic development. Oh, the idea of being able to make your characters more fully kitted. So different kinds of clothing. That would be really, really cool. That'd be really, really cool, is to not just have the plain old boring clothes, but more uh, equipable items possibly give bonuses. Like the calculator's a bonus to research, and the uh, belt is a bonus to, I don't know, charm maybe. People are so distracted by the, uh, the belt that they're willing to do whatever you say. Yeah, Ruin Lore would be very, very cool. All right, and then the other big question. What do you think will be the title of this DLC. Because you recall, you recall that uh, for a while there, people assumed that the DLCs would spell out RimWorld. There was R Royalty, I Ideology, B Biotech, uh-oh, Rib. And so we don't need to have uh, a W necessarily. What do you think might call it? Might call this a DLC, I'm hoping for Alchemy. I'm hoping for alchemy, personally, given the apparent base metals and the uh, bit of gold she's holding, but who knows, who knows, who knows, and uh, yeah, I just hope it doesn't lean too far into the cosmic horror side of things. I'm a fuddy-duddy. There are plenty of games I enjoy playing with that kind of vibe, but... I don't know. I, maybe there's a large population of RimWorld players who really enjoy the cosmic horror, the magic, the uh, the fantasy side of things. It's just not me. Like I, I, I think for for me, for the stories of RimWorld to be compelling, I've got to be able to imagine myself into it, and I just can't do that effectively with cosmic horror, unfortunately. You want more tech tree? You want more tech tree? I get that. The tech tree's been kind of limited for uh, for quite a while here, with only very small additions here and there. Yeah, maybe instead of making a rocket ship, you can make a, uh, I don't know, 
Cthulhu grabs you and pulls you into the sky. That's a victory condition? Possibly, possibly, possibly. Uh, you like alchemy or transmutation, possibly. Is it time for some equivalent exchange? Are we to give up an arm and a leg for Cthulhu? I'd be happy to do that. If only I could have some walking armor, it'd be great. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, those are fine ideas, too. Well, whatever it is, we'll definitely play it when it comes out. I'll definitely check it out when it comes out. Um, we do still have a RimWorld playthrough that's sitting on the back burner right now. We should probably go ahead and get back to that at some point. So maybe after we're done with the uh, uh, current CK3 playthrough, we'll play some more RimWorld, or gosh, who knows? There are just too many good games out there. If I were the DLC image, what would I add to the game? <laughs> I don't know. Glasses? G is for glasses, possibly? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I don't think I'd add much to the to the uh, the old Rim World other than like uh, playing video games all day, talking some philosophy. That's what we got for sure. Eh, it's hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, Blue Link, I definitely agree with you that in the base game, um, architect, architect is an element of the game that isn't terribly well explained. Like, there is some super powerful race or some super powerful group that makes some really interesting technology. Um, I, I liked having that in the background as being an unexplainable element of lore. Um, but I, I hope that the architects are not just giant tentacle monsters. I think it'd be very, very unfortunate. So, <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I, I don't mean to question Tynan. Like, Tynan's obviously someone who's very good at developing games, someone who is, uh, you know, really, really thoughtful about player experience, and I absolutely love that, but I am... I'm just wishing it doesn't get too weird. <laughs> it's the same thing as in Crusader Kings 2, right? There was that one DLC. It's like, let's add Satanism. And not just like as a, a belief that people have about the goodness of knowledge, but instead let, let people directly speak to Lucifer. Because why not? And for me, that kind of soured it. It got silly in a way I didn't exactly enjoy. enjoy so not enough silliness or not silliness of the right kind. Too much silliness possibly. Hello, miss. Good seeing you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, what do I think of the CK3 DLC so far? We've just gotten started in that playthrough, and we'll get back to it in just a moment here. Uh, but the CK3 playthrough is going pretty well. That's that I began it up in Scotland, which not much happens into, except for, uh, or not much happens in, uh, in early game, except England is bothering us constantly. Um, we haven't seen much of the DLC yet, we've seen some diseases pop up here and there, but we're too weak as a power to have any uh, of the legends develop yet. So we're gonna see if there are new legends coming soon. Uh, is this the actual new RimWorld DLC art? Presumably, presumably. Uh, it is on Tynan's um, Twitter right now. Uh, X right now, and, and Tynan posted it with the message, uh, like, it soon rises or something. And the rises makes me think of Tentacle Monster, probably. Uh, is the stream starting earlier or is it just you? Uh, flying is just you, so I don't get daylight saving time. Uh, I, I stay the exact same time streaming 8.30 a.m. every day. Uh, but as you change time zone with the saving time, uh, I definitely do not move. Uh, so I probably move relative to you, but that's how it goes. That's how it goes. All right, I think those are the words. I think that's the opening. Very good, very good. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Where is my CK3? There it is. There it is. There it is. So we'll now bounce back into CK3. We will check out how our little playthrough is going. And I'm delighted to see... But which I mean sad to see that for some reason my game is still stuck on one of the playthroughs we played a year and a half ago. For some reason, every time we open the game, it's convinced we should be playing as Hostine uh, in our giant Nord playthrough. <laughs> so I'm just confused on that. Um, let's see here. Yep, Dung Kill's what we're playing. Weird or weird that keeps loading differently. So what is happening in our playthrough right now? Uh, the big thing to say is we're in the middle of the First Crusade, and the Pope has already sent all of his armies in and is losing this thing as usual. So we'll be seeing in a little bit here whether uh, we can win the Crusade despite the Pope's best slash worst efforts. All right, all right. Yep, what do we see here? 
We see the Pope's troop already in full re uh, retreat, which is definitely how this thing just goes always, always, always. Um, now that said, the Pope does have all of the armies of Europe still coming. He just decided to rush in before they showed up. So back to that in a little bit. Uh, our entire army, the army of Peterhead, is 1,323 men coming from Scotland to assist. It's going to be good, good, good. What else is going on in the playthrough? Well, we changed the color of our um, of our counties so you can see it more easily. We're the green one here, uh, which is part of Scotland proper. Uh, the King of Scotland controls all of this, and the King of Scotland has been going to war against the King of England consistently. Uh, most recent battle was won by Scotland. Uh, the English dared to fight as a crusade was launching. So they lost. Poor Robert Curtos. Um at some point today, we have to get a ducal title to keep the counties together uh, when the king dies. He's only 56, he shouldn't die soon, but we'll see. Uh, also, at some point today, we want to take over the kingdom of uh, Scotland. And we need to do it at a time when we have uh, a higher legitimacy than the king of Scotland. And the reason for this is there's an achievement to do so. I want to get some achievements, absolutely. At some point today. Uh, do we also have a giant lover? Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Our king is lustful. Our king is lustful. So when his daughter-in-law, comma, a giant, there she is, approached him uh, in hopes of being the count's lover, we said, heck yes. Now, as of the moment, we do not have any children uh, produced of that unfortunate union. We'll see if it works out. All I want are more giant children. We'll figure out eventually. For now, though, we focus on none of that and only on getting down to the Holy Land soon, soon, soon. Um, message here from the uh, Duke of Strathclyde uh, to the south, I believe, wants to have a relationship between his mother Agatha de Normandy, and my son Arthur. Arthur is 19 years old, ready for the fullness of his life. And Princess Agatha of England is somewhat older at 33. Now, she is the sister of the current King of England. So this will not give an alliance between England and my counties, but it will give one between uh, the boy here, uh, Malcolm IV of Strathclyde, and... Uh, my troops. Uh, we're of similar size, so the useful alliance. Um, the fellow who we're allying with will probably not be King of Scotland, so I'll accept that. Another army on our side will be useful for me eventually fight against Scotland. Uh, the age of 56 seems kind of old with so many diseases and a lack of hand washing. How dare you? How dare you? There are many things my king does and does not do. One thing, though, is he washes his hands. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we've gone all the way down the big healing, big health uh, tree here. In this, the year uh, 1097, at least my king washes his hands. Uh, as we wait for our uh, navy to arrive with the army aboard, let's watch what happens in the Holy Lands. Let's see if the papal army shows up eventually um, to support the first group who've gotten there. Yeah, here we go. That's the uh, Pope's personal army of mercenaries with that 7,590 there. Uh, beyond that, the army of Croatia is over here. So Croatia is heading there slowly. Are they involved in another war? Uh, nope, only the Crusade. Uh, past that, the HRE has already sent their troops down, I believe. And that is that. All right, I'm going to pause the game now. Uh, the reason why is we are another... Uh, crossword break has arrived, so every 30, that's not true, every hour or so, <laughs> we do an ad break, and during that period, we do some crossword puzzle. So it's time for today's first crossword puzzle attempt. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, today is a Monday, and so on Mondays, we do not get the crossword done. Let's see how this goes. After the ad break, we'll get back to the game. Don't you worry. 
This may be the fourth Monday in a row that we do not finish. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, recovery practice following some BDSM play. Uh, it's called Aftercare, I believe. Good. A chain that dropped juice from its name in 2019. Uh, is that possibly Jamba Juice? It's not that. Uh, one put out by a new flame. So a new flame uh, could be like a new romance, possibly. So an ex-lover, maybe. Uh, the AE looks pretty bad. What's the down? Cracked. Cracked. Uh, the word ajar could be cracked. A uh, plant that lacks both seeds and flowers. Plant with no seeds and flowers. Uh, a fungi, possibly. Um, a... Is it fern? Do ferns have no seeds and flowers? Maybe. Uh, Scottish caps are called Tams. We like that. Uh, second city lines. The second city is Chicago. They have elevated trains or L's. Uh, high wire act. High wire act. Uh, so this could be literally like a circus performance. Uh, it could also be um, a difficult bit of diplomacy trying to keep two parties happy all at once. I do not know. Um, does some weeding. Does some weeding. Uh, cleans up. Weeding could be metaphoric, like editing a paper. Also, what on earth is geal? <laughs> All right, what's RNs here? <clears throat> so some ER workers are RNs good. Uh, device, <clears throat> excuse me, a device applied after Tommy John surgery. So Tommy John surgery is performed on pitchers often uh, to repair the labrum, I believe. Um, to help pitchers continue throwing very, very hard um, after they've hurt their arm. I want to say it's like an arm sling, but an arm stabilizer, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll continue on from here and see what else we can get off the downs. Uh, the green section of a risk board. I assume it's Asia, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, as usual, I will here mention the only good strategy I know in... Uh, risk is pile up on Australia and protect Siam. That's all we got. Uh, let. Uh, let could mean um, a foul in tennis uh, to allow someone to do something. Um, to rent something. Renting is called letting in the UK, I believe. So it might be a rental. We'll see. Uh, Non-resident worker. Um, so Emma Gray feels incorrect. Uh, it could be someone who works online. Does someone who works at distance, possibly? Not sure. Um, arrive from out of town, perhaps. <laughs> How about immigrate or emigrate? Uh, 1991 conspiracy thriller set in New Orleans. I have no idea. Uh, reunion invitee as an alum. Excuse for missing work. My dog ate it. Yes. Uh, having variety in life. So it could be a variety of fruits. It could be a variety of, um, I mean, lots of things, obviously, in life. So life's a board game, life's a magazine, life's a cereal. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, lastly, for now, the picture of the American West. Is it the photographer Ansel Adams? I bet it is. This is feeling like a relatively easy... Um, Monday. Now, with that said, getting both one across and ten across is so, so good as a start. Uh, I'm not going to say it's an easy one, but arrive from out of town and surely fly in and arm what? Arm what? Not sure. Lastly, for now, props is going to be kudos. So the uh, thriller from the Nolans is JFK. I like it. I made a mistake by calling easy. I know, I know. On cloud now is elated. Tournament statistics class is the mode. No more, no more, no more. A fine start on this fine Monday, Tuesday. Back to our CK game. We have a claim on the Chieftain of Australand if I want it. So, in a bit of a panic to get ourselves our first duchy, we're trying to take over Iceland. I don't exactly like this move, uh, but it. It might work out. Um, I don't want to claim on just a chieftain, though. I want to claim on the entire duchy. So I'm going to continue refusing this until we get the ducal claim. And that might take a while, but that's okay. Uh, where is my boat? My boat is still over here in the north of Africa, uh, passing past, I don't know, 
Morocco, uh, Monaco, whichever one is which. Hello cat, become Norse Scots hybrids. So the achievement we're going for is we must be Scottish while also um, while also claiming to be from Egypt. I don't know how it's gonna work. It might be maintain Scottish culture and accept Norse religion, but I don't wanna do anything that changes culture at all lest we uh, fail the achievement we're going for. So we shall see. All right, the Pope has sent even more armies in. He's gonna win that battle, except for the part where the enemy sends in even more troops. And the Pope is getting disembarkation penalties. Oh, you foolish, foolish Pope. You fool, you fool, you fool. <sighs> All right, how do we help? Well, the secondary armies are currently taking Northern Africa. This is not actually the war goal. Uh, to get the Crusader perk, which is our main reason for being here, we need to land in the war target area, named the Kingdom of Jerusalem. And I think we may need to complete a siege. I can't remember how that works these days. It used to be just land in the area and you're good to go. Uh, we need to land at a safe time. We will not get immediately stepped on. So we'll look at that in a moment. For now, though, we have another point in stewardship so we can continue uh, improving the developments and growth and buildings of our many, many fine holdings here. Just need more money to do more fine things. Ah, uh, the Pope loses again. So if all of our armies get stacked together here, uh, be about 11,000 or so, we have my force coming also, as well as additional troops from Europe. I think if everyone's here, we will win the next big, big battle. We just need to be cautious and make sure we join our troops in at the time the Pope is ready to turn. Uh, one further thing to say is I need to be absolutely certain that my uh, Lord does not become leader of this uh, stack. And the reason for that is my Lord is not an especially good commander. He's only an eight in martial and a zero in personal combat. So when I'm on the battlefield, but not leading the thing. So we wait here to see what the Pope's army does. Looks like they might be heading to CCC once more. So I'm gonna march on to Tripoli. I don't wanna waste all of my money going to sea repeatedly. And it looks like the enemy is sending relatively small stacks in right now. That is fine. We're gonna sit here and watch what the Pope does. Are we fighting the Pope? We're fighting with the Pope. The Wope, the, the Wope, sorry. The Pope has decided it's time to fight Jerusalem. They're going to land in Jerusalem directly or the kingdom thereof, which we prefer is not the case. And the reason we'd like them not to do that is because they're surely gonna get disembarkation penalty and it's gonna be a tremendous problem. That said, where is the death stack of the enemy? Is AI still broken for crusades? It depends on what you mean by broken. Like, if you're saying, um, do, does the AI know how to successfully win crusades without player intervention? The answer is not really. <laughs> the answer is not really. In part because the giant army here is now only 6,000 people. Where did the other, I don't know, 12,000 armies go? I think the Pope may have attritioned everyone. It is entirely possible. Nonetheless, the important bit has been done. At least we showed up. We got our participation, participation prize. The armies stand poised to take part in the crusade for Jerusalem. St. George willing will soon rise victorious. The blood of heathens painting the soul red. May St. George lead us to victory. We are now a crusader king. Hooray! Hooray! Also, I see that my uh, bishop now loves me, so we can stop swaying him. Pretty much everyone in the council, but for our spy master, loves us. Uh, we're both crusaders, though. It's time for us to have a conversation about the good times when we were crusading. That is beautiful. Uh, have a conversation. All good, all good. Yeah, it's the name of the game. They said it. They really said the name of the game. Uh, but yeah, the Pope's big problem in, um, in Crusades is always, 
always, always, always, he moves half his armies in, uh, and then his second half of the armies in, and they each independently lose. <laughs> so he's never particularly good at having all of the armies ready at once, and that is unfortunate. We got an unpressed claim on the Earldom of Iverness. This is a new hairstyle. These were added in the game recently. Uh, men at least are able to start, start going bald. And I've been told this is at least partially hereditary. So we have a claim now on the Earldom of Inverness. Where is that in Scotland? It is to the north. It is part of Strathclyde, which is now all around us. How strong is Strathclyde? Uh, about our strength, a little bit stronger. That's fine. We have a claim there we could potentially push in a while and get ourselves some more territory. Unfortunately, though, not a duchy. Uh, Diggle, you say I uh, talked about the new Rimworld picture release. Absolutely. I have this new picture here uh, all about what's coming in Rimworld next, next DLC. I'll be curious to see what happens, but it is likely to be the case that it's going to be um, something involving elder gods and such. All right. So the large army of... The Islamic faith is coming now. As long as as long as the AI Pope backs out and takes it with the large stack, we're fine. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the army of Croatia is getting in boats and leaving boats over and over again. They're trying to avoid desert attrition, but they're wasting money and taking a terrible penalty by going back and forth. So we'll see what happens. Have I ever played uh, as the Pope in this game? It's not possible to do so. Uh, so one of the standard rules of CK, at least in CK2, uh, was that you may never play the Theocracy. Um, I don't know exactly why that is, except there are very different mechanics for a Pope playthrough than any other playthrough. All right. So now that the army of Croatia has moved off, um, the Arabic army is marching north again. We just need to finish the siege here. For whatever reason, the papal army has abandoned their siege, leaving only me behind. Uh, my army may not personally siege us down. because We're just a little bit too small to do much of anything. I should reinforce, I should reinforce this army in the middle, but I just want to finish the siege first. And I'm not sure my 11,000 or 1100 men will do anything. It's a bit of a meat grinder here. Blue is our side, red is theirs. More and more men go flying in. The siege will be done in 28 days and then we're running away. Just fight, fight you Christians. Fight that I might run. 19 days. Oh, we're going to get destroyed, aren't we? Oh, that's so terrible. All right, how many days remain? Five days. Their battle's in the resolve phase. Welp, we didn't even finish our siege. <laughs> Has anyone ever done a whole Rimworld playthrough? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we've done rumor playthroughs with many goals, and we've blasted off the ship and so on. Um, yeah, I've probably done like four or five complete rumor playthroughs. They're good fun. The warriors of St. George found only death and humiliation at the gates of Jerusalem. The crusade so eagerly called and supported by Pope Innocentius ended in disastrous defeat that's only hurt the cause of the faithful. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels to further stray from Catholicism. St. George has abandoned us. That said, that said, we did get ourselves a lovely crusader title that can never be taken away. Uh, while my armies worked their way back home again, let's now consider the goodness of Scotland. Also, I've not checked on Europe recently, so has France or... Um, the HRE falling apart yet. Uh, no. That said, France has got a problem in its midsection. The French boils. I've heard of the style of French cooking. <laughs> French boiling. Uh, we had a disease very close to our capital um, on yesterday's playthrough, but it didn't quite get to the capital, at least, at least. Uh, when not 
uh, raising the army we're positive for money right now we do not have full men at arms stacks yet i'm going to continue with that for right now until i get a little bit more money produced once we're over five a month again i'll start building up the men at war stacks most especially some siege weapons would be very good are we irish no i just changed to the green color so it stood out more uh, all the colors up here are usually kind of sort of yellowish and i couldn't easily find what i owned if you want we can change the color we can change a different color but green really pops here nicely because we are indeed a scots folk thank goodness a Alice Dole, thank you for the continuing subscription uh, via a hit people guy gift sub hpg thank you for that support earlier six month gift subscription Alice Dole, it's good having you as part of our community too and uh, yeah, thank you for all the generosity, HPG, and everybody else also. We go pay homage to our king. So recently, the king of Scotland died. Uh, my nephew is now on the throne. My nephew here, who's a murderer and an irritable person, let's go visit and promise to be loyal. But I'm going to give him nothing other than my word. So my word, here we go. There is no danger if I bring mercenaries. With no mercenaries, there's one medium danger, I believe, in our ability to not have the king die on the road. That said, we gained 75 dollars dues thanks to the good work of our son, Melmure the Steward. Uh, Melmure the Steward is also uh, producing two children already. Both of them, though, are little girls, which are not quite as helpful as we'd like. Do we have a claim to the throne? The uh, throne of Scotland? That's a fine question. Um, yeah, we do. Absolutely, we do. It's a press claim. That claim exists because our brother is the starting, or was the starting, King of Scotland. So we can go for that eventually. All right. We're ushered into King Duncan II's great hall. He sits his throne, waiting to hear my pledge. I kneel, I say the magic words, and he says, Presto changeo, you're a good vassal now. Hail to the king. Hail to the king. Remembering birthdays past, I turn yet a near, another year older and wiser. Remember back to a wonderful party I once had. Everyone who is there is now dead. How joyous it was, though. They're dead, they're dead. I still have this book called Prince Malmire's Book About Books. It's still equipped. I think about them in the good times and lower stress again. Our stress, though, is at zero right now, so it's less essential that we got that kind of event. That said, do the extra tax, we have big, big, big money. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we need to make sure that the counties we're strengthening first and most are those that are descending to our number one son. So he is getting the capital and then Bukhan slash Banff up this way. Uh, Banff has no buildings at all. And Dunkeld has one more upgrade possible, which costs 212 money. I'm going to hold off on that first and go ahead and uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, get that upgrade done. We're back home again. Everything is safe and good. We can throw a tournament. Nah, we're good. We can start our own family. Nah, we're good. Uh, other things to think about while we're waiting for a little bit more money um, would include what i guess marrying off any unmarried children so you're married already this son and knight is unmarried we should give him a family this one's already married to a prince of england that will help eventually with uh, a good alliance for now though david dunkeld age 23 a fine knight with his seven points and prowess <laughs> we got some lousy knights let's find you a bride and I've got no special desires for who you marry. So the game suggests we marry him off to Anna Verk Allen de Cornois. She's a 20 year old insane lackey. She is indeed eccentric. We've never played as an eccentric character. I may have to do a uh, self created character at some point who is both eccentric and a witch. That'd be fun. Not today, though. All right, a fine marriage, uh, no changes to prestige legitimacy etc hopefully they enjoy their time together okay good good well playing is this insane so like a lunatic playthrough i've found very funny but also it's incredibly difficult to do what you want to do 
But yeah, maybe we could start a playthrough eventually that is Lunatic plus, um, plus Eccentric plus the other one I mentioned a moment ago. Could be fun stuff eventually. Uh, next line down is begin thinking about relationships for the grandchildren also to set up some good marriages with alliances in the future. But for the moment, we'll hold off on that. The kids are still only 10 or so. Uh, the county of Angus was recently taken over, so it needs some support from our local uh, marshal to keep it in line. Actually, all three of these need some help. They were taken over in a recent peasant war, I believe. We would also like to use our marshal to begin encouraging the other encouraging the other knights to do a little bit better with themselves. And past that, is there anything else I really want to do? Nah, not especially. We can get secrets and hooks. If we want to attack the neighbors, um, because of the current crown law, we need to have the permission of our king. So to develop permission from the king, we need to blackmail him. So I'm going to have my spy master go spy on the king of Scotland and see what he can tell us about the world. How many soldiers does Iceland have? Yeah, Iceland is about, what, 2,000 right now. So we're a little underneath that. That said, we do have a few, oh no, uh, we do have a few um, allies who will help us push that for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, a child of my dynasty. My daughter-in-law has produced a little girl. Unfortunately, she truly is a little girl. Giantism did not pass through. There's a real possibility that we're the father of this girl. Secret secrets, secret secrets, secret secrets. Uh, we could do a liberty faction, force to lower the law. We could do that. And in fact, Duke Guthroth has it's just started a liberty faction against him to lower the crown law. So what is that duke? That duke is the duke of the Isles out this direction. Um, sure, I'll join that one. I am now the leader of the faction against Duncan II. We're not super strong. We'll see if other people decide to, uh, to join into this thing. If we had hooks, we can force them in. Uh, but as right now, no one else wants to join. My game is hanging slightly more today than usual. Usually the game doesn't hang much at all until a uh, fairly late game. So I wonder if there's some change to the game that causes uh, a little more processor demand than previously. But no problems at all. Hey, we're rich. Hey, we're rich. Time to build our upgraded blacksmith. And then we can't yet upgrade the castle. So this is all the upgrades possible on our main capital holding, which means next up is leveling up Banff, which has a bunch of open slots, 90 money or so for each of those. Um, I'm probably going to build this up as a military holding, as opposed to being a holding for um, just money, because in the future this will not be an important holding, just right now it's very important. And as mentioned, we're now plus six money a month, so we're going to build up our military just a little bit and begin getting those men at arms to go with the pikemen and the first regiment we'll make is a one moment murder most foul my spy master has discovered a secret held by the duke guthroth guthroth good -de. good he was the man behind a failed murder against the duke gila nanaim so, unfortunately, the fellow we've discovered a secret on is already part of our faction, so this is not super useful by any means. All right. Sure would like some siege weapons. They are 66 money to get started. The other useful regiments up here are what? This area here is very hillsy. A lot of hills, a lot of hills. So what is good in the hills again? Uh, pikemen have a bonus in the hills, so just more pikemen would be absolutely wonderful. But we'll hold off on that for a little bit. If we want to, we can form a hybrid culture with the Gales. We're not Gaelic people. We're Scots through and through. Speaking of Scots, though, I noticed that the culture of my home county is Gaelic instead of being a Scot. So we could instead attempt to change the culture 
of our capital and have, um, which button is culture, and have uh, Scots running through here. Scots start in the south, but could go north eventually. Um, as of right now, though, to do that, we would need to have our steward stop collecting taxes and begin instead to change culture. As of right now, I need the taxes. Plush and exotic carpets. A plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arrives as a gift from Earl Robert. Earl Robert cannot be trusted. Earl Robert is a murderer. Earl Robert is probably trying to hide or dampen his soft steps. I'll be refusing this carpet for a little bit more cash money. Hey, how's it going? It's Rockle Waifu. It's good to have you here. Um, court amenity setting, decent fashion, has been invalidated back to last century fashion in this person's court. I don't know why we're learning about what Wallachi is up to. Very strange. That said, our wife and lover has died. Oh, Stella, life is not the same without you. You had an apoplexy. The same as our father slash brother, whoever it was before. At least we have some memories. We've gained three stress points. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, frankly, but at least she was a good mother to our many children. Uh, we have some good memories. It is not how time to marry off again. We did take a giant as a lover earlier. Unfortunately, she's already married to our son, so we're not gonna be able to take her as our new queen. So instead, so instead, I think it's time to find a nice stats queen to take care of us. Uh, most notably, we need a little bit more uh, stewardship because we're just under our domain uh, holdings right now. So I want someone with halfway decent stewardship who is of a worthy rank. Ideally, I want this person to not be producing any children. Um, Ermagard de Bourbon. She's a fine French woman. She is of a family bourbon, so a worthwhile family potentially. Could come along. Below that is a blind person. A blind person who is a sinful fornicator and also scaly and also blind and also ill. This woman is not having a good life. I think marrying her while hilarious is not the call right now. Um, under that, a nice Norwegian woman who is lowborn. We don't want to marry a lowborn person because it'll ruin our legitimacy. And we need to keep that. So I'm going to order briefly by stewardship and see highest stewardship on a person of some amount of, of fame. This person, 51 years old, has big stewardship, has a claim on a county. You know what? The House Ferez is a dynasty better than mine. She's from the south of France. This is surely a love match, as opposed to a match entirely based on what's best for the kingdom. I've got some doubts on that, possibly. <laughs> have some doubts. I, Ida, accept your hand in marriage. That's beautiful. Hope that makes our, our families grow bigger and better than ever before. And now we have a domain cap of six, uh, with our wife focused on the domain. I'm gonna move her over to focus on nothing in particular. We dropped to five out of five. We have bonuses though to all of our different effects then. Looks like my entire court is on my side now. The council supports me. So in that case, there's no one we necessarily need to begin swaying. Unless we want to sway the other larger vassals to see if they're interested in joining the faction against our liege. So, we had the Duke of the Isles join us. Uh, Strathclyde here, held by this 15-year-old, hates, 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 hates his king. But he's also terrified of him. So, he'll never oppose him directly. Now, let's check in Lothian. One moment. Uh, Lothian is also terrified of the king, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and try to sway him, see if he'll potentially join me. Uh, I think with that terror, though, he will never do so unless we force him into the faction uh, via a hook. And we don't have that quite yet, unfortunately. A message from our spy master in the capital of Scotland has not found any secrets, but can still try. 
keep it up. Find me a secret against the king or perhaps against any other duke. Please, please, please. We can declare a war on the king of England. I have no reason to do that. We can also claim the title of Scotland. Now, this might be a worthwhile idea. So, are we of higher legitimacy than the king of Scotland? We are. We absolutely are. There are relevant achievements I need to look into right now. Hey, Explosive Sea, how's it going? Good to have you here. Is Scotland being conquered? So we're part of Scotland. We're a, a minor count, actually, underneath Scotland. We're going from achievements, though, involving taking our king's title. So claim throne scheme, I don't believe that one can do if you already have a claim. Um... What are the other ones relevant? Isn't there one involving just successfully take your king's title? I don't recall exactly what it is. Here we go. So upward mobility I'd like to have. Successfully claim your liege's title while having a higher legitimacy level than them. So this is the one we could easily get. Wait, it's claim title. Now, when it says claim here, do they mean win or do they mean have the claim developed via, via a claim title scheme that is ambiguous okay claim the legis title if you control a percentage of the counties that are de jure one of your legis titles you can spend prestige to get an unpressed claim on it uh you have to have 51 percent of the t uh, counties to have a direct claim on that. Also, you already have a claim on the title. So I'm not sure which one they're saying there. I'm not sure. Let's look at our allies, though. So we have an ally with the Duke of Normandy, and there was Strathclyde. Uh, Strathclyde will not help me in taking the title, I believe. That said, um, the Duke of Normandy has 2,000 troops. 2,000 uh, times, not times, <laughs> plus our 1,500 should be enough to take Scotland's throne. It'd be very, very close. He has no money, though. That could be good. I can claim the duchy? Is that true? Oh, I see. Yeah, we could claim the duchy. I don't need that, though. Um, that would be super great um but i don't need to upset the king in that way attacking him for my title namely claim of the king of scotland is the goal i uh, duke of man help me so man is also part of scotland i believe yep man is part of scotland so no now can i start a faction to put myself on the throne of scotland Maybe. One moment. We found some deer up in the northeast, up in Peterhead. So we can go look for deer, look for hunting. Fascinating. We have five years to deal with that one. Uh, can we start a faction? So I can't do so right now. Possibly because they're already leading one faction. So I could abandon this faction. I'm going to do that. And then create a claimant faction on me, Resorty for King of Scotland. And then we'll see if we get people to join us eventually. So many of them like me well more than they like their liege, but they're not exactly interested in joining because again, they're terrified of the liege. Have we found a legendary hunt? How dare you bring that up? <laughs> legendary hunts have not been implemented in the game. We have never ever seen one. It is definitely unacceptable. Got a message here, a message from, uh, who that? The Earl of Ross would like to marry himself to our granddaughter. For 444 troops, we say absolutely not. That said, while I'm thinking about attacking Scotland, let's go look at the grandkids and see if any of them are able to get me a big old alliance here. At the top, we have Count Ulrich of Speyer. He currently has 700 troops. That's not very much at all. <laughs> so, 
Uh, so no. What's the cost of mercenaries at this point also? Um, the smallest one is, 80, is 250. King of Scotland has not that much. So he can't raise mercenaries. That said, he now has 3,586 military strength. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. That's more than you should have. <laughs> Uh, we've discovered, we've discovered that the Duke of Man has tried to kill my nephew, the Prince of Scotland. This is the kind of thing we've needed. So he is involved in murder most foul. We blackmail him. He definitely does not want people to know this. So, secret secrets. He begs us. Oh no, oh please, do not tell anyone that I tried to be a murderer. So, now that we know that, may I invite him to our faction? I can force him to join with his 1,400 troops. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, he has now joined. We are nearly as strong as our king. If we can just find a way to get Lothian to join us, that would be beautiful. I'm going to have my uh, spy master continue to look. And we'll see what happens. Have I considered rallying the Scots under one banner? Absolutely! The banner of me! We're working on it gradually. The bad guy is clearly the pretender king. Murderer as he is. We're going to get our face paint on and uh, yell freedom a whole lot. It will be a very good way to go soon. Uh, on stewardship. On stewardship, on stewardship, on stewardship. We can use the claim throne scheme on our liege. Again, I don't know if we can do this, we already have a claim. I suspect we can't. Um, so if we could give up our claim, that would be very useful. <laughs> um, this is selling back hooks for money. I don't want to do that right now. But we could go down to getting even more money more quickly. I think, I think, I think we're just going to continue our architect because more buildings, more good. Larger garrisons, more defense, all grand. I think we're not going to hire mercenaries for this attempt on the king. Why do you have such large military strength? You have about a th 500 over top of what you should have. Strange. All right, Angus has now been fully brought back into line. So Angus is fully controlled. So too are all of the Northeast territories. Uh, our marshal has finished that job. We're now going to have him begin work and make our commanders better because we have absolutely terrible commanders right now. Uh, we don't have a single siege commander at all. Uh, how long to our next pop here? Three months, another chance of finding some dirty secrets in, uh, in Scotland. OMG, you're born in Angus? I promised promise to take very good care of you as you are beneath my throne's title. The Pope would give me a claim on the Isles. The Isles is a lot of territory. They're also looking pretty weak. So we need to have a hook on the king to be able to attack these fine folks. Also, also, they're currently involved in a war in Croatia. Also, they're a multi-sinner here. Adulterer and Sodomite and Rakish. All three of these could be developed from just one uh, unfortunate interaction. So the Pope does not like that fellow at all. I'm going to say no to the claim for right now, but we'll hold on. All right, we'll continue building up our Northeast territories right here. Uh, like I said, I want to improve... Improve what? This is a port town. Often diseases come in via ports. So I'm going to go ahead and build up the hospices here with a mind to get the money and also to hopefully defend the port even better. Cool. I said I was going to make uh, Banff into a military town instead of a money town, but I can never say no to more cash. Uh, as mentioned, though, next time we're at 66 money, I'll go ahead and get myself my first siege weapon stack. I'm now pulling in seven money a month. How's Scotland do by comparison? They're pulling in three a month, so I have a better economy than my king, uh, in part because he personally holds only two counties. 
Uh, I'm a little surprised he's not attempted to take anyone's counties uh, from them to build up his own economy. My Marshal Kyleen has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be of noble stock as you, but on my name, I swear that Flatem is someone you want on your side. He has a 15 in personal combat and a 20 in martiality? Heck yes. Welcome to knighthood instantaneously. Hostages boost counties, not holdings. Oh, interesting. Cat, thank you for that. I did not know that. So it's not just the barony, but the entirety of the county of Buchan there. Thank you for that very much. I could change my cadre to get the right to wage wars on a hook. Very good point there. Very, very good point. Um, so it is the case that you can get a war declaration sanctioned, which means that I can go to war all the time. So we could pay more in taxes, or we could give him even more troops. Or we can get a hook against him. I'm right now worrying, working on getting the hook, so we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm not in any great hurry to do much here. As long as England does not take over all of Scotland, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. And I don't think the King of England has a claim on Scotland. Nope, not at all. So, uh, this is the family of Normandy passing on through. We'll be fine, though. Alistair Dunkeld, my son, Chancellor and Knight has managed to learn about blade mastering. Not an amazing knight yet, but will improve very well. Also, I want to check into our heir. No sons yet. His wife is 33, he is 31. Two daughters, but not a son. Freeman's fortune. Broken, a free tenant renting my land in the Mairns, has pulled in an exceptional harvest this season due to meticulous planning. He wishes to use some of his profits to purchase a piece of my estate from me so he can build upon successes and grow even more crops next year. I can invite him to join me. He has a 23 in stewardship. As of right now, we don't need to have vassals on our council, so this could be very, very strong for improving our economy. Or he can give me 65 money, or I demand that it's mine forever. I will definitely invite him to join my court and immediately make him into my my steward. With my apologies to my son, Brokhan wins for sure. Uh, our son's a little bit cranky about having his title taken. That said, he is still all about the king. A uh, new secret has been found. We learned that Drust Mek Amle has a dirty secret. His dirty secret is he has a lover. King Duncan's antiquarian. That is fine. We're going to blackmail him. He wants to keep it secret, probably, that he's a lover. And these are the kind of hooks we develop to potentially be able to get money in the future. Also, also, my steward was wounded in training, but it's healed up very quickly. That's lovely. That's lovely. All right, plus 89 money. Um, so in just a moment here, we can build up other things in other locations. Duke Goss Patrick's on my side also. He is still uninterested in joining. He's still terrified of his king. A shame, a shame. Uh, now it's time for the awkward decision. The awkward decision is do we begin to build up our other holdings for fear that my sons will all take different ones? A scheme at the court. Someone trying to kill my son Alistair. Is it possibly his rival, comma, his brother? Is it possibly the caravan master and physician? I definitely understand why his brother would try to kill him as he has a whole bunch of claims on a whole bunch of uh, counties and we'll get at least one of those. So, there is villainry afoot. I don't mind if his son dies, exactly. I shouldn't say that, but it is true. <laughs> uh, I've decided we are going to build up our other holdings and hope we can get Scotland or at least a duchy created before the current king dies. Age 61, he feels fine still. Don't you worry. So, oh, never mind. I forgot. With the money we have, we want to uh, create our first siege weapons. So bring me the mangonels, please. Cool. They'll fill up then. 
And I don't believe we have any place to station them that makes them significantly better. So we'll throw them up here in Dundee for now. The Dundee Siege Battalion. The Dundee Sappers. The Dundee Throwers. Whatever you want to call them. It's a fine name for our Dundee folks. Um, next up, I want to increase the size of my pikemen. Because they fight so very, very well in hills. And we're definitely having hill battles soon. Cool. I'm going to go speed 4 for a while. Though I do see there's a plague spreading nearby. The English are set upon by Alguin's Pox. Infections in Ripon. Lovely Ripon there. Alguin's Pox is a minor uh, plague. No big deal. Punishment is smallpox. In what way did the English offend God this time? So no more secrets found. This is our third consecutive no secrets found. But the Spymaster really believes there's still something there. So you may look one more time. One more time. Our culture discovered coinage. What a lucky day. What a lucky day. Show me what coinage does, please. I can't quite recall. Um... Coinage gives us additional development growth. So our capital will build up very nicely. We love it. We love it very much. What did the English do wrong? They definitely existed. I like that. <laughs> Alguin's pox has spread to the barony of Schoon. That's right, friends. I don't to say that one name. Schoon. No. Which is only a county away from my capital. Uh, if the capital gets infested, or infected rather, we move the king on a quick little journey. And the reason for that is there's an achievement to do so. I also need to move the king for a quick hunt in a bit here. I'm going to wait just a minute to see if, it's exp uh, if it spreads. And we're going to move north either way. While traveling in the hills of my capital... I find a makeshift looking stall by the side of a track. I stop to look, a peasant by the name of Findley jumps into action, trying to convince me to buy a small cross carving he has on sale. I make him by hand, my lord. Each one takes me hours of work. All right, so I shall buy one for 65 money. It could be a little carving to go in our inventory. Or at least we support local business, making the people of my capital love me more. Or, I doubt this stall pays taxes, where's your business license? Or, I'll talk to him and learn about salesmanship. It's only 65 money. I need more items early game, so I'll buy one. It works out! We get a small religious carving for one piety a turn. That's not a lot but certainly better than having no items in the slot. We have four items, one for each inventory slot, all garbage, 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 but I'll take it. My spy master's discovered the Duke Malcolm. The Duke Malcolm, who is not yet in my faction, I believe, has engaged in carnality with Elizabeth, running his hands across, oh gosh, all right, useful to know. Do you want everyone to know about your sins? He might. He might want to keep it quiet. 80% chance we have the hook against him now. And so, may we invite him to join our faction. Is he already in my faction? He is not. Why can't I invite him in? Hmm, for some reason he is not showing up at all on this page. He's not in the other faction, because that's peasants. I wonder if the... Oh, he needs to be strong hook. Thank you. Weak hooks will not do it, unfortunately. Also, unfortunately, my marshal has died of another ap apoplexy. This keeps happening. Now, luckily, we have this fellow named Kayleed that was sent over to us by one of our uh, fellow vassals. He is real, real, real good at Marshall Matters. We have him join us. That's Marshall Matters, not Marshall Mathers. Don't worry. And we now know of Chronicle Writing. So what is it to write our Chronicles? What does that give us? Chronicle Writing gives us um, pressing multiple claims and more. Also, uh, CB 
of wars are cheaper and zealots are more common. They read the book and decide that God matters most of all. My daughter-in-law, Anna, this is the wife of my fourth son, has given birth to a child named Jean. She's Frenchified. Jean, or Jean, if you prefer, is not a true Scots name. So you have to insist in some other name. What, how do we make the name Jean into, into Scots? I'm going to call you Jeannie. Jenny. Jenny O'Dell. Beautiful. I like it very much, very much. Also, our spy masters died. Everyone's dying all at once. Bertha's a very good spy master. She will like us when she's on the, um, yeah, when she's on the uh, council. I believe in you. Uh, we need to start swaying the people on the council here. What's your problem, boss? Your problem, boss, is that we're a sinful person and you're big angry. I have no idea what I did to him to make him big angry. We'll try to become friends, though, and see what happens. And King Duncan of Scotland would like his son and heir to marry our second granddaughter. This will potentially lead to an alliance in the future with Scotland. Once the current king dies, we cannot have that. I'm terribly sorry. It's very sweet of you to offer that. You're trying to keep me in line. No, no, no. But then, but then the plague has not expanded. It's just next door still. Uh, it's time for a hunting trip. It's time for a hunting trip. I'm going to trust that the uh, capital not get infested. But first, a nose for profit. We're at a leisurely stroll. Brokhan, my steward, likes the etchings on that piece. It's quite a valuable one. So we could try to buy a trinket and have an okay negotiation. Maybe gain some stewardship. I can choose a particular piece. I can trust my steward is likely to give us a good outcome, or let's move on. So 80% chance of good enough outcome for 15 money, let's do it. It was successful, we spent 15 money for 50 stewardship, we love it, and got a new item called Centicore's Horn, a bonus to fertility, a questionably shaped lump of horn purportedly from the mythological Centicore. Is it like a manticore, but with pennies? Fertility is needed on my boy. I need you to produce more children. So I'm going to give him this weird item that uh, the, the people guaranteed, the seller guaranteed, you will give me a son. Good luck to you, Malmure. I wish you the best of luck. Centicore's 100 horns? A lot of horns. A lot of horns. Too many horns. I have learned another secret that William, this fellow, doesn't really believe in the gods. He's an absolute whiz when it comes to diplomacy. So, if I have a hook on him, I might be able to get him to join my court. He had an 80% chance of being blackmailed. He refused. He's okay with everyone knowing that he is not a true Catholic. We expose it. He doesn't like that. Not my problem. Uh, time for our trip to the north. Let's have a hunt. I have no match for the hunt. Did the giant die? Wait, why do we have no match for the hunt? <gasps> the giant must have died. Friends. Friends, our grand accolade is gone. Also, I didn't change the title correctly. It's supposed to be the Mountain of Athol, because it was named after a giant initially. That's very sad. Does that mean we have no more giant suns hanging out? We'll go hunt in a moment, I promise. Um, in my realm, bring me any and all giants. There's just the one. And she has not produced a giant sun yet. Whew! May have to recruit more soon. A giantless Scotland is no Scotland for me. Right, Master of the Hunt is needed still. All right. Our son, an awful gambler, will take over. Good kid. 
Uh, we should probably also have an antiquarian as we have some items. There's not very good items, so <laughs> I'm gonna hold off on that for right now. All right, allow us to go for our hunt, hunting deer, I believe. It doesn't say there's a deer spotting, but I know there was. So, to Peterhead. We have three medium dangers, that's fine. I'm gonna increase my chance of finding the animals. That's too expensive, never mind. And what do we wanna do here? We wanna slay that beast. We're already at very low stress. Here comes the hunt. I'm hosting a hunt in Peterhead and the time has come for us to depart. It's time to put our skills to the test. Hmm. Maybe we're slightly too slow for the, uh, the hunt notification. I thought it was five years though. Maybe it's only three. Whichever way, we've arrived, we set up camp, we preemptively put out the stew pot, hoping to find some meat someday. Soon, very soon. While we're out there, we have a little conversation about money, 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 and we can get even faster levy reinforcement for the ongoing battle. Hey, God Pharaoh, how's it going? Hello, Grobzilla, hello, Jaffa, hello, everybody. I'm using your name in my title. Yeah, there's a really cool new achievement in CK3 in which you're able to uh, be Scottish and claim to be Egyptian. And they make a delightful joke on Faroe Islands and the Pharaoh. It's great. Alistair summons the party around. He knows there's a stout buck out there. Let's hunt the stag. I believe in you, that is my goal. The noise of the others has faded as my nephew King Duncan and I stalk upon the stag. We're almost within striking distance when Duncan whispers, We're finally alone. There's something I must tell you about Neuter, the knight. Well, we could say maybe later, or tell me, tell me. I do not care at all about my, um, my knight secrets. Some other day, for right now, I need success. How'd the crusade go? We lost it, of course. The Pope is terrible. <laughs> so the first crusade was a failure. I'm sure the second crusade will be much, much better. Poachers in my woods? It's more likely than you think. The poachers huddled together. They try to hide a dead stag. Did you take my stag? My stag? Luckily, they will teach me the ways of bowmanship. And so now we're more better at bowing than ever before. We're approximately one point into the many, many points we need in Wienator. But then, we learned that my caravan um, leader, Muir here, is trying to kill my son, Alistair. I don't exactly claim, uh, care if he dies, but shame, shame, shame. We've uh, publicized knowledge of our son's attempted murderer, Hope that our care of master chills. We spotted the buck. It's hard to see, but we believe in it. After it, we ride. We attempt to corner the stag. While looking for the stag, we find more peasants causing more problems. Foraging, foraging, foraging. Surely there must be better things to do in Peterhead than eating my roots and mushrooms. We can drive them out. We can give them some money. Giving them money is the good guy thing to do here. Better success chances, also better chance of the peasants having a, uh, a good life. There we go. We sent ourselves into bankruptcy for two months or so, but that's all right. We also get ourselves more hunter experience points because as for hours of riding, we find the wily beast. Our chase has not been in vain. So I may shoot it, defeating the beast, I can go stab it with a 30% chance of dying. I will shoot it. I believe in our bowmanship. Ha ha! I take aim, I fire, and somehow I succeed. This is how you do it. The stag is dead. I am alive. I am happy. And we get ourselves some stag antlers, our first masterwork trinkets. Thank you very much for that. A good mission through and through. Hooray. Uh, friends, it's been another hour of gameplay, so we're having a three-minute ad break in just a second here. In the ad break, we'll do some crossword puzzle. Don't you worry, you won't miss a thing. And then back to the CK3 presently, I promise. Hey, Rodzilla, what are my final thoughts on the Warhammer 
Um, yeah, the Warhammer Total War playthrough. I loved it. Every night I awake in cold sweats thinking to myself, when can I get it again? When can I get more of that Total War? It was really, really fun. Um, that said, we'll get back to it after a few months, I assume. Maybe a few weeks, who knows. I, I loved the Total War Warhammer, though. It's a really, really fun game. Alright, Atlas Lines Abbreviation. It's either lat or long, so I'm going to put L in and we'll see. Uh, former Starbucks CEO Blank C. Smith. No idea. Uh, the Revolution will not be televised poet uh, Scott Heron. It's Gil Scott Heron. If you do not know this uh, really fantastic poem, I encourage you to look it up. It's a, uh, it's a poem with a song in the background. Gil Heron, I think, came from the late 60s, early 70s. Very good stuff. Um, adrift. Adrift could just be at sea, possibly. Exercise that strengthens the glutes. How about those squats? Maybe. Uh, orange director Duverney. I believe it's Ava. That could be wrong. We'll see. Giving the finger. Uh, preparing for one of those like diabetic tests. Um, the finger. Accepting a proposal on one's ring finger, of course. Pass I'm not sure. Uh, treated maliciously. Uh, abused comes to mind, past that nothing else does. What is this down though? Having variety in life, biodiverse. That's a great little clue there, isn't it? Absolutely love that. Uh, attempts to probe, can we dig into possibly? Not sure for sure. Um, okay, sprang about, uh, could be like hopped, jumped, that kind of thing. Uh, volcanic depression. Volcanic depression um, is called a caldera, I believe, which I think is uh, related to the word cauldron. Uh, secure, like tie in place, fasten, that kind of thing. Uh, stripped down philosophy. Stripped down philosophy. I want to say nudism immediately. It could be monism, because monism argues there's just one thing. Oh, I think um, nudism is given the name naturism sometimes also. I bet that's when it's going to be naturism. We'll see. Uh, actress and documentarian Grant. No idea. Um, peripatetic person is a walker, maybe a hiker, possibly. Uh, positions. Uh, the word rates could be to position things relative to each other. Am I possibly a teacher? Asked God Pharaoh. What gave it away? <laughs> How do you know my secrets? Uh, a high point of a European vacation. Uh, probably an Alp. Exam for B-school hopefuls. So that's business schools. Um, what is the pre-business school exam? GMAT is medicine, I believe. GRE is grad school. MCAT, wait. MCAT is medicine. It might be the GMAT. I'm not certain on that, though. A uh, coach. Uh, coaches to... Encourage, a coach could also be a word for a cab, possibly. Like a, a stage coach. We'll see if that's right eventually. A please blank, an infamous appeal for support during a 2016 campaign event. Jeb Bush was losing his crowd, and he said, Please clap. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's so sad, though. A canine protection. This could be uh, like a, a, a mouth guard that one wears to uh, avoid grinding of the teeth. Uh, it could be the protection of one's dog also. It's like a kennel maybe. Could also be um, one of those like halters or the thing that makes dogs not able to bite. I'm not quite sure on that one. A bad actor. So this could be a person who's sinful or terrible. It could also be a ham, a person who acts poorly. We'll see. Whichever way, the ad is over, and so the game will return. A fine bit of fun, nonetheless. Hunt has been won. It was pure joy. We gain legitimacy for hunting well. I'm very surprised by that. What am I a professor of? God Pharaoh, you must guess. You must guess what I teach. I'll tell you the truth after you guess. I'm always curious what people think, though. All right. So we have this stag antler... For bonus prestige. Um, I want to maintain my learning bonus. 
0.02 prestige and glory hounds give more vassal tax. We don't have real vassals yet, so we're going to get rid of that and equip the stag antler. I do not know how you do that. Like, do we hang it off a rope and drag it behind us? Possibly, possibly, possibly. Uh, heading home again. Your first guess is history? Yes. A professor of European... That's not true. I teach philosophy. Uh, journeying through Mar, I pass by peculiar-looking tent, splayed open, with yet more peculiar occupant inside. Come in, O oh mighty Earl. I can tell you of many miles to go. I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of the entourage. I'm willing to pay for a reading, so we have no money. That said, we can spend 15 more money and maybe get positive travel omen. Eh, our stress is zero. We're going to say no and try to save our cash. But then, but then, but then, Mirror, our caravan master who tried to kill our son, revealed the provisions are now all but useless. There's mold on the bread. We have no dry food left. Everyone gets hungry. So we could say nature will provide. I've taken it every single time and never died. Will that change? Still lucky. Eternally lucky, thank goodness. All right. In one tick, we're positive on cash again. We're not building at all. Um, let's see what the faction looks like right now. We're at 116 relative to the king's power. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. What is the king of Scotland looking like? 3,000 troops. This will be very, very similar in strength. An opportunity. We can try to convince uh, Caitlin MacLeot that we should be friends. I can indicate we have shared interests. Uh, he's unlikely to be convinced. Or just be subtle. I'm okay being subtle. A little improvement is good enough for now. What does the king have in terms of men at arms? He also has an alliance with Denmark. Oh, that's no fun. That's no fun. Denmark is strong enough to keep me locked down. So, if Denmark goes to war elsewhere, we would then be able to attack the King of Scotland. For right now, though, we probably should not do so. I also keep passing on my... Um, on my... Uh, Duke? Nope, sorry. Bishop attempt to get me the Duchy of Iceland, because he's not getting the Duchy yet. He endlessly gets me uh, just the county. Move him over to the Ducal capital and see if that changes. Are the King's men at arms better than us? Oh, probably so. Like, almost certainly so. He may have horses, though. His horses, that's no good at all. Yeah, so he has fewer pikemen than we do. A lot of armored footmen who I believe are neutral in the mountains. Bowmen, I believe, are no good in mountains. And we have equivalent mangonels. That said, there's so, so, so many uh, men at arms on the, the ally. Well, we'll see. Uh, no more secrets in King Dun Duncan's court. Our spymaster comes home again. Are there other interesting alliances we can get? So, haven't looked in a while. Our lustful granddaughter, who may end up inheriting. I can marry her to the Prince of Denmark. This gives an alliance with Denmark, I assume. It does not. He is a prince, but not... He's a brother of the king, most likely. Other interesting alliances. If we go matrilineal especially, we get a city alliance is all. Well, pfft. No good. We can murder a connection to Denmark. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. We could, though. We can definitely do that as a way of weakening the Scottish king. So she is likely to end up ruling. She'll be Sandra, Queen of Scots. What do we want for you most of all? You're pretty bad at martial. So someone martial most likely. Who is not crazy old. A 22-year-old guy who's chaste and gluttonous and just. I don't mind one of those. 
21 year old who's sterile. That's not gonna work at all. Oh, I'm on infertile, that's the problem. No, I want people who are fertile instead, thank you very much. And then, you know, we'll say within five years of her age. Don't want to have some weird marriages today. So, this fellow's name is Anglo-Saxon Sixbard. Paranoid, temperate, and patient. That would be fine. Or we can go with someone who's lustful. Has a lust for life. And, uh, will potentially produce so very many children. Sure, sounds fun. We'll accept matrimonial marriage. He's of a family, Sverker, that's the family of the King of Sweden, I believe. Or at least at one point was. Excellent. A marriage for our, for our queen. Uh, Cajun, I saw your question before. Don't really want to talk about it right now, but thank you for the uh, question. All right. Um... We need a bunch of claims from our... our Pope. We get a... Uh, alliance with the King of Scotland, not needed. And nothing super good there. All right, the marriage is locked in place. Looks wonderful. They accept. I have a new uh, commander. This man's name is Fairchilich. He's a better knight than the rest of us. Also good in open terrain. Absolutely useless for fighting in Scotland. But welcome anyway to the world of knighthood. Oh no! This is the the spin-off game of CK3. It's Jihadi <laughs> Kings 3. The House of Islam is under grave threat from an onslaught of heathens and infidels. His Magnificence, the Caliph Al-Qadir, has declared an era of renewed jihad upon the world. It's the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. They better not come for Scotland or else. Is it okay to attack Lothian? Now, the reason I can't attack Lothian is because... Is because the... Um, uh, it's part of Scotland right now, and as of right now, I have no way of attacking them unless I change my contract to give more taxes. Child of my dynasty. My daughter-in-law, Agatha, a drunk, has given us a grandson named Dugald. Hello, Dugald. Oh, it's a commander bonus. Yeah, if we attack Lothian, it's useful. Right now, I'm entirely focused on fighting the King of Scotland, though. Taking his territory right here. He only has the two holdings. Will Denmark get here to support him in time? I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. Uh, Lothian wants to marry his son and heir to my second granddaughter. I'm going to say no on that one. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit feisty right now. Strathclyde is with me. No, man is. Strathclyde is not. They're still terrified of their uh, liege, unfortunately. We could try to find a secret on this fellow. That said, we looked for secrets in the capital for a long time and didn't find any of them. Let me try one more time in his capital. But I believe we can fight Scotland off before Denmark gets here. Wait, I go to the wrong place. One moment. Uh, who's I aiming for? Lothian. Good, we're good. Maybe we'll get a strong hook, but probably not. My spies have discovered a super secret map has been drawn by this man named Saul. He is a big dum-dum. That explains why he's done that. Uh, thank you for the note. We're more vigilant. My spy master's not at home, so it's more likely that I am um, going to get instabbed. We discovered that Duke Malcolm has a relationship. Wait. Duke Malcolm's relationship with Elizabeth was exposed by Duke Malcolm. <laughs> so he made it public that he has a lover. I like it. Strathclyde's where you live. Yeah, the issue, unfortunately, is um, 
I don't know how to pronounce any names up here, so I'm glad you're from here. I apologize if I mispronounce your name, though. We'll see how it goes. My spy master found out that someone is trying to kill my son and heir. Oh no! Oh no, please don't. I mean, he's not giving me a grandson yet, so it wouldn't be the worst thing. If he dies, we are patrilineal perf preferred, I believe. Yeah, so Alistair would take over. Alistair has a granddaughter also, and the sickly giant has no more children. Having trouble with producing kids right now. While performing duties on my, as my spy master, uh, we discovered that the Earl Waldiv of Cumberland has schemed from the shadows to have Duchess Athian murdered. Cruel. Terrible. Alright, so a possible, possible hook to develop. He might want to keep it quiet. Let's find out. He does indeed accept the blackmail. He has negative zero money, so we probably can't bribe him in the future. If I listen to Scottish football results, I can learn all the names. Aptly true. I bet those are posted on Spy, uh, Sky Sports News. Tales from the Wild. Duke Guthrod of the Isles approached me, wishing to meet and discuss experiences as hunters, an opportunity to swap tall tales from the wild. What was his hardest kill? He likes me more, or I just don't care. What was your, what was your hardest kill? Tell me some stories, please. But then, but then, what began as a normal family gathering in the dining halls of Dunkeld has quickly erupted into a heated argument between my son and heir Malmuri and my son Arthur. Having just mentioned football, I remembered something amazing. Tonight, there's a Wrexham match, 4.45 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'll be up and watching Wrexham beat the Dickens out of Harrogate, I hope. We'll see how it goes. Let's go, Wrexham. He asserts that Malmure is unworthy of being my heir at all. He's completely unworthy of the crown. Deserves nothing more than be a jester upon succession. This villain has stood in first place for the crown for long enough. Deserves to be put in place. I demand a duel with you, Malmure. A duel for the throne. All right. So two of my sons are not having a good time. Both of them are very, very bad at fighting. So I could say, oh, this will be good. It's likely that Arthur loses this thing. If Arthur loses, um, then he will not get any of the counties. But that means two counties go to another son. Or I don't care. Eh, I'm fine either way. Am I fine either way? Wait, real quick. Arthur's training is in learning. He's forgiving and greedy and diligent. Not super great. Uh, Mamuri is diligent and content and vengeful. Again, not super great. I don't care. Fight, fight, fight. Arthur wins. Melmure has lost his titles. And so it is the case. It is the case that we have a new heir. Hello to you, Arthur. Please give me a grandson. I sure appreciate it. You already did, you genius. You absolute genius. I don't know why I'm calling it genius. There was no intelligence involved here. We have a grandson that we will look after immediately. How great is that? Uh, Garvin, thank you for the nice comments and chat and the follow and the subscription. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for all three. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's good to have you with us. And we have an heir to our heir now. I'm so glad we allowed them to fight. Uh, now I am rich, rich, rich. So we're going to continue building up our second holding here. Um, this is a place where no men at arms live quite yet. So, so, we may want to move some men at arms over there. Pikemen are who I have currently. They're a kind of spearmen. I think spearmen are only bonus right now by the militia camp, oh, by the uh, barracks rather. Is that true? That is true. That is true. All right, we'll do it. So we get ourselves the barracks, lowering danger here, more levies available. All good, all good. Must be fun to be a fan of a good team. Your team Sunderland had 10 points last 13 matches. <laughs> That's a lot of losses. <laughs> no, I definitely uh, support a 
Um, a team that has way too much money for their level. It's been fun to watch them play, though. We discovered the Provost Henry of Berwick has a dirty secret. He engages in all kinds of revolting behavior. No one I need, but fine enough. Also, the barony has so much money, so this is a case where if we decide to uh, go into blackmailing people, it'd be a great way to get a lot of money. Uh, we're now true friends with the Duke of the Isles. Does he like me enough to now join this faction? Not showing up. Not showing up, not showing up. Fine. Betrothal, once again, they want to marry the Earl of Ross to one of my granddaughters. We no longer care about this. We no longer care about that, actually, given that she is unlikely to inherit anything. The Duke would like us to play a fine game of Fidgel. Pardon me briefly. Must learn something, and you can learn too. What is the game of Fidgel? This is Welsh. We don't know how to say Welsh words, but that's Welsh there. Uh, it's a board game popular among the ancient Celts. Uh, Fitchell was played between two people who moved an equal number of pieces across a board. The board shared its name with the game played upon it. Based on the descriptions in Irish and Welsh literature, as well as archaeological finds of game pieces, it's likely to be a variant of Ludus, that means play, I believe, uh, Latra Noon Coolorum, played in Ireland and Britain. The game's name translates to Wood Intelligence. It's compared often with chess, though chess was unknown in Europe. Here's the gameplay. Some detail of the gameplay can be deduced from literary mentions in early Irish literature. Half its pieces yellow gold, other half of white bronze. So equal forces. Um, how are men slain? Not hard, a black pair of mine, about one white man of yours on the same line, disputing the approach on the far side. All right, so apparently you have to like encircle one's opposition. It's a game played by royalty and legends. Well, clearly that is both me. Let's play a game. The greatest game of all. We're neck and neck. All right, so our opponent talks about money. What are we good at? We're good at learning, so we insist that we know the game better than anyone. Our match marches on. He's playing poorly. Let us show him all that we've read about this game. Continues on and on. I'm beating him handedly. We talk more about our learning and knowledge, and hooray! Somehow it all worked out. GG Nori. We win the game. Someday we'll be the master of all the boards. For now, we're good enough, though. Okay. Scotland now has an alliance with Strathclyde also. Does not matter for us attacking him. My granddaughter, Sandra. This is the to-be queen someday. Has given birth to a child named Lorna. Lorna Dune Dunkeld. A draw strong and wise... Oh, never mind. This is actually the first daughter of my prior heir. So, more children in the family. Delighted for that, thank you. This is the combined lustful stack. Both of them are lustful. Lots of kids, lots of kids, lots of kids. And a marriage. Will you accept matrimonial now? You will not. Very well. On secrets. There are secrets in the Duke's court, but we keep looking for them. Another marriage accepted. Lovely. I, on the theory that I can take Scotland before Denmark gets here, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to move my rally point forward, but not all the way forward. Or do we build up one more minute arms first? I'm going to build up one more pikeman first. I know, I know, I keep saying someday, someday, someday. So Denmark is really close. But I, I, th I think we can win. Because 
some the Isles are coming with us, and the Isles are strong enough to support us. So I think we'll be good. Maybe. We need to check legitimacy though. So we're one legitimacy, he is zero still. So the achievement should fire. Uh, build up one more of you. Our knights are becoming better and better in Marshall. We'll see. If we get the Pope to excommunicate the king, I doubt it. I mean, he is a murderer, so maybe. Um, oh, man is coming along, not the Isles. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> remembering who it is. Uh, the Pope says no, negative 120, because he likes King Duncan, unfortunately. He agrees. He agrees he's an awful man with sin, but they're buddies, apparently. He's a good Catholic, or at least he shows up on Sundays. Uh, no more secret for Goss Patrick, so no luck there. We finished another one. We're now popular. Everybody in the world loves us. Let's check one last time. Make sure no one else will join. Indeed, they will not. Chiefdom claim we don't need. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm feeling good. So, we begin by push those demands. I want to be king. I just can't wait to be king. Your claim on the title is no more real than the stories we tell children at night. No matter how many misguided fools you've gathered to help carry your scheme, I will not bend to a collection of dung. I'd rather die than see my birthright fall to someone so low. Holy moly, those are some words, huh? Those are some words. Uh, do we have an ally we can call in on top of that? We do. The Duke of Normandy will come save us. Duke of Strathclyde's already in. The Earl of Ross can't join because he's a vassal. A man is coming. Normandy will save us. Let's get marching. Here comes the Duke of Normandy. Hooray. Hooray, hooray. Five months to go there. No Danish army yet. The army of Scotland has raised itself in the south. Just don't get caught out, army of man. All good, all good, all good. Here's the army of Normandy. Helps take Fife, that's fine. We'll get to the capital in just a second. That's an unfortunately man has started that one. Would love to be the leader there instead. Probably should have gone for it right away. Uh, King Duncan is also being attacked by his peasants. And the uh, army of Normandy helped put the peasants down. No matter who is the king, we all agree peasants are terrible. Uh, Duke Gothpatrick of Lothian is now the leader of our dynasty because he has the highest military power. We'll have it soon. All right, we've taken Schoon. Wonderful. Hey, Authentic, how's it going? Uh, any fun kingdom to try to make outside the recommended one? So I would suggest any of the ones that are in the achievements. So the achievements, you pull them up, you know, they're a ton. If you want to play a fairly hard game, and the ones down here in the very hard, like King of All the Isles is really, really funny. You become, you start as Vikings, then become a pirate king on the island of Man, and take over all of the islands in the Mediterranean, I think all the way over to maybe one in India also. It's really, really fun. Uh, if you want an easier one though, the ones in the medium difficulty, like uh, you know, Norman Oak, you go ahead and start as William the Bastard, or find a way to uh, have the King of Bohemia. All these are super fun. I really enjoy playing the game while thinking about um, about the achievements. They're really great. You're very new. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, it's good to have you here. If you have any questions, let us know. We are absolutely delighted to, to help you out. But pretty much all of my playthroughs, including this one right now, uh, are based on achievements. It's just, for me, a fun way to play the game. Has Denmark abandoned the King of Scotland? Has he even joined the war? Denmark is not part of this war. The alliance has been broken.
Did I get very lucky? And the eldest son of Scotland died recently? No, he died more than 20 years ago. So I wonder what happened to the Denmarkian alliance. Let's say the Danish alliance. I like saying Denmarkian, though. It's good fun. You've united Ireland, but you're lagging a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think uh, the Ireland starts super fun for teaching how the mechanics work. Uh, once you have a handle on the game, it's relatively easy. But while you're learning how the game is played, it is, it is good fun. <laughs> it's good fun. Now, the Ireland start is, is definitely wonderful for new players. All right. Maximum game speed. We're about to become the king. By the way, my son, the prior heir, is now... Yeah, is now plotting against Alistair. Not really an heir. But in brief moments here... King of Scotland is coming. Achievements are coming. Uh, the Duke of, of Man has captured the heir to the throne of Scotland. That is fine. We can now shift out and begin taking territory that belongs to people who are loyal to the King of Scotland. That's good. That's good. Wrexham playthrough when? So I do so many playthroughs in Western Europe. As much as it would be fun to do a Wrexham playthrough up here, um, I should probably do some non-Europe playthroughs at some point soon. As I said yesterday, I feel a little bad for playing as Scottish territory um, in the new DLC because the Black Death is probably not going to come this far. And we'll have to see if we've taken over somewhere in uh, the continent of Europe by the time the Black Death comes. Alright, the king has decided to attack us here. Um, that's absolutely fine. Unfortunately, we're only at 63% war score right now. Another battle would definitely help. I can make custom empire name it Wrexham Football Fans. <laughs> the Wrexham Ultras invade Europe. Why is France bleeding? Yeah, this is a new mechanic. This is, shows you where there are plagues in the world. So the Remsian Pox is currently inside of France. So as you go around the world map, you can see these bloody spots indicating how large a plague is. Or you do Control E, and that shows you where they are also. Uh, here we have the Dargan Boils. All these small poxes popping up everywhere. Michael's Pox. A guy named Michael can't be trusted anymore. <laughs> now, luckily, we're largely safe up here. Hello, Fernandez. Did you miss the rampant Rimworld speculation? You did. We started today's uh, stream with talking about the new image of the Rimworld DLC posted yesterday on Tynan's uh, Twitter page. I like the archaeology runes part. I do not like at all the uh, Cthulhu part. Just not for me. Uh, with this victory, we should go above plus 70. Uh, a battle with the... Uh, yeah, with the king would help. Now, I need to have my allies come along with me for battle here. I cannot win it solo. So we're going to start marching to Sterling. Uh, they're going to my capital, actually. We cannot lose our capital. And so are our little buddies coming along? Most certainly they are not. All right, one moment here. This is kind of important. So Dunkeld is currently seven months to be taken. This is three months. So we're sieging much better than they are. I'm going to stay here and trust that when we unseige this, we'll win the war. And hopefully my allies will have finished their sieges and will come support me in defending my capital. We'll see. Is there a new Fritz picture today? No, I did not update my cat's picture um, because I uh, just could not find a moment where he looked especially interesting. So you still have the the old picture of Fritz here. There he is. Hello, buddy. Very cute. Very cute. It's hard getting a new picture that's worthy every single week. Uh, but then, but then. My daughter-in-law, Anna, this is uh, my fourth son's... Uh, wife has given birth to another child that she wants to name after the current king. I love it. I love it. Need to show off more pictures showing how fat the cat is? Rude. Alright, so the king of Scotland's managed to breach our castle. Now five months there versus 35 days here. We're still absolutely fine. Don't need to panic over my capital falling. Don't you worry. Our plus 81 now. 
This siege will probably give us only 5% or so. So the Siege of Lothian gave us plus 12, actually. So if it is plus 12, we're at 93. <sighs> all right, we must find our capital. As we're going, all of the uh, allies come to. The battle begins. The allies arrive. Thanks, Normandy. Thanks for helping me win. Malcolm IV, the Duke of Strathclyde, died in that battle. That said, the war is over. We get legitimacy. Our legitimacy is now true. We are the true King of Scotland because God is on our side. Do we get our achievements? Maybe not. <laughs> The Scottish court. We are now the king. So we got more problems all the way, all the way, all the way. We go show ourselves off. Um, the Duke of Albany, let us say the prior king of Scotland, does not like me very much. We will definitely uh, be, be taking his uh, title very soon. Okay. We didn't give those achievements. As I said previously... I worry slightly that the word claim here only means claim as opposed to claim meaning take it for yourself. So the achievement we were trying to go for is upper mobility. Successfully claim your legis title while having higher legitimacy. We had one, he had zero. So we had the higher legitimacy. This is probably not claim it namely hold it yourself, but instead claim it, namely complete the claim throne scheme. So our intended achievement has failed. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Uh, but now we have a whole bunch of new achievements to go for, all of these added by the recent DLC. So uh, we can begin to work on, yeah, begin to work on uh, legends instead of just taking titles. May have to wait a few in-game days? Maybe so. Occasionally, achievements don't fire right away. I'll walk in Dunkeld. Duke Guthrod invited me for a ride through the castle town of Dunkeld. It turned out to be a pleasant day. Merchants hawk wares. We made an impression, and the Duke likes me more. Uh, a few things I want to check out. This is my first time ever... I thought that war end said that my legitimacy went to rank four. This is legitimacy for the count rank. I'm not a count. I'm a king. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm confused about two things right now. Number one, this does not say king. Number two, I thought we were level four. Possibly a bug. We'll see in a little bit. Another question, are the DLCs worth it? Um, so if you're brand new to CK3, the base game is really, really, really fun. Do not... I own Paradox stock. Please go buy them all. <laughs> With that said, the base game is really fun. I encourage you not to rush into um, the DLC, though. Just learn the game with the basics. Um, I think the Royal Court DLC is a very good one. It gives you access to this page here, where you can talk to people in your courts and put up big, beautiful items and get some bonuses that way. Um, I think also the Tours and Tournaments DLC is really good as well. It's one that uh, I've had a lot of fun with, as you can have your ruler move around the world map, going off to become a grand knight in tournaments and so on. It's also a lot of fun. Uh, but no, I think the base game of CK3 is more than enough fun. Uh, if you have all the money in the world, sure, go ahead. But if... Uh, if you're not able to spend all the money at once, hold off for a while. Do a few more playthroughs of the base game, enjoy it, etc. That's my sense. A pallid individual who looks as if she spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of the throne room. 
I've heard tell you might want a secret path installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. I can even add an oblats in your bedroom for your lover to throw you into in the heat of passion. Um, we have a decent amount of money. Protection against um, assassination is not the worst thing in the world. So spying holes make it more likely to find schemes, especially those against us. Escape passages mean it's less likely that people will succeed against us. I'm going to take that one, because as you all know, transitions of titles are the really rocky part of the game. Uh, for whatever reason, we lose a bunch of legitimacy when we change rank, even ranking up. I wonder if that's a bug. And the reason I say that is because previously, when your ruler died, the level of grandeur of your court dropped so far down regardless if you had the money to maintain it it just dropped a ton and had to very slowly climb up again so it's possible that's a similar bug to the prior grandeur bug not sure whichever way now that we have a court we absolutely need to improve the court so we get our legitimacy at least not legitimacy grandeur at least level two so if we go slightly better fashion Slightly better lodging, slightly better food, slightly more servants. It'll climb beyond grandeur level two that is um, necessary to make the vassals happy. All right. We are now rightfully grand compared to what our people want. Also, also in the court, we now have items to put out. So our totally naked throne room needs some decoration. Which ornament will hang behind our head? We stole a tapestry from the King of Scotland. Look how beautiful it is. Check that thing out. Wow. Apparently there's some saint at the top there. With both sides of them some knights. Down below, a picture of the Redeemer and maybe the Pope. It's a beautiful tapestry telling the story of, I don't know, our legitimacy for the throne perhaps. On the wall, we can hang our family banners as well. The dynastic banner for one and next to it will hang a house banner that's all the banners for now we have some books also a book called crime and punishment written a little early in history this was made by the king of scotland it gives them bonus prestige some dreads so of people fear us more and bonus to intrigue we're probably not going intrigue anytime soon but a nice book we have a better throne also the stone of schoon goes beneath us Big old rock hanging out in the bottom there. Hopefully no uh, no teenagers steal it and put it into the back of a car. If you do not know this story, some Scottish nationalists stole the Stone of Schoon back in the 1970s from Westminster Abbey and repatriated it to Scotland. <laughs> in the process, they broke it. <laughs> yeah, but apparently it was um, in a car's trunk and caused the car to go so low in the back that the back end dragged a little bit. Anyway, we have a goblet also, and those are all of our items. So we sure do need uh, another book. We sure do need some furniture. We sure do need three more pedestal items, but no hurries there. Um, also, 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 does our king have any armor and such yet? No, the king is without any clothes at all. Um, if we get an antiquarian, we can begin working on that. So until now, I've not had an antiquarian, but the antiquarian will allow us to keep our court artifacts in good shape. Unfortunately, no one in the entire court knows anything at all about keeping items in good shape. And I believe there's no decision for looking for an antiquarian, correct? Mm, correct. You can do physician or caravan master. Also, eventually, we can get a claim on Ireland. That might be fun. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, this is a new insignia, uh, part of the current DLC. So here are the legends we can go for. There it is. This is one we need. The legacies we can currently go for is insist that we're related to Arthur Pendragon, King of All Britain. Great deed for Dunkeld. Few bearing the name of Dunkeld have done so much for the dynasty as Donchad. 
Don Chadler great-grandfather, or the one I really need to get an achievement. It is from Skota, daughter of a great Egyptian pharaoh that we call our land Scotland. She's the mother of all Scots, and it's the blood of the ancient pharaohs that flows through our veins. It's 380 money to start with, and then three money a month, basically half of all of our income to keep it going. It makes station men at arms get even more damage, if you'll like us more. Also give more martial to anyone supporting this thing and more prestige as well. And us as the owner get more prestige and two more diplomacy per level fame. We're at uh, level three or four of fame right now, I think level four. So I want to do this as fast as possible. That is the goal for the playthrough. It's going to be great to have done. If we want to, we can also support other people's legends. So the King of England insists that Brutus, banished from Troy, was guided by Diana to Albion. After defeating the great giants that occupied the land, he founded Troia Nova, the town we now know as London. Brutus of Troy, founder of London. Or, Blessed by the Angels. This is a story about Icy Seljuk. Isis spoke with the angels in her sleep, thrusting divine mission upon her. All right, so if we try to support someone else's legend here, namely about, about England being from Troy, what do we get? What's the advantage of doing this? Oh, wow. There's a lot to read here. Uh, King Robert of England was born to a great Trojan lineage to rule the Empire of Britannia. How dare you, there is no empire, as his forebears would have. Upon hearing vague rumors that plagued the land, Robert set his heart to accomplish the difficult endeavor. Robert's legend culminates in a marvelous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had to wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to see his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. However, that was not the end of the tale. For when Robert made his way home, he helped those in danger and avenged their affronts. Bandits, beasts, and evildoers could not hide from the fury of his blade. With tremendous labor, King Robert of England worked tirelessly turned the Empire of Britannia into a vision of Trojan perfection. Thanks only to the legendary deeds of Robert, the people of Empire of Britannia cry out in pride of their Trojan roots. There is no empire, how dare you, I will never support you. <laughs> we also see some completed legends here. Hunnic heritage, blood of Yazdegerd III, the King of Turin, and Khan Yakub of Zetsia's Odyssey. So I suspect that the new Troy requires Robert to create the empire. We refuse, of course. Never, ever, ever allowed. Okay, um, so now that we have a kingdom level title, we want the ducal title also off the king of, the prior king of Scotland. He still holds three counties, including the rightful king's location in Gauru there. So, um, we have a truce with him. We can't take his tiles right now. Also, we have no crown authority for that. I had a few things. I'm going to kick crown authority up to level 2 so we can take the titles of the prior king. Also, also, with one kingdom now, we hold the entire of Scotland together. Uh, on succession, we'll lose a few of the earldoms, which is okay. We'll be okay with that for sure. The legend is that Skota of Egypt brought the th throne of Schoon to Scotland from Egypt. That's amazing. Also, we are the head of the culture. Finally, we are the rightful lord of the Scots. We have 20 foreign learning, so we're going to get research points going very quickly. Currently, we're focused on getting guilds. Guilds give more building slots to all of our holdings. That's amazing. We'd love that. Or we can go back to the early medieval period and try to finish up some of the prior ones. Uh, burrs get more military buildings, so larger armies. Horseshoes make the armies move faster. 
communal government gives us uh, more development, possibly. Bailiffs give another building slot also. I'm going to do bailiffs. That additional building slot is huge. So that first. Scotland is becoming Scottish. Also, also, we captured someone named Ethaldria. She's worth money to the Duke of Lothian. Okay. I'm noticing my vassals don't care for me very much as a new king. Um, this fellow has very high levy contributions, so he doesn't like his contract at all. I'm just going to be a good guy here and lower his, his contract. It's already been modified in his lifetime, so even though we're a new king, we cannot change that because the prior king forced it up. So I can't help you. I'm sorry you were treated poorly. Let's check our council, though. So now that we have real vassals, it's time to start thinking about putting actual vassals onto the council. Um, the Duke of the Isles, who came with me in defeating... No, he didn't. The Duke of Man did so. That said, this man's our friend. He's very good at diplomacy. He'll take over our chancellor. For now, we would like to uh, have our chancellor focus on other people in the uh, in the kingdom supporting us. The other large vassals were a little cranky. What are you good at, man? You're not really good at anything. So I'm going to go just say hello to you. We'll have a nice friendship, friendly conversation and see how it works out. Below that, the Prince Duncan of Scotland hates me a whole bunch. A whole bunch for sure. And so uh, we're not going to make him happy ever because he very much wants to be king again. And we can't see this ducal title until we lose the truce with him. A language barrier. I love spending time with my friend, the Duke Goodroth, but we do not speak the same language. <laughs> he said something that sounded like a joke. I laughed, but he gave me a glare that spoke a thousand words. As I felt the glitter pierce my soul, I could see our friendship slipping away. I will learn your language, brother man. I'm going to try my best, get my Genki books out. We'll figure this one out. Agnac Artist, thank you for the resubscription. How's every little thing? Hope things are doing a little better for you, my friend. It's very, very good seeing you. Also, 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 it appears that everyone in the whole world here is a criminal. So, one of my mares is a witch. Mares, unlikely to go to prison, as he is... Much better in intrigue than we are. No good. Again, Agnarch, thank you for your kind resubscription. Glad you're enjoying here. Your book is out, you're having fun? Absolutely. I'm glad that book came out. Incidentally, incidentally, the Duchess Ava of Strathclyde would like to be queen. And boy, howdy, do people agree that I should not be the king. Um, did I see the new Rimworld's expansion teaser? Absolutely. We talked about that in the intro. Uh, now, with that said, I hope it's not overly Cthulhuian, so we'll see. I need alliances. At this point, um, I will probably lose the throne unless I can get some alliances. Possibly with the people who are against us, or possibly their large power nearby. Unfortunately, all of our children are married off, and our siblings are dead. So the one possibility is to begin marrying off grandkids, and hope that one of the grandkids is close enough to us to give us an alliance. Hello, child. You're a compassionate and bossy little friend. All right, the Duchy of Bavaria would like a marriage here. Or Flanders, or Gottingen, or Swabia. Everyone's the granddaughter. She is not in line to inherit anything. So we're going to say Bavaria, matrimonial? No. Bavaria, go ahead and get married off. Give us some power. Would the English marry us? We'll see. They do have an unmarried young daughter. Princess Mahout. Sounds like an Indian name. Mahout. You're willing to accept... My very, very ugly grandson. Wait, really? Oh, no alliance. 
No alliance. Wait, why am I allowed to control this person? This person is part of the family Normandy. He's in the court at Normandy. Marry him off. There's no alliance, though. Okay, let me try this again. And see if I can find a grandson that would be useful here. So we do have unmarried grandsons, correct? We have one that's the heir. I don't want to do that. Prince David has two daughters. Unfortunately, we're only getting granddaughters right now. Yeah, there's one grandson in the entire pile. Ah, except for Edward of Normandy. That's why. So he's our daughter's son. Daughter's son? Yes, that's right. Um, but he's part of the family Normandy. He's not part of the family Dunkeld. So no alliance there. So do you have an unmarried son, King of England? You do not. That's okay. Let me go and check the people who are against us inside of our own kingdom and see if any of them can get an alliance. So, hello, Duke Gospatrick. You have an unmarried daughter. Useless. And an unmarried son. All right. All right. The granddaughters will not help here, unfortunately. The Duke here. Unmarried anybody? Dead, unfortunately. Man, died in childbirth of the smallpox. Brutal. Uh, so no alliance is possible. Uh, other way to go, then, is to try to develop hooks against them. Uh, so two of my vassals can't join factions. These two can. We've looked for secrets on Lothian before and didn't find any. We've not looked for any secrets on Duchess Ava here. So I'm going to move my spy master over to see if she can find she, he, they, whomever can find. This is also a place where we can begin to put our vassals onto the council that might make them happy enough to stop revolting against me. So... Hey! Uh, the Duke of Bavaria believes that my granddaughter and he will be the best couple ever. That's great. So no immediate marriage, but close enough. Uh, Goss Patrick is bad at everything. Which is Ava. is a halfway decent steward. Unfortunately, even her being on the council will not help. Again, she has high levy contribution. Man, the prior king of Scotland really screwed up everyone's contracts. I'm going to move her to normal, normal. That will help just a little bit. She's only negative 81 now. Our legitimacy expectations are way too low. So we have a negative 30 penalty because of legitimacy problems. There, I think there's a bug that's causing this to happen. So we really should have... Yeah, we really should have four legitimacy. Which is what the pop-up said we would have on inheritance. Or not inheritance, on taking the throne. Whichever way, our friend is now dead. So learning his language is less important. Nonetheless, this language is spoken by many of our subjects. So we'll try to learn their languages, please and thanks. All right. This buddy here, I don't really want him on the council. But if I give him money and put him on the council, he might chill a little bit. So let's see if that happens. Um, I'm going to make him my steward. We're pulling in 10 money a month. That's quite good. The chancellor slot's open again also. The Prince of Scotland, our nephew, the prior king, hates us. The Duke of the Isles is really good at learning, but I can't force him onto, onto the bishop position. All right. So... He becomes Chancellor for now. We then send him some cash, so he likes us okay. It's 225 money. We're so poor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I have some item that will chill him out a little bit. I have two of these house banners. They can only go to kings, though. So here, an old poem. Enjoy. He at least is happy-ish with me now. Fine. And then the steward becomes... Who's more powerful, Man or Lothian? Lothian is. Okay. 
I'm going to work on swaying him now. So no more language learning. That's fine. As long as they don't launch the war anytime soon, we should be okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, friends, it's time for a quick little break here. Uh, we have another hour of play done, so we're going to take our three-minute break now for some crossword. Go ahead, get up, stretch. You won't miss anything, except for a man trying to figure out the words. The most exciting part. Ah, brought on. So brought on could mean, like, cause. Put that in, we'll see if that's right. Uh, brought on could also be, like, a substitution in baseball, for instance. Uh, Pre-installed programs that can hog memory. I'm guessing it's called something where. Uh, bloatware, I believe is the phrase for it. Uh, harmoniously. Uh, in tune, melded, meshed, not sure. American business. I don't know, hegemony? <laughs> what, what is American business? Um, there's American Eagle. They're a clothes company. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, bridal path. This is the aisle or possibly runner between the narthex or nave that leads forward to the altar. Uh, a bridal path spelled the other way would be a horse trail. I'm going to say aisle. We'll see if that's right. Climbs the ladder, so to speak. Um, is ambitious. Gets a promotion. Unsure. Time for the downs. Now, let me say, and I shouldn't say this, this is a Monday puzzle. I almost never have this much filled in on just the crosses. We'll see if any of it's right. High wire act. Um, race something? Write something? Unsure. Uh, it could be like being an electrician. Uh, so changing a transformer out, climbing up one of those electricity poles, uh, changing the light bulb on top of a radio tower, does some weeding, uh, probably calls. Uh, let that cue looks terrible. <laughs> um, I said previously that let also means rent out. So I'm gonna say that potentially right here. Uh, Non-resident worker. Huh. Huh. Incidentally, the, the cross is definitely wrong. G Laus makes no sense. Uh, attempts to probe. Uh, digs at maybe. Um, Palacio residence. Why is there an L here? Atlas lines. I was thinking latitude or longitude. It has to be elevation, I suppose. So in the Placia is probably the king. Now, what language is that? Whichever way, it's probably one of the Regne, uh, Riel, uh, Rex line. I'll put the R in for now, which means in the Atlas, it's roots or roads. I'll put roads in. Nice. All right, Pinnacle. Is it Ne Plus Ultra? Is it Ne Plus Ultra, really? Look, friends, I know French. I know French suddenly. Ne Plus Ultra. Always glad to be able to pull that one out. A birthplace of Dolly Parton. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Seeing the Devil Sea, I want to say Tuscaloosa or something, but unsure. A pasta inspired by the shape of Venus's navel, according to legend. Um, tortellini. <laughs> Her navel is shaped like a tortoise. I don't know nearly enough uh, pasta types, but I'll see if that's right eventually. Uh, boarding locations. So boarding, of course, like room and board, a place to stay. Uh, you can also get your way onto an airplane. Um, board at location. Wait, Naples Ultra is not French? Wait, really? What is it? What's the etymology here? Is it just Latin? Oh, never mind. Boring, boring Latin. The nay part feels, the nay part feels very, uh, very French to me. Boo, I know no French. <laughs> 
Uh, Sunny Boy, I don't know, Kid, maybe. Let's say cross here. The lunge strengthens the glutes. And so it's a, a lad. Uh, subject of a scientific map. I don't know, the elements? Scientific map. Like the electron shells. Something like that. Elba on screen. So Elba is Idris Elba. Treated maliciously as spited. Oh, it's just Idris, his first name. Fine. Uh, Grammy winner Cole. Isn't Natalie Cole a person? I think so. I think it's Nat King Cole's daughter, perhaps. Um, mail carrier. Mail carrier. With M A L E, mail carrier. Not sure. We'll get back to it in an hour or so. Good to good. Isn't it Null plus Ultra? No, it's definitely Nate plus Ultra. I know this in part because of um, Peter Shickley's classical ra uh, rap. So anyway, hear the sound of the very best rapper from miles around. Oh, shoot, what is it? He has a listing of lots of different ways of seeing the top. Seeing the top, the apex, the acme, the tip is the tops. The something something the hippest of the hops stuff like that but it includes the phrase na plus ultra now i need to know i'm sorry welcome to resorty looks of song lyrics live on stream uh peter shickley died fairly recently let's see though pdq bach um classical rap uh so anyway, now hear the sound of the very best rapper from miles around. Yes, I'm the fellow who's where it's at. There's absolutely no denying that. Yes, I'm the apex. I'm the best. I'm considerably better than all the rest. The acne, the zenith, the tippest of the top, the naplus ultra, the hippest of the hop, the summit, the pinnacle, the highest of the high, the apogee of rappers. That's I. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You want to know where most of my humor comes from? It's almost certainly his. Prince Duncan, the prior king of Scotland, is interested in an alliance between me, between us, rather. Um, would this help us in stopping a faction? It would not. So I'm going to continue declining. We do have a truce right now. That is why he is um, not joining the faction against me. This is fine. This is all fine. At this point, we should just be um, holding on to as much money as possible. We can also hold a court here. So there are some ways in holding court that you're able to get increased vassal support, etc., etc. They also cost a lot of money, though, so let's not do any of those. This will be fine. Uh, the Duke Gila Nanem used a weak favor to become my... Steward. Why don't I give him a favor? I don't recall doing that. So unfortunately, he has, we have a major hook against him, so he can't join factions against me. So his going on to the council actually did help us. So he was part of this faction as well. So for whatever reason, the vassals are chilling out. Never mind, Lothian came back in again. I think Lothian had been on the council. Yeah, so unfortunately, he was cool because I put him on the council, and then the Duke of Man put himself on the council instead as steward. So I got to get this guy to chill out again. Who are we currently trying to sway? It is him. Tis he. Okay. I think we're just hanging out and hoping for the best. Hoping, hoping, hoping. That's right. As long as we hope, it'll all work out. Five months to go. They are stronger than I am. We could engage in murder, but the murder probably doesn't resolve in time. Um, it's 200 some money for the mercenaries, correct? 354 now. So expensive. Also, also, now that we're king, we may have a second accolade. So, uh, our best knight is named Kayleen. Kayleen is a hunt master and a tactician. 
He could also be Valiant. I like Valiant very much. Makes armies have more damage overall. His secondary is Tactician, which helps with more monthly martial experience. Disciplinarian, though, uh, gives faster levy reinforcement. We want that. So you are a Valiant fellow. What kind of name speaks of Valiant? The Shining Star of Scotland. Perfection. Oh, I need to actually create it. Son of a gun. <laughs> Gotta type that again. Uh, Alright, so you're Valiant, you are Disciplinarian, you are the... One more time, one more time. Shining Star of Scotland. Push Create Accolade. Boom! Uh, so we now have two fancy knights. There's no way we get enough money to... Yeah, no way we get enough money to hire merchants anytime soon. That said, a local Earl is interested in challenging a board game. Heck yes, we already won one, let's win another. The greatest game, Finchel. It's like chess, but weird. All right, we are good at learning, we'll repeatedly insist on our learning over and over again. Do we win? Is rock, paper, scissors in my favor? Yes, it is. That said, he took it personally and wants to be rivals now. Also, we lost some stress. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Hey, people in chat talk about the crossword. Let's drop it now. I think both their points have been made. Let's go to like a positive vibe. It's all cool. We're having a fun time here. Divided attention gives us two more domain limit. That's not helpful currently. None of the immediate items to unlock will help us with the vassals being angry. We could change to diplomacy. They'll be a little cooler with us, but not by much. Also, we can move our queen into diplomacy, possibly. Whichever way, more domain limit, because soon I'm taking land from the prior king. What is our wife good at? She's quite good at di di um, stewardship. Diplomacy doesn't help much, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to move my spy mistress over to my own capital. And the reason for that is in hopes of finding ducal secrets on the people who are currently against us. We're still very, very strong and very, very angry. Uh, we're probably fighting some wars here. We do have a number of allies. Bavaria and Normandy are the two that are impressive. Yeah, if we can get our allies in, we're definitely in good shape, even against our dukes. It's just a matter of getting them up here in time to help us out. Um, I do want to spend money on building up our holdings, but for the moment, we shouldn't do that. We just need to hold on to the cash. Well, should we actually? We can't afford mercenaries ever. Uh, with the money we have, we're going to start building up our men at arms some more. So cap that one. And then we'll probably have a second pikeman group eventually. Four more money needed. We're going to stay at about plus nine money once this is fully grown. My daughter-in-law, Anna, not the inheriting family, has given birth to a son named Beethoven. <gasps> Who have you been cheating with? This man's name is Beat Han, and he's a giant. That is a beautiful thing to see. What a surprise. Every time we get a kid, it's like opening a Christmas present. And occasionally it's just more socks, but occasionally you get a brand new Nintendo Entertainment System. And that's what happened right here. We got ourselves a giant. Now, are you known to be cheating with someone? You're not known to be such. Maybe we just got very lucky here. Uh, I will personally look after you, giant kid. Regardless of what you want to do, you're going into Marshall. I've already decided that is your future. <laughs> Maybe a spontaneous mutation? It does happen. It does happen. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, also, the protecting and scheme pop-up only comes up when you are um, having a, having a uh, targeted scheme against you yourself. That said, unfortunately, we do have a fired claim. We 
King of Scotland belongs to Duchess Ave of Strathclyde. I believe if I win this thing, we get legitimacy. So I will prove that yes indeed, I am the worthy king of this place. So we're going to call Normandy and Bavaria to assist us. All we have to do is keep the capital until, until uh, our friends show up and they'll be fine. Hey, Cyber Oracle, thank you for gifting a generous subscription to Alphanumeric Spam. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the kindness. God decides who rules this place. Hope for the Pope's with us. Oh, speaking of the Pope, how's that papal credit card looking? Negative 15. But if he liked us a little bit more, we could then get the papal credit card. He's very unlikely to like us anytime soon. Uh, let me think real quick. I don't see us finding a way to get an alliance with England. That would help quite a bit. Yeah, as of right now, I think the papal credit card is the way to go. So, take a long time, but eventually we'll be friends, and then he'll give me his dollar bills. Or I guess Lyra, possibly? Something like that. All right, move our rally point to the capital. Our men at arms stack is fully grown right now. When we raise the army, we'll still be productive on cash, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this by one more. Their army is raised. Bavaria is on the way. Normandy's on the way. They're coming for Sterling or Fife first. That's fine. That's fine. In one or two more ticks, our pikemen will be full. We're letting Fife be taken. That's absolutely fine. But then, Bertha has discovered that Neuter is an unbeliever. What do you mean, looking like a giant Viking? You actually don't believe in the Catholic faith? What, what, what? That's fine. My knights may have secrets so long as they do not attack us. Our men and arms are fully loaded. We raise the troops. They immediately go for the capital. Not quite. They immediately go for Krief. That's fine. Uh, we have so few troops. We have a 24 commander who's reckless. Things could be good. Things could be bad. We have a rough terrain expert also. That'll give a big bonus in hills. So plus four is 25. Also no penalty for possible reckless negative. So, you take over at our commander. We don't have very many troops here. Where is Norman? Normandy is coming! Where is, uh, who are people? Bavaria. Bavaria has got a bit of a walk. So it is, hopefully Normandy gets here in time. As of right now, the game's saying we're to win. Apparently the... Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, apparently the enemy is in debt right now. That surprises me. She is. She didn't hire mercenaries, but she has no cash anyway. Well, we'll see what happens here. That said, death comes for me. Even if God decides that we are the rightful ruler of Scotland, I'm not sure what God will say as we die. One year to go. It's currently May 28th. We begin the battle. A very, very good roll for us. Plus 27, plus 34. We might actually win this without Normandy. Uh, we will not win without Normandy. Here comes Normandy. We hold on to the capital. By the way, by the way, a message from our bishop, the Archbishop Vittorio of Scotland, says he's taking great interest in his work as court chaplain recently. Rolada graciously allowed him to spend some time with you, man. He's sure to learn a few things of the history of our realm and the traditions of our people. Arthur the heir can learn about our people. So we can get a hook. Or he gets a hook on us if we let him teach our son. I can teach him myself. We'll see if we're speaking the truth. So it's possible possible he has bad reasons for doing it. 
Uh, a hook on our archbishop is not a big deal, so you may teach our son. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, we have a new successor to the Mountain of Athol title. Neuter the Unbeliever will take over on that one. That is fine. I give you the first victory. By which I mean, I give you thanks to Normandy. We now march on their capital. Also, also, Duke Gospatrick, who's currently at war against me, <laughs> has discovered a most appalling truth about Duke Ornther. This is the Duke of the Isles. He must inform me the man is keeping secrets most alarming. I can say thank you. I can say we don't care about that. I'll take secrets on any of my uh, vassals. That said, his letter must have been sent before the war began. Otherwise, very, very strange. We've learned that he's a murderer. All right, we blackmail him on that. He wants to keep it quiet. More hooks against the uh, vassals. Great. That's a strong hook, which means he's unable to fight against me ever, ever, ever. Uh, where is Normandy? Uh, Normandy is coming with us still. So, hopefully we're the siege leader. We are indeed. The Archbishop of Vittorio's tutelage of my son is bearing fruit. Arthur has learned a lot more than I dared to hope. And he is taking some future responsibilities much more seriously than before. Marvelous! He learned two more learning points. Also, also, I forgot. The person we ended up setting up as heir is a not terribly smart thinker. <laughs> so he has no skill for thinking, but he tries to think all the time. There's a certain subset of philosophy majors. They're usually real into marijuana and saying repeatedly, but what if, man? I think Arthur may be one of those. He's not going to be a good king, but gosh, he's trying his best. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, because we're already at war, we're not interested at all in finding secrets. And because someone's potentially against us, we're going to move my spy master to figure out who that is, hopefully. Uh, Carrick's under siege. Carrick is loyal to me, but not a big deal right now. Not a good air time for murder. Unfortunately, he's the only one of my children who has a grandson, or has a son also. So it's in order to maintain the line we're going with him. It'll be, you know, okay. But we could try to disinherit, I suppose. Well, how's our dynasty doing anyway? We're still noteworthy only. But we have a long way to go for next legacy, unfortunately. And the legacies we're doing... Uh, are the heroic bloodline on top. I love this thing so much. I absolutely love this thing. It's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful presentation of heroism. But I intend to get heroism and legitimacy both in order to see uh, the two new legacy paintings. They're all absolutely wonderful. This one's like a nice tapestry of golden legend. Completing a mythical holy legend would become a saint. We're still working on getting the Egyptian one. That takes a lot of money, though. All right. My Marshal Kayleen has been showing off a promising new recruit. His name is Kongus. He's an okay fighter. Welcome, Kongus. May we enjoy your intelligence here. When you get high level renown, can you get points to unlock further dynasty stuff? Yeah. So as you get more and more renown points, um, you um, can unlock more and more things. Uh, also, level of renown, the splendor amount, is just based on how reputable you are when people are born in your land, like in your, your family, rather. So um, there is no way in terms of acquiring splendor to get more renown. You can see here, though, what gives additional renown, namely the people who have good legitimacy do. Um, and these earls and dukes are unworthy of their titles, which lowers our renown. This is an interesting addition to the game. Um, you recall that previously, this, like, I think you only ever got pause on Renown, but now there's a way to harm it if people do not hold their titles rightfully very well. All right. Um, the prior ruler of Bavaria has died. That said, the new ruler of Bavaria, though not actually part of the um, 
again, not actually part of the, the family anymore because the person who ensured the relationship is dead joined the war anyway. So Bavaria is still coming to help. When Heisel is splintered, Max, can you still knock Dynasty perk points? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Um, so you can keep in, uh, in accruing more and more renown even when you're capped. In the same way that when you're at highest level of prestige, you get more and more prestige points. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Pope Alexander's been swayed. <gasps> He's plus 45 now. The Papal Credit Card says yes. We get 222 money from the Pope. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All it took was one sway. Uh, if we want to, we have an inspiration for a tapestry. As of right now, I do not need more tapestries. I need armor in particular at some point. For now, though, we have enough money to build up our various holdings. So, do a new building here. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We already made the building to improve the strength of our, our pikemen. The pikemen don't live there right now, but they will eventually. Um, is there anything that gives a flat bonus to all men at arms? I don't think there is this point in history, unfortunately. So we can just go for the blacksmith, which is the one I was thinking of. Uh, blacksmith, good. Hey, Red Scarlet, I like your name very much. Red Scarlet Poppy's a nice name. Welcome. <laughs> That's right. Come to the channel, I will compliment your username. That's what we do here. <laughs> uh, we've nicely caught out an enemy. Um, the game is not sure we'll win this. I'm actually almost certainly will. Yeah, we're definitely winning it. The uh, Duke of Normandy supports us well. Hey, another victory at plus 51. So we need to just continue beating up the opposition. And someday, 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 we'll end up becoming the rightful King of Scotland once more. Uh, heading to their other capital here. Uh, the capital of Lothian will be good. And my daughter-in-law, Bertha. It's a daughter of my first son. It's finally, give us another granddaughter. Never mind, absolutely useless family. <laughs> Three granddaughters, no grandsons at all. Possibly some good alliances eventually. What's this war? Uh, some of my vassals decided that I ought not be king of Scotland. This war is to prove that yes, indeed, we should be. And they should uh, mind their own business for sure. I uh, will deal with all of this after the war. Duncan of Scotland is a title he shouldn't have. We send a hostage to Robert of England to hopefully maintain peace between us. I can send a granddaughter down there. Also, this big dum dum Murdoch has decided to tell people where we live. We'll appreciate the notice. We have two prisoners also. Uh, one's an Earl, not giving us war score. How much money are you making a turn? One three. You can stay in your prison until you've given us a full amount of money. And then my grandson-in-law, the Earl Melosa of Ross, has enough money to be freed. Also, also, if we want to, we can change this fellow's contract using our strong hook. Um, yeah, repairing him to normal normal seems like a fine thing to do. So he gives me a few more troops. He did not rise against us, so I'm okay with changing his contract. That said, we've noticed that most of our vassals are fairly strong against, strongly against us. Also, we notice our capital is being sieged down. It'll take them eight months. It'll take us eight months also. So after we uh, finish this battle right here, we're immediately shifting to the north. We've been waiting for this. I don't need it anymore. But my bishop has found a way to insist that we own all of Iceland. <laughs> this was not the goal in any sense, uh, now that we have the Kingdom of Scotland. But wouldn't it be fun to call it Scottish Iceland? I think it would. It's almost all of our money, but I love this idea. Iceland will soon be ours. Oh, I forgot. Ugh. I was so excited over getting the Kingdom of Scotland, I forgot we were very close to death. 
At age 70, the King of Scotland rests in the arms of the Lord. He died of old age. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of history. King Arthur ascends to the throne. An industrious man, he's diligent through and through. Uh, the realm will be either be brought to riches or ruin under him. Well, we'll try our best. We've lost three minor titles, Angus and Mirns and Straithern, to our various brothers. We'll get those back, don't you worry. So we are somewhat weaker than before. Again, I forgot. He's age 33. He'll figure out his way to maintain the throne. He becomes three out of five rightful ruler. Where the prior king was much lower. I don't know how that happens. Nonetheless, he's legitimate king. Hooray. Okay, a few things. Number one, we're running out of money very, very quickly because we've lost a ton of territory. Um, number two, our council's totally empty. And everybody hates us. So... Our prior king of Scotland has unfortunately still hated us. He is the best diplomat I got. He's also a murderer. We're going to ignore him. The Duke of the Isles, fine. We have a very good... We actually have very few vassals right now because they're all busily fighting against us. I look forward to seizing their title soon. Uh, the Duke of Man would like to be our steward. That's fine. Our spy master cannot be this person. So instead, Augustine the courier, courtier rather, would take it. Or with three points left, our loyal brother. Loyal brother, you take it over for now. We want our chancellor still on making things nice inside the territory. Our steward still on making me money. I'm going to move my marshal to levy reinforcement. And... Happily, I can see my bishop is supporting the um, the king. All right. Does the king have any dirty secrets? Thank God, no. He has not harmed us too much right now. But wait! <laughs> What's he trying to do? <laughs> What's he trying to do? He's trying to murder his brother. Let's stop that, boss. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, unfortunately, in the king's dying, we lost our claim on uh, good old Iceland. These things happen. Uh, we're personally educating our kid already. Is that true? No, our father was. We need to unpause this and wait for the kid to become free again and then look after him indeed. I don't know why he's on learning. Definitely stewardship's the way to go for right now. Uh, unpause for a second. One, two, three. Cat. Back to is the kid available now? He is. We educate him. Lovely. How do I plan taking land from our siblings? That's the next problem. Um, we can unland them directly via being a tyrant. We can develop claims against them. We'll see. We'll get the land back after a while. Ah, we captured the Provost of Queensferry and Roderick a Knight. None of them are worth war score. Oh, well, actually, one is. Sorry. One of them is worth war score. It's whoever's inheriting the war leader's territory. It is Neil Dunbar, not in prison. Uh, who is it? Just captured air. Doesn't say who it is. Regardless, to the prison. Provost Brian, you are not inheriting anything. Give me your money. Roderick de Ramsey, you are part of the Ramsey family, the only one. You're not a good knight. You may go with my best wishes. And then Earl Waldiv is probably inheriting a title. So I'm going to keep you in place for right now. Shadow of Flame at Twilight. So we sure do need to hold a funeral for the prior king. Our king, though, our prior king was such an amazing man. Will I be amazing? We can try. Or instead, we can say we're glad we have a famous father. If we say we're glad, we get less prestige, but our stress lowers more easily. Our stress is kind of high right now. 
and Shadow Flame Twilight, more stress, more prestige. I'll take that. Also, also, I've not yet chosen a focus for our ruler. Whoops. Uh, so far, we've gone learning. Uh, down Scholar quite a bit. That will help with our cultural learning. Um, if we go into learning for a little while longer, we can finish the Scholar Tree. That gives us even more learning points and more likely to uh, defeat people in schemes, including friendly schemes. But I don't really want to be in learning that much. I want to be in diplomacy or stewardship. Um, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here for now because getting this counselor skill bonus would help quite a bit. All right, the capital is being sieged down. If I leave behind a sieging army, I have seven troops. Does Normandy come with me? They do. They have 2,000 troops. So my seven knights march their way into the capital. As long as I'm absolutely certain that Normandy gets there before the battle's over, we're going to be okay. Come on, Normandy! We scared him away! Our seven men go over the border. Hey, Normandy's here too. We win. What a big win. Great, great, great. Another faction's coming. Another faction's coming. Um, Prince David, our brother, would like to have the... Kingdom of Scotland, and then also, also, the Duke of the Isles, on whom the prior king had a hook, wants liberty, liberty, liberty. He wants me to lower crown authority. It's only at level one, so it's kind of a big complaint. Um, with that said, we have very little money right now. He doesn't like us that much. If he goes on the council, it could help. So who's in the council and not currently a vassal? The Marshal is with a 24. It's such a good Marshal. Um, I'm moving the Queen to Diplomacy, which helps our Steward like us a little bit more. I am going to make this fellow the Marshal, even though I don't really want that. So he is merely a... merely a 10. All right, chill up. Oh, he's actually on the council already. Never mind. He just likes us while being on the council. He is our chancellor. <laughs> All right, let's work on swaying him instead. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Uh, another good victory there. We're at 99% war score. We captured William a knight. He'll be a fine knight for us also. Come with us, please, if you want to live. And two other people, none of whom are giving war score. So one more victory, this siege, or another moment of ticking war score. We're not getting ticking war score. Huh. What if you held the capital, you'd get ticking war score? I guess not. I guess not. But one more uh, siege here, we'll finish it. Seven months to go. Move our stack back down again. Uh, I'm probably going to go through the walls here. Which will cause to lose some troops, but it'll end the war all at once. And that'll be good. People want to speak to me inside of my court. Belching is happening. My mentor and bishop is belching everywhere. We can say he's a man of God and trust that belching is okay. Or we can say all of us occasionally need to belch. Lowering our stress, we're okay with that. We have one artifact we're not currently using. Uh, unfortunately, it does not go into any of the empty slots. It is one of our house banners. We have two house banners. I'll probably break one of them eventually because we just don't need both. Okay. Oops. Stay here and help with the siege. And then everyone goes through the walls. Only 10 days to go. The throne of Scotland is rightfully ours. Our legitimacy should go up. God is with us. God be praised. The war is over. Hooray. So now the war leader's imprisoned. God was not with them. How does this work now? Our legitimacy is still level three. We are recognized by our powerful vassals and our vassals. So we are in good shape. If we get to level four, we get bonuses to a lot of diplomatic interactions and short reign lasts even less time. It's okay. 
Our kid is six years old. Let's keep an eye on him. All right. Next up, next up is deal with the prisoners. So hello to you, Duke God's Patrick of the family Dunbar. You dared rise against me, and so give me your duchy and all attendant titles. We got stress for that because we're forgiving. Oh no, my king does not want to do the right thing here. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. So, so, so. If we revoke these titles, we're going to be just below our stress cap for level one. That is fine. Did I not strip your duchy? Or were you a double duchess? He's a double duchess. It's tyrannical to take her other title right now. <sighs> Only one. So she can keep Moray in the north. For now, you stay in the prison. Uh, here's a man named David. He is nobody much. So let's let him go free for a hook. He will not give me a hook. He'll join me, though. Fine. And then someone's name is Male Madoc, a Gaelic fellow. Nobody special. Let him join us, though, to be another knight. Okay, we are now way over on domain size. Um, some of these we could potentially keep, but I prefer to get the ones inside of my local duchy first. Though we don't hold that local, local duchy right now. Um, the duchy we, duchies we do hold are Straight Clyde and Lothian both. They're roughly the same size. I'm going to give away this one here, probably to one of our brothers. Unfortunately, our brothers all have titles already. I don't want to give it to our son. He's too young. Possibly one of the children of good old ugly Princess Martha. He does have a son now, Edward of Normandy. Unfortunately, these people are not part of our family, though they are part of blood. We'll see what we can find here. So what's the capital of Strathclyde here? It's supposed to be the place called the Earldom of Lennox in the north. Okay. So, if I give this thing away to someone of our family, Dynasty Mine, we have various nephews, etc. This kid's name is Angus. He's a fairly average character. But you know what? Sure. You, my boy, get everything in this duchy. Do enjoy. He becomes big and strong, but he's going to love me forever because of giving him that. His wife is pregnant. We'll call this a gift to their first child. We born in about a month or so. I hope they enjoy having some territory. Uh, with that, we're still one over on domain size. I can invite our wife to help us with that now. And so we go six to six, we're fine. All right. I would like to get back my proper holdings, the ones the prior king build up. That said, what we have right now, we're already plus nine. And in a moment, this will turn back on. We're probably gonna go over plus 10. We're currently being raided by the Jarl Isselfer. I don't know who that is, but I don't like seeing that. So, unfortunately, my army is very small right now because of the earlier uh, battle. So, you have to accept that raid as long as they don't come to the capital. Also, also, we lost the place when Mangonels left, so we'll go send them somewhere new. Uh, Edinburgh has the best bonus to uh, range Mangonel sieging. Gotta keep building that up, though. Hey, how's it going, Sneaky Spudsworth? Thank you for the raid. What were you playing today, Sneaky? I appreciate that. And hello to Praise Relics. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. We're playing as the King of Scotland. We're having a nice time. The dynasty had just changed. I raided the capital. So that's not my raiding group. That's the enemy raiding group. I can't do anything with them right now. So we're ignoring that raid. Oh, you mean you raiders from Sneaky's channel? Please don't raid the capital. I can't deal with that. No, no, no. You're playing CK down in the Holy Roman Empire. Awesome. Awesome. France and the HRE have not yet exploded. That said, the HRE's got some blood on its pants right now. Diseases, stay away, please and thanks. Ew, gross. What's this one called? St. Anthony's Fire. It is a holy fire. This character suffers from painful seizures, headaches, nausea, and diarrhea. The involuntary spasms make it look as if they were dancing. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> you all stay over there. We're going to keep hiding in Scotland, thank you. 
Oh my goodness. A scheme at court! Someone trying to kill my knight Brokan! Is it his rivals? I bet it is. What pure villainy here. Alright, someone's scheming against me also. That's fine. Alright, things that need doing next little bit. Oh, interesting. Uh, Ireland has managed to uh, possibly possibly uh, head towards a kingdom. Connacht finally got itself together and Munster did also. Last time we looked, there was a whole bunch of independent counties, but cool stuff. I want to continue building up my various holdings. That's pretty important right now. The papal credit card is ready to go again. This is the second credit card in only a few years. Thanks for the money, boss. We got big money now. Also, 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 it looks like the Outer Hebrides, which is up here, the Count's in line to inherit part of Dalmatia. Yep. <laughs> so, the line here unfortunately involves Croatia. So they have one child left who's one year old. Oh, well, that's surprising. Ah, right, so after that kid, it goes to a duke instead. Friends, I think it's time to kill a child. Is that true? So the king inherits a banate, which is a duchy, which means that, yeah, that county will spin out. Nobody likes this. And yet, seven people immediately join. Seven people say, heck yes, this child must die. Anything to keep the realm together. Secret, secret, secrets. Uh, we can move various um, vassals around. So Prince Malmura II, our brother, can be given to Prince Duncan of Scotland. Unfortunately, he holds my current, uh, my current main duchy. I want that very much. So I'm not going to give anybody to him. Uh, do I have claim under duchy? I do not. We'll have to develop one of those after a while, hopefully. Well, loser, okay, okay, his father inherits. Um, no. I think no. That's a very good question. I should look into that right quick. So who's next in line? The child has the measles. Maybe we don't even need to kill the kid. Delightful. Delightful. All right. His heir is indeed his father. So this is going to happen no matter what we do, unfortunately. Do we kill the father instead? Do we kill both of them? <laughs> um, let's hold off on the murder. As much fun as it's, you know, kill children. Not today, video game. Not today. Back to that soon, though. Uh, Papal credit card is paid. We are very close to being able to start the heroic legend that is the goal of this playthrough. So... I just need a little bit more money at 380, and then we're going to push the button. It may be too early in the game, but I just want a legend so we can learn this part of the playthrough. Our legend of heroism. Also, Britain and part of Scotland increasingly believe that the King of England is the new Trojan leader. What else do we see legends-wise around the world? Um... Oh, we completed it. I actually don't know what you need to do to complete any of these legends. But the holy legend trying to figure out. Not sure. Our court grandeur just dropped to level one. Why? No idea why. It fell quite a bit. Well, it's climbing back to the correct level again. I have no idea why it fell though. Hmm. Strange times. Strange times. 
We're trying to sway the Duke Orndur, one of the people who was against us previously. Um, I do have his wife in prison right now. Who's the most elegant person we've heard of? He is. He's lovely. He's good. Uh, unfortunately, I have to free his wife. Uh, she was against us before. We took one of her titles. She's going to hate me forever. Wrong button. I uh, hate me forever, but I'm okay with getting some money from her and sending her on her way. Got to keep her in mind as someone who cannot be trusted in the future. But that's okay. We can start our legend. We start our legend. We start our legend. Okay, I'm attempting to uh, do the thing the game wants. Never mind, I don't care that much. Cat. We can start the great deed for Dunkeld if we want to. You have to have fame of three to launch the one I care about most. Fame of three is illustrious, so we will get there relatively soon. I can't maintain both of these, unfortunately. So I want to go for the one I can maintain. So we'll wait until we have next level. So between now and then, I can just build stuff up. Hello, Edinburgh. You're going to stay around long term. We don't have the money for a ducal building. We could make the burial site. This vast burial site is full of plots for common graves and a few small mausoleums for more significant figures. This apparently helped with plague resistance. The other ones, though, we don't yet have. You have to have burrs learned. We should have that done fairly soon. Instead, we'll just build up other buildings for cash money and such. Good. Little Dunbar here. Little Dunbar here. Just money, thank you. That's all the cash for now. 11 a month. Uh, with 11 a month, we want to continue strengthening our men at arms. Get more and more regiments going. So one more click and our pikemen are full size. And a message here. David of Scotland wants an alliance. He's one of my vassal brothers. Now nah, we're good, thanks. We're good, thanks. So we hold a large portion of this duchy, duchy of Lothian. We do already have it. That's good stuff. We'll stay with that, probably. Um, any other vassal tree problems? No. All the vassal tree problems are involving the prior king. He hates me, but he's not going to cause any problems for us. Gotta believe, gotta believe. There's a bunch of possible factioning of our various brothers. And the prior king of Scotland, but they're all very weak. No problems at all. Fantastic. All right, so other than starting that legend, what is my next big goal? Our next big goal might be to take Iceland over, as it's still free. I do also want... Um, the Faroe Islands, because that's part of the joke of this game. But that's fighting Norway. I don't want to do that currently. So I'm once again going to send my bishop up to find me a claim on all of Iceland together, if possible. Uh, more Bloomery's mate. Those Bloomery's are the basic blacksmith. Gives a bonus to all money produced in the county. Good stuff. So having defeated that most recent... Um, rebellion. I feel like we're in much better shape than we have in a long time. You have to take Egypt for the achievement. I'm not exactly sure alphanumeric. I don't quite know how it works. Um, it's the legend, but I don't know how legends work. Um, because we're greedy, we do not want to give people money to be our wet nurse, so never mind. <laughs> we, we have to lower our stress. Um, probably going for a hunt's the way to do that right now. But we do want to have Master of the Hunt, of course, to get my legendary hunts. We also want to have a wet nurse to look after our heir for someday. Oh, can't have one because there's no one here who could be our wet nurse. Everyone's too darn old. That's all right. Let's also hire an antiquarian to look after our basic items. And then for now, let's also get the master of the horse for future wars. That bonus to knights cannot be doubted. If we have a jester, if we have a jester, this person wants to be a jester, that will also help with stress events. A lot of spending now on the court, but that's all right. What's England looking like? I mean, obviously quite strong. We'll about double our strength. 
We have an alliance with the Queen of England, who's also the uh, minor county holder down in France. We have an alliance also with the Duke of Normandy and also with uh, part of Wales. These are all internal to them, though. So they have nobody who's outside of themselves. These are alliances that are meant to keep them on the throne. Um, again, double our strength. They might come for Scotland at basically any point. So we should find a way to ally with someone who's fairly strong. Um, the French king's a possibility. Um, someone in the HRE, one of the minor uh, dukes would be good also. Um, Norway or Sweden, possibly as well. That said, we only have the one child. Our wife is now 48, so no more kids. Our wife appears to have a spouse before us. Who is that? Donald IV of Scotland. I don't remember who he is. He wasn't the prior king, though. Anyway, she has a bunch of kids, unfortunately not of our blood. Oh, they are of our blood, actually. Via another father, another father, also part of our family. Huh. Can I use them, then, for alliances? I don't think I can. They're probably all married off anyway. Actually not. Hello, Cecilia. Cecilia, do we get an alliance off of you? I don't think we do. We do not, actually. We do not. So, we have one son who's useful for alliances. A bunch of duchies, unfortunately. Looks like about the best we're going to get. Or the Kingdom of Navarra. We can get involved in Spanish politics. I don't know. I don't know. Probably doesn't seem worth doing. I'm going to leave him unmarried for right now. There's no reason to rush into it. Competitiveness among my orchards. Neither Knunter or Vittorio noticed I creep closer to the boisterous hallway conversation. Physical supplication is key. Every groveling-induced bruise on my knee is fresh coin in my purse. You can't go wrong with prostration. Nonsense. Just keep stacking adjectives in front of his title and you'll be rich till you die. If you got air in your lungs before you get to king, you're doing it wrong. I cough. Hushing the mortified toadies instantly. All right, so they're talking about how to impress me. So I can order them both to try harder, shaming them. I can insist I see their, through their manipulations or demand some money. If we get some money, they don't like me anymore, but they are a little poorer and we're a little richer, and that is what counts. Uh, must lower stress, as mentioned previously. We also need a claim on the Duchy of Schleswig. That's inside of Norway, correct? Inside of Denmark, rather. Not right there. Someday, someday. Uh, because our stress is so high, um, we, ha we have done some hunting already in Wienator. Let's continue doing that to lower stress again. Um, stress is here. Oh, we're going to throw a funeral for our father. We don't have the money for it, unfortunately. I think it's very expensive. So if we go over to St. Andrews for our recently dead father, how expensive is it with the cheapest possible outcome? 214. Never mind, we don't love dad quite that much. It would give us legitimacy, but it's not essential. Oh, we got a pop up about plagues just now. Because Satan's fire is here. There's none of those holy fires of diarrhea, headaches, nausea. It's all terrible. Will Satan's fire get to us? We wait briefly. If it gets close to the capital, then we move. Oh, it's actually moved to the place where I was uh, preparing to go hunt. I'm glad we didn't go the right away. A walk through the Earl of Bukan seems pleasant enough at first, but closer inspection reveals something deeply unpleasant. A plague is here. The infected contort themselves in unholy dances at random intervals between bouts of mindless groaning and fouling in the streets. While numbers remain low, more and more population are beginning to demonstrate the symptoms. It's only a matter of time until it spreads further. Already people are calling the affliction Satan's fire. Bum, bum, bum. This may never breach the capital. Providing aid where needed could prove critical in keeping it at bay. Bring me the physician. Oh, so I've lost legitimacy either way. The plague is a sign that I ought not be king. Well, bring me the physician. 
The dim, flickering light of Muir's infirmary illuminates the scene. He has a number of observations regarding Satan's fire, chiefly the way patients are punished with erratic movements like I've never seen before. The plague doesn't seem to be too severe, so take a light approach towards it. Soft approach all the way. We'll see how it goes. Uh, friends, another hour down. It's now noon o'clock my time. Thank you for hanging out with me. We're going to stream for at least one more hour, maybe even more. We'll see. But now it's time for three minutes of ad break. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for hanging out. Let's do some more good old crossword puzzle and see if we can finish this one soon. Okay. Um, surpasses. Surpasses. Could be be uh, best, etc. Or coach. A coach is a bus as well as helping someone out. So surpasses. Um, beats instead of uh, best. Spa service. How about a peel for your skin? A le petite blank, a term for orgasm that references death. Friends, I know French. I know French. Le petite mort, the little death. Uh, retain. Retain. So to hold on to. To maintain. To stow. Not sure. Code opener. Area code, surely. A blend is mesh or meld. I think meld's better. A stain. Stain, stain, stain. So it could be a stain on reputation, a stain on uh, your clothes. You can put wood stain onto a table, make it look nice. So stain could be dye. I'm not sure on that, but we'll see in a bit. Uh, babyish cry. I don't know. Wow! Maybe. We'll see. All right, so back to the top on the acrosses. One put out by a new flame. So like I said, I'm really stuck on new flame being romance. Um, it could be something user. I'm assuming that ferns actually lack seeds and flowers. That might be false. Okay. Device applied to after Tommy John surgery. So, it is something sling, though the plural seems wrong, right? Because Tommy on surgery is usually on just one arm at a time. Unless well, it's an apostrophe, possessive arms at sling. Well, we'll see. Uh, former Starbucks CEO, Blank C. Smith. I assume it's Otis, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, giving the finger. Giving the finger. So the finger could be like, you know, come here possibly also. It could be go away. Um, yeah, it's, it's not flipping the bird, surely. Not sure, not sure. Uh, spring about, spring about. So springs could be a place where you know, water or oil comes out of the ground. Uh, I don't know if tortellini is right. So that could just be wrong entirely. A uh, secure, I said fastens a possibility, but I'm not sure. Actors and documentarian grants. Still no idea. A peripatetic person. So it's walker, hiker, mover, mm, stroller. Not sure what's CA down here. Sleaze bags, a cad. Mm, roamer. Something like that. Canine protector. Enamel. Your canine tooth. Uh, brought on, brought on, aided, possibly, not sure, harmonious, uh, is it me? harmoniously is me on key, American business, air travel, like American Airlines, climbs the ladder, so to speak, gets ahead, so retain is just have, all right, only the left center is the struggle, High wire act. Rised. <laughs> uh, something dancing, possibly. Putting dancing in, it could be absolutely incorrect. Aftercare is definitely good. Maybe arm sling is wrong. I don't know what else it would be, though. Rise dancing. Oh, rope dancing. Rope dancing. Is that a thing? That might be a thing. <laughs> I think it might be a thing. Um, arm splint. Arm splint, arm splint, arm splint. Glorious. Rope dancing is right. 
Uh, non-resident worker. Huh. I want to say Otis here. Sorry. Otis requires an S there. So, Odin Z. Smith? Possibly. Non-resident worker. Huh. Something seems wrong in this area. Don't know what. Anyway, the ad breaks over. We'll get back to this in just an hour or so. I'm gonna believe we're gonna finish it today. Gotta do so, gotta do so. Hello, V in Africa, good seeing you. Hello, Red Rover Cat. What is Pharaoh Pharaoh? It's a uh, new achievement on this DLC where you uh, are Scottish and claim to be uh, from Egypt. It's a delightful little achievement that we're aiming for. Uh, Satan's Fire is one barony away. Please infect the capital. It seems the modern approach to the prevention of the plague was successful. It slowed down the ongoing plague. But our king has still lost some legitimacy due to the plague existence at all. I do want it in the capital because there's an achievement for moving your king away at a time that the uh, capital's infected. So I probably shouldn't actually want it there, but to get achievements, anything, anything. All right, Satan's Fire spreads. Not quite where I want it. Uh, my doctor has died. Not of the plague, thank goodness. Do we have a new physician available? Our Archbishop's halfway decent. I don't want to spend my money on a new one, so halfway decent is good enough in this time of crisis. <laughs> uh, we got the money again. Let's build some more things. So... Satan's fires there already. I should probably build for you a hospice. Unfortunately, your king needs money. <laughs> uh, I know what the good is, and yet I do the evil. That's the king's way for sure. There's a real outbreak now. Also, I need to get some coffee. I'm kind of low on that. I'll need to pause the game if I go AFK, though, because I cannot have the uh, plague moving unabated in the capital. Um, so if the plague comes, we're definitely going to um, just go hunt somewhere far away. Golden Child! This is my son! He was exploring the towers, and he found some money. Thank you for the 50 gold, kiddo. Very kind of you. Not yet. Not yet. Our grandeur went up again. Glorious. I want to increase game speed, because really all that matters right now is what the plague is doing. The vassals have largely fallen in line. Because the vassals have fallen in line, um, never mind. I was going to say we could possibly move out the people on our court, people who are somewhat better. But as of right now, they are uh, all kind of hating me a little bit. So they're going to stay on there till they... Get more used to my being the king. How long till the uh, bishop finishes his attempt here? Yeah, it's still about a year or so, I believe. I got money again. I want to keep at least 90 money so I can go on a hunt if need be. It's either crazily windy outside or my neighbors is like shaking things back and forth. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, the Pope will give me claims on a variety of duchies. Unfortunately, a bunch of them are inside of England, so to fight for them will require England to uh, fight me also. We can't have that. We are farther down the learning tree, though, so we get additional skill points from our counselors to the king. And I'm going to finish Scholar, and then we'll change trees for sure, for sure. Uh, Factioning against me, no more, thank goodness. Someone's trying to kill me! What, 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 what? What, what, what? They have a 5% chance of pulling it off. Well, it is possible. Don't you worry. No one's going to get the good old king this time. They wouldn't dare even imagine it. Alright, let's go very top speed. Satan's fire is dissipating. The plague did not show up this time. Boo! Boo! 
nonetheless, we need to burn off some stress, so let's go ahead and have a bit of hunting. It's my cousin, the Prince Duncan. So it's the fellow who uh, previously was King of Scotland. I can throw him in jail for trying to murder me. Now, being in jail, I believe that trying to murder your king is a worthwhile reason to take your titles. It is not. Had he actually murdered the king, that would do it. So he's going to sit in prison until I develop claims against his duchy there. Not good enough justification to take his titles. Frankly outrageous. Frankly outrageous. Well, you'll sit there for now. Um, I mean, we could... We could throw a funeral and get a bunch of legitimacy. Huh. Huh. So tyranny is just a number. So 100 legitimacy is... We'll still stay at level 3. Is there a way to see exactly how many points we have? 1102. Level 3 is at 720. Occasionally, tier needs to happen. All right. So, for daring to even imagine that you could be king, you renounce your claims, you leave me, you deserve nothing ever again. Very good. All right. We now hold uh, all the counties in the area around our capital. Uh, except for the ones our brothers hold. We'll deal with those a little later. Um, but we now have two I'd like to hold on to. I'll probably give some of the south away in a moment. For now, though, I need some coffee. I need some coffee badly. So I'm going to let the game... Uh, never mind. Until we give things away, we can't do that. I'm going to leave the game paused. So I'm going to be AFK for, you know, just, uh, just a few moments here. Just a tiny little bit. Let me go ahead and get the AFK screen up. We'll get some coffee and then come right back. Where is this text? There it is. Be right back in a moment. Thanks for hanging out. Amuse yourselves. Tell some stories. Talk about your upcoming weekend plans. Whatever you're doing, I'll see you again in just a moment or two. Thanks much for being here, as always.
Hello again, team. Uh, I'm glad to see that some of you added a chit chat and channel. Uh, very kind of you to amuse yourselves. It's good to be back with you once more. Uh, because I took a two minute break there, I guarantee we'll stream for at least one extra hour today. What a fun trade. So, yes, definitely we'll stream till two o'clock my time at the very least, very earliest, or the way you want. Hope things are good for you wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out. Hope you're having a very, very good day. Uh, like I said, I need to give away things that are not part of my central duchy. Uh, and unfortunately, most of what we hold is inside of Lothian, correct? Yeah, Lothian, Albany. Giving away Banff feels pretty bad. It's one of my most fully upgraded territories. Um, yeah, it feels actually really bad to give it away. <laughs> but... Uh, how much do I need to give away? So three, ideally. I'll go ahead and get rid of Lanner because I've not built it up at all. So someone in our family is who I'd like to give it to if possible. Uh, not our heir, but who else might there well be? Um, our giant nephew. You know what, giant nephew? You get it, boy. You better take good care of it. Um, gotta give away at least one other. Yeah, I'm going to give away... Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to give this away. There's too many things to worry about. Oh, we hold Schoon also. Schoon is actually something we don't want to keep. It's merely a... Um, is it? Wait, what is it? Sorry. Ah, Schoon's a holding inside of my main holding. So we have two places here. Schoon's given away to somebody. Um, some random nephew can hold it. Great. We're one over. I'm okay with that. There's a slight penalty to that, but not huge. Immediately Liberty Faction against us. That's okay. The prison's empty. Wonderful. <clears throat> All right. Still a bunch of problems. We'll deal with them. Some of them soon. Uh, Prince Malmuri II, uh, our brother, we could try to get a negotiation with, but no, he wants to be king, and we cannot have that. We can do some more building, though. So where it gets upgrades right now. Edinburgh continues getting more. This is my, uh, I don't know, second nearest capital. I feel like it should be a capital also eventually. Isn't Edinburgh currently the capital of uh, of Scotland? I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that. I apologize for even dare speak it. And being on plus 10 money, we can definitely support even more men at arms. So, imagine a second group of pikemen. Um, once they have the money to do so. Uh, more pikemen, more good when it comes to uh, our hills here. Just fighting defensive wars against the English is the most important issue right now. The plague has finally left the realm. Let's take us an opportunity to rise from the chaos it left in its wake. We now emerge from the wreckage of the old world to make a new. Survivors are moving to the old Marais, and this could be an exciting opportunity for our new capital. Spare no expense. Build, build, build. Or I can do nothing. Obviously, we'll rebuild, gain more legitimacy in that way, also get more development. Uh, my spy master reports that Countess Bertha, the wife of my brother Malmura, is trying to kill my court jester. <laughs> I mean, I know he's a funny guy. He seems a little strange, but murder? Really? Not quite sure about that one. All right. So how do the vassals feel about me these days? Yeah, Murray still hates me a bunch. Minor vassals are okay. An attempt on my life! My brother, my brother dared to hire some bandits that attacked us in the forest. The fighting was fiercer than expected. The thugs were targeting me. Good to see, though, that none of them defeated us in combat. My brother dares to do this. For that, my friend, may I revoke your titles? No. I can throw him in prison, at least. I don't know, brother. I don't know. <laughs> You'd really think that his trying to kill me would lead to possible staking of his titles. But no. If we try to imprison him, we're definitely going to fail. We're a forgiving person, so we should probably, probably, probably get over the situation here. Whichever way, he promises not to murder me ever again. But we'll see if that's true. Um, we just became head of the dynasty, it looks like. I don't know why we just now became that, because we should have been up for a while, but there we are on top. Hey! We've been waiting for this, and here it is. 
The King of Scotland now has a claim on the Jarldom of Iceland. It's all the money. We're in poverty for a moment. What's Iceland looking like these days? A strength of 2,800. We will surely win. They have a claim or uh, alliance with Normandy. We do also. I think. We'll check our alliances in a little bit, but Iceland shall be mine. Hello, V. If I can make one mob an option for vanilla, which would I choose? If I'm being entirely honest with you, I do not know a name of a single mod for CK3. I think there are some that uh, like add other games into CK3, but I know none of the names for mods in CK3. I always play vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rarely do I point out usernames too much. Hello to you, HP Live Laugh Lovecraft. Are you a genius? That's one of the greatest usernames I've ever seen. HP Live Laugh Lovecraft. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for the laugh. Thank you for the smile. It's good to have you with us all the way. You were shocked it wasn't taken? Yeah, it's genius. Absolutely genius. I have a similar username I'm very proud of, but I can't tell you what it is because it's attached to real me. But I have a username that I was amazed that no one had taken, and it makes me very happy. Uh, my father died a long time ago. The flame of his life shines bright. Many still consider me merely his son rather than a man in my own right. Just yesterday, an old peasant was praising my father as if he were still alive. The time has come to step out of his shadow to make my mark on the world. I will be the first ever King Arthur. All right, Mamure is my father, not... I am his son. We, our stress is still pretty high. Right. That's what I wanted to do after we dealt with the uh, over domain by a lot. And I forgot to do so. And so now stress is still pretty darn high. Uh, it's about to get even higher. <clears throat> Prince Dugald, who will someday be the king, has been asking me for a stick horse for a long time. I told him if he studied real hard... I'd buy him one. He didn't care and was not studying well. So he can be fickle. Uh, fickle leads to a decrease in stewardship, which is main goal right now. Goal right now, rather. Or we can focus him to be content or make him trusting. I like trusting leaders. They get assassinated. Welp, here comes some stress. You could be a good boy now. You'd be a good boy now. Um, question from chat. Uh, I have a vassal being raided and I went to go fight and they won't engage. Only give me option to pillage. Can you not protect vassalized lands? Um, my sense is if your vassals are being raided, it counts as your kingdom being raided. And so, yeah, you should be able to fight off raiders. Unless the raiders are, um your allies. But yeah, you should be able to fight off raiders in your vassalized territories. Like 95% sure. That seems strange. I don't know why. Very sorry. Yeah, maybe someone else in the chat has an idea of why it's not the case. I'm, I'm actually at a complete loss. Anyway, we have some mental problems. We're struggling a little bit. But... If we go for a run, we'll feel better. One of the best possible outcomes on stress breaks. So, let's go for a run. We smell kind of bad, but it's okay. We need some motivation. We need a friend. We need to invite our master of the horse to run quick next to us. Let's do it. Lowering our stress amount. Feeling a lot better, thank goodness. So no longer do we need to get a hunt right away. We'd like to have it fairly soon. Just waiting for the cash. Now my current order of getting money is hunting. Um, hello. Uh, hunting and building men at arms and then invading Iceland and then trying to put forward the legend of coming from Egypt. The King of England would like me to publicize 
the legacy of Arthur Pendragon. Uh, Kurtos is descended from Arthur. He'll pay me money to help with that. Yeah, for the money, I'll definitely take it. All right, now it's time to go on our hunt. And we haven't spotted any animals to hunt recently, have we? Not even a little bit. Hey, it's a new disease. Uh, on the west side of the territory is all gears flu coming from Ireland. So we'll definitely retreat to the east for our hunt here. Okay. Mm Peter head once more. Our endless, endless, endless hunts there. We currently have no caravan master. We'll have one of our knights help us out. He has good defensive skills. And the hunt is 305. Ugh. I forgot how expensive things get once one is a king. It's so expensive. <laughs> Even if we do the lowest level possible, it's still 215. I don't want to be a king anymore. Right, the disease continues to spread. An angelic initiation. My mentor, Vittorio, comes to me with news regarding the legacy of Arthur Pendragon. He tells me he's located multiple records that attest that Don Chad, our great, 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 great father, was more than a mere unlanded. His right as ruler of Kingdom of England was given to him by an angel. The messenger from heaven promised the house of Dunkeld would forever rule England and enact God's will on earth. Though an incredible claim, if I get enough people to believe it, none would question my rule. You understand that I'm not the king of England? <laughs> you understand that uh, I already said that the king of England is brought of Arthur Pendragon? Um, if I say this is true, we have an 88% chance of getting angelic foundation and a discount towards upgrading my legend. Or this is heresy. No, no, no. This is true. It's heresy. <laughs> no. <laughs> more stress, more bad. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so we need at least the 210 money, I believe, to launch our wonderful and good, our wonderful and good uh, hunt. That will be fine. All right, to my liege, give me your stag antler. No, no, no. Our grandfather rightly killed that beast. We will keep it. Refusing to hide from plagues. We haven't been invited to any events yet. Like, frankly, it's outrageous that no one's invited me to anything. That said, I think I found the reasons why some days are more rat-free than others, my marshal says. He moves aside, presenting a very displeased cat. It wriggles wanting to be free. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one we found it. What say you? Do we need a cat? Heck yes! Heck yes, we need a cat. The cat rests in my lap, purring contentedly. I wonder what we should name him. What do you all think? What's a good name for a cat? Something historical, alluding to the brown fur, describing the soothing feeling I experienced when scratching his ears. Oh, I know. I will name the cat dot dot dot. Here we come in. God's Fire Brigade. <laughs> If the disease is called Satan's Fire, then we need God's Fire Brigade. <laughs> All right, Fernanthus, you win today, my friend. God's Fire Brigade. You should be the streamer for sure. <laughs> uh, that's great. What a great name. What a great name. You all have some good names also, but unfortunately, Fernanthus can't be beat this day. <laughs> God's Fire Brigade. All right, so that cat will help us with our disease resistance um, and give us more health also, I believe. This child would like an alliance. No child. We get nothing. Uh, we have the money we need to go hunting now. Let's go hunting. Let's do that. So I wish to go find a buck or something once more. 
run away from the disease for sure. Have the weakest possible team need recreation. Just enjoy a walk in the woods. That is fine. Once again, we head out on the road. I like to imagine we're simultaneously drinking and playing that horn. We call the men to the field. Speaking of the men, is my wife on the road also? Nope, my wife stayed home, drunk as she is. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants get started on preparations. We have some tents, we have some hides, I don't know where those hides came from. We must have brought it out to make this place look a little bit more attractive. We have a 46% chance of hunting, I'd like that to win. And the vassals are still kind of cranky, correct? Our most powerful vassals like us okay. The Duchess of Moray is still an issue. She has very few troops currently. I think we'll be okay. She concerns me though. The Provost Brian assembles the party as the sun rises over the woodlands. A stout buck is definitely around. Let's find that stag. Court Grandeur 4. The noise of the other has faded away. The Duke Angus is a secret about one of my earls. I do not care about that at all. <laughs> earls are unimportant to me. My huntsmen have found the place where the beast lays its head. A nearby watering hole and a grazing spot too. So, we can try to be stealthy and get there, try to surprise it, or instead, hunt it directly. We hunt it directly. Our stress is now down enough, thank goodness. As we dip through the sparse pines, hot on the tail of the stag, we break into a dead-end clearing beneath a small cliff. An audible groan of disappointment and annoyance rise from the party. A terrified doe and her fawn cower in the tree roots. We must have fallen onto their tracks in our haste. There's no sense in hunting them. We'll have to double back and sniff out the buck again before it's too late. So we could go ahead and kill the children. We can grab the fawn to tame instead. You get tamed fawn for 10 years. What is that? Uh, more prestige. The character has captured a fawn and raised it tame in order to deceive its wild cousins. <laughs> I thought we are going to start a petting zoo, but no. What are we going to do? We're going to bring the fawn out as a trap. Or find that buck. Um, we're going to find that buck. We're here to hunt, we're gonna hunt. We can hardly keep with the beast as it darts and weaves. We have lost it. The thing is gone. Nonetheless, we gain some hunter ability, we gain some stress removal, we gain some legitimacy, and everything is looking better than ever before out here in the wilds. Let's go home. A uh, little control in two of our recently taken counties. Let's go ahead and fix that. When I say two, I actually meant many, <laughs> many. Uh, these ones, though, we personally control, so just keep an eye on those especially. All right. So next up, we want to strengthen our, our men-at-arms. We'll do that in a moment. Uh, not a day goes by in Ballot's Her where I don't run into fishermen who has a new piece of information, a type of bait to use, where to catch fish, or just how big those fish are. I even get the chance to fish myself, and the fishermen show me tips and tricks. They all applaud politely when I finally catch one. So we could learn even more. This makes dexterous fishermen even cheaper. Uh, coastal holding give defender advantage. Uh, or apply it to seafaring. If we do that, it's cheaper to go to sea. Fantastic. This is useful for attacking Iceland. The next five years, we're in better shape attacking Iceland. Ah, back home at Scotland. Wonderful, wonderful. We still have a disease in the east. It's not expanded in quite a while, and I believe it's not going to expand. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, time to start new regiments. Once again, just more pikemen. Wait, real quick, what is the geography of Iceland? It's Taiga, actually, and Plains. There are some hills in the north. The capital, though, is is Taiga. And what is the relationship between pikemen and that? 
pikemen have a bonus in mountains and hills. They don't have any negative in taiga, though. What kind of uh, men at arms does the Jarl have here? Manganel's Vigman Bondi. So none of these are countered by pikemen. Um, they also have Huskarls. Oh, some very, very good men at arms. So, 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 so. I'm now afraid of Iceland. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> as much as I want to attack them, I reckon it's a better idea to just not do so. So, does the Pope hate anybody? The Pope hates a number of the uh, a number of the English dukes. Can't do much with that. What I can do though is head towards Munster. It's a child. It's a child. Will the Pope give me a claim against this child? Mm. No. We could buy a claim from the Pope for 500 piety. Welp, that's just what we have. All right. Munster, I've chosen you. As soon as that plague leaves, we're coming your direction for sure. We'll be the monster of Munster very soon. Also, a visitor named the Earl of Cumberland... He has killed his family members, he's missing a leg, and he's sick. Don't you dare cough at us. He bows down, offers an oath. We say thank you. We get more renown as a family. Speaking of renown, we're very close to getting reputable. We're still very far away from getting our legacy uh, selection next. Yeah, we're definitely going to stay in Living Legends, but... We're only distinguished, so we still cannot start our Sons of Skota. I can't believe we were a heretic earlier. It's outrageous. So we have to be illustrious to launch this. That'll be what we use our money for soon enough. But like I said before, it is time to start a new men at arm regiment with additional pikemen. We'll then need to deploy them somewhere in the world. The biggest bonus is currently at. Banff, actually. Holy moly. Yeah, 8.8 .8 there. The same as Dunkeld. It's the combination of the Bloomery and the Barracks, I believe, that helps with that. Ireland's a problem. Is Ireland is bleeding red right now. Poor Ireland. Dear sweet Ireland, how has it come to this? Uh, how are the vassals feeling now? I just had the thought of maybe I should work on raising their taxes. But... How much money are you pulling in a turn anyway? Yeah, 1-3. We're making so much more money than our vassals are that I don't want to damage their economies. They're still relatively weak compared to me, and so I just want to let them chill out for sure. Speaking of chilling out, we do have two duchy-level titles right now. We have claims on more, but we don't care about that at all. Alright, Munster still has their disease. It's not nearly as bloody as Canacht is, but... Uh, one reason it might be a good idea to take part of Munster is to make it so England cannot form Britain. They've taken most of Wales. They've taken a decent chunk out of Ireland. The more we have, the more better it is. The papal credit card is ready again. 330 money. It's a beautiful thing to keep the, ki uh, the, the Pope on your side. He's given us about 700 money in the past couple years. It's huge. My son Dungold was taught a lesson in vassal management by one of my dukes. It was a complicated course, but might be a bit beyond his grasp. So, everyone makes mistake, Dungold says. When I rule, I'll forgive and let live. When my king is forgiving, his son wants to be forgiving also. Trusting and forgiving. Definitely good guy king is coming. Or we make him patient. Nope, nope. That's a virtue for the faith. Gotta make him a virtuous man. It's good. It's all good. Uh, the capital is no longer... Um, no longer problematic. So... With the money we have, we're going to strengthen the men-at-arms as much as possible. And then we'll head down to Munster. And have... A Irish Scotland, Scottish Ireland, however you want to call it. Our wife has a bonus to stewardship, plus two, plus two stewardship for a bit. Uh, not quite enough to get us able to hold all of our current holdings. 
We're at 17. If we can get one more point in stewardship, we can keep all of these counties no problem uh once we're done with one more learning we'll then move stewardship and that'll be fine also also at some point when we have big money again i think we should start making some lower tier armor and such uh because right now our king has no armor another another one of the many diseases ended wreckage must be repaired we spare no expense we get disease recovery and make our people happier than ever before. Uh, about a third of the way to fully raise the men at arms. That's definitely enough, right? Munster has no aid. Their ruler has consumption. Let's go, let's go. So, we'll raise our armies on the edge of Scotland in the south. Not sure if we're going to march that way or instead drive that way, so to speak. Raise them all. Uh, raise actually everybody, please. Ah, finally, respectable army. And it looks like the boy king of Munster died of shock. Actually died of consumption. And uh, his sister took over. She has consumption also. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're not doing so well over in Munster. Our little kitty cat, God's Fire Brigade, has found us a gift. It's gleaming. It's two coins. Also, we actually can't support our entire army when it's raised. Good to know. Good to know. We may need to sell something to fix this. Yeah, growing the number of um, men at arms so quickly, we need to be careful with. It's been brought to my attention that Henri, or Henry, a renowned Christian Playwright intends to hold a performance's work titled 2,000 Scottish Knights. It's like Arabian, but not. I can go to this and enjoy the pious night of the theater. Our king will have the opportunity to outdo this guy, but we're not going to do that. So, I watch the play unfold before me. It becomes clear why Henry is known as a literary genius. The prose, the performance, all of it makes me feel that I'm witnessing God's work myself. The play draws to a close. I find myself alone. I can ask him to help me, or I can try to write an even better play. I don't have the money to ask him to help me, so let's write an even better play. Our learning is 27. That's really quite high. So we'll see how we do here. It's been quite some time since I originally vowed to outdo the inferior work of Henry. He's an 18. As the ink of my scribes grows dry, I admire my own work. The scribes did it, maybe I dictated. Mistopheles' Inferno is a work deserving of being called a masterpiece. We call it Mistopheles' Inferno. Was there an idea of Mistopheles in the 1100s? I actually don't know what point they started uh, They started uh, talking in that terms. I mean, I know Dr. Faust talked about Mephistopheles. That's much, much later. Eh, who knows? Um, the only question is, who should play the lead? I can do so via diplomacy. He's a 31 diplomacy. Uh, or Vecta can do so with a 5. We're a 9. Welp, diplomacy's a problem. <laughs> I'll try my best, though. <laughs> It's going to be a beautiful source work, but an absolutely terrible performance. The Duchess of Moray, who hates me a whole bunch, wants an alliance. Um, I see no reason not to do this, so I'll accept this. And that guarantees she can't attack me. Dramatic debut. I take a breath and prepare to perform my play, assured it'll be impeccable with me here to deliver its pious message. I try to read the opening lines, but immediately choke on my words and stumble through the script, failing to recall my own writings. Resort to you fool! My audience grants me no pardon, and jeers and hisses and pushes that X key to leave twitch.tv slash resorty. I press on, hoping at some point I may regain momentum and salvage performance, but it's no good. The theater is empty before it even finishes. Wow. We are the worst performer ever. Don't tell us this, though. We'll definitely execute you. All right. My 
Marshall managed to finish control again. Um, I believe we hold this also. Is that true? We hold Lothian also. So we hold these three. I'm making sure that I send my Marshall to improve, yeah, improve the control in anything I personally hold. So that is good. All right, we're only negative three money a month now. The pikemen are not going to fill anymore until we're out of the war. And they have more troops than expected. They hired 2,000 mercenaries. All right, as we go in here, it is a plains. Our finest commander is a forest fighter. We have no one especially good in planes until this character down here. It'd be plus four, so 24. About the same. Um, he has no other bonuses, and he's a really good knight, so we don't want to move him up there. Shadow of Flame, Daylight. A long time has passed since I decided to focus on emulating the fame of my dead father, even long since his death. It's stressful and demanding to step out of his shadow. I feel the world is judging me not by my deeds, but always in comparison to King Malmura. I know I'm respected, but is it enough? What more can I do to be remembered? To be even more than my father was. I want to be the best. So I could say there's still so much for me to achieve. Become Shadow of Fame Daylight, getting more prestige regularly. Or why even bother? I must keep at it. We get stressed out again. But don't you worry. We can surely go for a run. No, we can't. Not yet. We can pet our cat, though. We bring our cat forward. Have a good pet pet time. I run my fingers through his brown fur. He relaxes in contentment. The sound relaxes me too. Thank you, my friend. We've lowered our stress. Now we're heading towards absolute bankruptcy again. <laughs> um, I think I have some items I can destroy. I think I have some items in the royal court that I can potentially sell off. Is that true? Yes, we have two house banners. This one's worth 40 money. I'll sell that one. We just need to keep the dynasty banner. There's a playthrough not terribly long ago where I accidentally sold the dynasty banner and it was horrible. <laughs> so as we see down, we will get some money here, but we need a period of peace in the future. Also need to improve the, uh, the buildings in St. Johnston here, which is the capital of the Duchy of Albany. Um, we also should probably move the capital at some point as our capital is only in a two holding county and just next door is a three holding. And there are probably others that are even larger as we look around, but the capital will move sooner or later. To where though, I do not know. Possibly Edinburgh, possibly, possibly. We'll see. Edinburgh is a, yeah, it's a four. So probably a good one to go to. All right, we've taken one county, got 26 money and captured an Earl and a physician. Let's meet the enemy on the field of Kilmalak. Good stuff. He's running away like a coward. All right, so we're gonna come back here and try to catch him on the baron we've already captured. He's locked in, so we'll definitely be able to catch him there. He's stuck. A nice little feint for us, perhaps. All right, let's check the prison, though. So first of all, it's Earl. He's in terrible condition. He's not feeling well, but he does have money. So we'll free him from cash. Then this man's name is Manila Martin. He is a brilliant man. He's probably gonna lie about changing religions. Well, let's ask him nicely. We'll see if he maintains his secret faith. Uh, the battle's occurring very nicely. Um, unfortunately, our pikemen are being countered here by armored footmen and get no bonus for being uh, on planes. We still win, but that was not as good as it could have been by any means. Whichever way, to their capital now. We captured some mayors, we captured some stewards. The mayor has a bunch of money, so we'll ransom him out for 30. And then the steward is a fairly good character overall. He's not worth money to their ruler though. Let me just change religions and send him on his way. Another battle, we managed to catch the army that was retreating. We win a second time in a row. Having a large number of knights and larger levies is winning this for us. Yeah, we gotta get a variety of men at arms to help with these. Again, I knew I was going to planes with pikemen, so not great. 
Another victory. We're at plus 76 war score now. I bet we've gotten all we can get via battles. Well, only 32, actually. That said, once we take their capital, we should be in good shape. We are running out of food, though, on the army. Currently has 56 out of 100, so we're fine. The wall is falling. Takes five months more. If I leave behind a sieging army of 2,820, that includes my knights, so that's substantial enough to go stop this army here. But my kitty cat is bothering a council meeting. We're talking about the most important affairs of state, like how good dogs are and how much we enjoy our little tams and kilts. And suddenly the cat is meowing repeatedly. He butts his head into my hand happily, and my bishop dislikes this. Well, I dislike my bishop. The cat may stay. If you're not careful, bishop, I will refer to my cat as uh, Archpope Meow Meow, and he will do all of your jobs. Uh, with some of our army dying, we now have enough money in to maintain our economy, so we can continue building here and there. Edinburgh's built as much as we can, so St. Johnson instead. Just more money buildings, please. Give me the farms. Replace the bishop with the cat. If only you could. If only that were a possibility, it would be glorious. Uh, now there's a possibility of the enemy retreating army going and fighting my small stack waiting on their capital, so we'll go reinforce that. Indeed, they are doing so, or trying to do so. We'll see if we can catch them in the corner here. My court jester falls ill. He has the measles. So. So. I don't know where the measles came from. I don't know if they're transmissible. I'm going to pretend like they're not. I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure this is all good. Hey, we've taken their capital. Also, a duke came to visit us. Thanks for being here. And we got an item called an Iridescent Stone. It gives one stewardship point. I like it a lot. We've managed to successfully take their capital. We'll go ahead and equip this new item, this fancy little rock. So it gives one stewardship point, which allows me to keep my seventh holding, I believe. And so what do I not need then? I'm going to say the one, point 0.1 piety per month is not essential right now. All right. With that, a final battle, and then the war is over. We're battling inside of a plaguey area. I actually don't know if there's a penalty to attrition for that happening. You know, I see no attrition marker, again, despite the fact that we are indeed... Um, fighting in a plague area. <laughs> so, <laughs> slightly surprised. Anyway, a final battle won. We end the war. Munster is now Scottish and looking pretty darn bad there. We gained some legitimacy for taking more territory. Still legitimacy of three, heading towards four, I hope. Put the troops away. And now lots of things to deal with. Also, also, we didn't end up with quite enough to maintain our holdings. We're down to 16. All right, so our wife earlier got a plus two in stewardship. I believe that gave us what we needed. So we're still two points away from keeping our seventh. In just a moment though, literally right now, we'll go ahead and change the stewardship tree. So we are now rightfully scholars, even more learning, even more development growth. The capital improves. Now we go stewardship, we take the plus three there. The main focus, the, my land and the people I care about are my strength. We're at 7 of 7 now. So, um, what happened here is we just took the ducal title. The prior duchess of this area is now uh, under our domain, but as a, a minor countess. Um, we can go ahead and just give her back her duchy, so long as she is loyal to me. And that's fine. She becomes the Munsterian ruler once more. But she's got to pay me taxes. That is what counts. Plague advice, plague resistance, seclusion, no. Okay, we're good. In 1118, measles is only a few centuries old. Oh, is it really? It evolved from a rinderpest, rinderpest in the 800s. 
Thank you for knowing things about, you know, medicine and history. The measles confuses us in the north here. Uh, we are halfway, three quarters of the way to Lustrious. Then we can begin all I want, really. We can then begin our legend of coming from, from Egypt. So soon, so soon. Still lots of money, though, so we'll continue. Oh, no! Oh, no! The Queen Agatha of Scotland has drank herself to death. Oh, that drunkard, that boozer. We become very stressed out over that. Oh, sweet Agatha. Again with the stress. <laughs> so... <laughs> This king's had a very stressful life. It's not going terribly well for him. First things first. For the great glory of the kingdom, you need a new wife. Um, the princess of France is willing to come for a visit. She is chaste and forgiving and stubborn. Really? Okay. The army she'll give us is 406 dudes. The King of France is in a tremendous number of wars. So, uh, Lotharingia is trying to fight a Duyuri war over Babant. So, the HRE is eating into French territory. Also, also, Brittany is currently in an independence war. So, I guarantee if we accept this alliance, then France will call for our aid immediately. Of these... I'm interested in helping Brittany stay on board. I do not want to fight Brabant, I don't believe. But you know what? This seems fun. Eventually, we're going to use the Club of France to defeat... Um, the Club of France to defeat France. Sorry, to defeat England, rather. Can't use France against itself. All right. We have a marriage. Would it be better to marry or betroth her to my son. She is chaste, but a fornicator, that's weird. She already has one child. Payan Capet, born out of wedlock. I'm not gonna take her for the king. I'm gonna have my son marry off instead. So, the French lady, 0.6 chance been bred, that is fine. Make some nice kids, please. Betrothal done. Then we must find a new queen for our king. Alliance are less important than getting the stats we need. Ideally, intrigue and stewardship together. So, 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 so. Stewardship plus intrigue. Margot de Bourbon, another fine French person. It's pretty good there, but also very young. We're taking another French lady here, Ermengarde. She's lustful but old. Welcome. We lose 400 legitimacy for marrying down. I mean, are there any families of kings we can find? I kind of doubt it. Oh, she's a lowborn. All right, we'll do that in a moment. Friends, it's been another hour. It's 1 o'clock my time. Usually I'd say goodbye at this point, but we're saying hello instead. At least one more hour of stream to go. Let's go ahead and do a little more crossword puzzle and see how much more we can get done before... The stream is finished. Ah, uh, Placio Residence. It's got to be one of the king words. Um, I think that Placio is Spanish. So what is king in Spanish? I just can't remember. That's annoying me. <laughs> uh, birthplace of Dolly Parton. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea, unfortunately. The OA ending looks plausible, but not sure. A boarding location. Ah, skate parks. Skate parks, skate parks, skate parks. Subject of a scientific map. How about a genome? We map the genome. The paraprotected person is the nomad. The mail carrier is a man bag. What we call purses, I think. <laughs> Awesome. All right. One put out by a new flame. Oh, it's Jealous X. Non-resident worker is an 
Extern. So the Starbucks CEO's name is Orin C. Smith. I've not seen that spelling of Orin before. So intern versus extern. Also on Jealous X, I was so stuck on Geel Louse something. <laughs> like Geel Louse, that's nothing. <laughs> All right, uh, we're doing the crosses now. Giving the finger, poking at, poke, 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 giving the finger. Uh, spring about, it probably pranced. Secure, mm. Not sure. Oh, is Dolly Parton just from Appalachia? I thought it was going to be, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a state or a city name. So, hired is brought on. That's good. I think Tortellini is wrong. Though there could be a lay grant. I'm not sure on that. Appalachia is an I here. So, instead of harmoniously as on key, it's in key instead. Secure. Attain. Reina. Okay, something is wrong somewhere. But at least all the boxes are filled in. So it might be Tortillini. So lie is a name. So this box might be uh, incorrect. I'm not sure. Um, Appalachia is spelled correctly, I believe. So now is the part where I try to look over the whole thing and see what is incorrect. Like, are there words that don't look like words? Um, the spelling of Orin, like I said, I've never seen before. But rent out for let. X turn for non-resident worker. Dig in for attempts to probe. All look really good. Hmm. You want to type it? You want to type it? Give me just a minute. If I can't find it, I'll ask some help, as I always do. Positions as sites, that's good. The baby sound of wa, W-A-H, I wouldn't know is right, but the crosses do seem strong. Lee. Hey, we found it. Hey, we found it. I looked at that one I thought was wrong again. Yeah, it's like, Tortellini. Sure, that's fine. Friends, a Monday is done. We did a Monday in one sitting. Or standing, I suppose. Yay. Yay. Uh, like I said, having uh, one across and ten across both completed to start helps so much. So much. Blue Link, thank you for the resubscription for 20 months. 600 days. That's a lot of time, my friend. Thank you for continuing to be with us. And your generous prime sub does mean the world. Thank you for your kindness all the way. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you all for believing me. I appreciate it. We can make that Monday puzzle go away. But then there's this one. But then there's this one. But then there's this one. Ugh. So many Mondays remain. Darn you, Mondays. All right, whichever way, the puzzle is done for today. Let's return to our CK3 adventuring. So, we got to find a worthy marriage for our king. Um, is there a way? Prestige gain. So, as a nine-year-old child... <laughs> Wait, I don't care about fertility at all. That's actually irrelevant in this case. So, we do not care. There's a 54-year-old woman who's about to die. <laughs> we could marry... <laughs> Um, I want to, I don't want children. I just, children feel creepy right now. So I'm going to try to do within 15 years of the king. There's a woman named Beatrix de Bourgogne, an alliance with Vermandois. Look at my French skills. She's 55. She seems fine. She's good on stewardship, but I need most of all. No legitimacy loss. Beautiful. Married into a worthy family this time. We have a queen once more. But then, but then, my son Dugald has finished a lesson held by one of my dukes on the management of the treasury and the gold therein. It seems that only bits mentioning gold have stuck. Now he's levying taxes on everyone he can chase down. So he could have him be a greedy kid. Is that a sin? I can't remember if it's sin. I don't think it's a sin. It calls him right now. Or justice. Or callousness. I think justice may be 
a virtue. I think it is. So let's see. The sins are not including greed. Nor justice, actually. Kind of irrelevant. So you may have your greed, my kid. 10% more money from the future. He'll feel bad about giving things away, but that is all right. Okay. Now, our king's stress has gotten kind of high again. He can go for a good run. Let's do it. This is not enough. I think to myself that I put down the training sword. I've been practicing non-stop, but I'm not getting tired at all. I need a tougher challenge. Yes, something bigger, or perhaps heavier. Something sure to tire me out. So I could get an extra hefty sword. If that happens, we get good exercise for one year. I can pick up my boy repeatedly, or don't say, or let's say I don't care at all. I pick up my boy. I overestimate my strength and wound myself. <laughs> Oh no, my back, my back. I can't stand up anymore, my back. Uh, we're making so much money a month right now at 15.4. So I'm going to have my steward go out for a little bit and try to work on making at least our capital area into properly Scottish. Which is right here. Yes, more Scots, more good. Hey, we got over our wounds, thank goodness. We got some prisoners if we want to, our various brothers. I don't feel like throwing our bro brothers in uh, prison at all. We have an alliance with the Prince of Scotland, our brother. No. But then, the Irish boils continue to rage in Ireland and on to Scotland. My physician comes forward, slamming a hand on his desk. The people expect us performing acts to help them, he insists, gesturing at the message. I've seen this type before. All we need to do is purge some filthy animals that have been bedeviling the area. The affliction surely won't last without them. It's the will of God. So I could kill the dogs or call the sheep. If I kill the dogs, we lose some stress and the bishop appreciates it. If we call the sheep, there's a 36% chance of lowering disease vectors. <laughs> I wonder if we'd ever use the phrase disease vectors in video games were it not for COVID. Or, more likely, we'll have a disastrous call destroying the economy of Desmond. Welp, cover your eyes, everyone. I'm pushing the button you won't enjoy. Oh, no. All the dogs went upstate to live on a farm and have their very best lives. Kill who now? No one, don't worry. Uh, as expected... Um, our friend, the King of France, King Maurice, wow, wow, is interested in me coming help him. Unfortunately, Lotharingi and De Ure War. Now, he's about to lose this thing. So I'm going to say, sure, I'm coming. He needs to have 2% more points. And I will try to come. But to be entirely honest, I'm not going to get our time. Also, he wants me to fight off the Britannians. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to ignore the Lotharingians and fight off the Britannians. Hey, Maltese, I did see a new Rumworld teaser. Absolutely. We looked at that when the stream started today. If you haven't seen it yet, if no one's seen the uh, Rumworld teaser, let me show you right quick. And hello, Fritz. I think we have it right here. Yep, there it is. A lovely new photo of probably a new character or new something. My assumption is that she's an alchemist. My assumption is that Cthulhu is involved. Not a big fan of that part, but big fan of alchemy. Big fan of relics, I hope. And my big hope is it builds up the relics some more in the... Not relics, sorry, ruins rather. Some more in the uh, in RimWorld. It'd be cool. But yeah, glad to see RimWorld getting more development. And we'll definitely buy the uh, DLC when it comes out and play it some. Uh, RimWorld's a game. Oops. Rumble's a game that's been very, very good to me throughout the years, and so I'm very, very glad I get to play some more of it. We do have a Rimworld playthrough that's currently just sitting around waiting for us again. Someday, someday, someday. Defeat! We lost the war for Lotharingia. That is true. You think she's a scientist? Yeah, my sense is that is true also. Alright, we're once more marching our way into a disease. This one's called Asnar's Coughs. Where's Asner's Coughs also? All on the French coast. 
began where? Hmm, if I click it, does it say where it began? In Tartus! Right in the middle there. We need to hire some virologists, definitely. Also, one of our minor dukes um, that didn't revolt against me earlier now likes us all the way. So we can stop that and instead move to other vassals who like me somewhat less so. The Duchess of Munster doesn't like me all that much. She's also the wrong religion. So I'll swear for a while, you can't talk to children, I forgot. If we asked her to change religions, what does she say about that? 6% chance, maybe someday. Going down a bit, uh, the Duke of Man is still not enjoying me very much. His tax rate is really high. Again, I didn't do that. The prior King of Scotland was an absolute jerk. Sorry, man. Well, I can't change it during your lifetime, unfortunately. Your children will be free from this, but I'm terribly sorry. I didn't choose to do this. It's not my fault, I swear. I do understand from a game perspective why you can't change vassal contracts too often, but from realism, I feel like I should be able to do so. Uh, we've arrived. This place is Plains, so we'll have our Plains commander take over. But first, my kitty cat God's Fire Brigade is purring nicely, lowering stress for us. We're no longer at level one stress. We're very close to it, but don't you worry. We'll get it knocked out soon. I with positive money right now? Hey! Robert Curthus died. And so the legacy of Arthur Pendragon is owned by no one. He didn't finish the mission. Is that true? How does this work exactly? How does this work? So may I take over Arthur Pendragon? Or is now held by the new King of England? That pop up was confusing. But apparently the family of Normandy claims it came from Arthur Pendragon. Got it. Getting close to illustrious. Only a little bit more time. What I was saying though is I want to increase the size of my Manganel group. As much as we can. And then eventually we'll have to save money for um, for our legend. The Knights Templar have finally been founded. Is the Pope getting ready for another crusade? Survey says probably. We can now promote someone else's le uh, legend if we want to. We can tell everyone that the family of Normandy has come from King Arthur. I'm going to say no on that one, though. France is trying very hard to take a capital. It's going to fail in doing so. Uh, France's army is at least up to 11 hard people again. Or the King of France has no territories of the county of Beaumont. So he does not have the normal capital. Some minor countess does instead. Wow. The King of France is not around very long. We're going to get some, uh, some influence, some prestige via helping out here. Uh, game speed 4. I feel pretty under control right now. 45 money from taking that. We captured the Count Drogon's son. The Count is not the war target, so even more cash like that. It is helping very much with getting closer and closer to the money we need to start our own legend. Uh, or to continue strengthening our men at arms. Really, either direction is fine. Um, the transition from um, our last king to this king was a particularly challenging one, uh, in large measure because the higher king was just becoming the king of Scotland and fighting a war against his vassals, and then he died. So the combined problem of fighting a war while also having the short reign penalty and also everyone hated our father. We've been on the throne now for long enough. I'm not terribly concerned, but I sure do wish, sure do wish we could uh, continue um, having a period of peace for a while. So far, the king's in pretty decent health at age 41. His father lived to 70. Uh, his father did have the whole of body trait and the healthy trait, so... If I want to keep the king alive, I may have to go down that path next. That said, we captured a bunch of children, some of whom are worth some money. Not big cash, but a little cash at least. This one's worth 50 cash, awesome. And then a man whose name is Talohairn. He is a decent steward, but nobody we need right now. 
Last minute's go on his way. Remember this kindness we showed you. Tell your friends about just how great good old King What's My Name is. Uh, Flatham Campbell is cotton. Cotton, that's right, the consumption. I walked into a consumptive area. My king is not here. My poor soldiers are in terrible condition, I'm sure. But at least they only had to fight a few more months there. Just don't breathe in too much. The Shadow of Fame Zenith. I woke up with a crushing thought. Despite years of efforts, my life achievements still pale compared to my great father's. I've pushed myself, yet I'm unable to escape the long shadow of his fame. Is this a curse that every father brings onto his children? Are we all, all born in a feudal race against the giants of the past? Why are you giving up already? Why are you giving up, man? You're doing great. I have failed my father, and I have failed myself. Once again, we're very stressed out. And, unfortunately, I'm stretching out. I see my cat on a shelf exploring higher and higher. And then, my book has been torn apart. God's Fire Brigade ripped apart my book about books. It's not destroyed. It's just a little bit damaged. Now, we have another mental break. A lascivious thought, erotic fantasies, the deepest desires of the flesh. What should we do? We shall have a workout and feel almost all the way better. <laughs> uh, maybe pet the cat? Maybe pet the cat in only two years' time. We're going to need to throw a feast, I suspect. I need to have a like, major removal of the king's stress. But then, we're trying to make a duke like us. My, my lords have come forward asking who's quite noble. This guy's noble. What's his name again? Good old what's-his-bucket. So darn noble. Uh, after we finish this siege, we're going to move through and help unsiege French territory. Uh, we've gained our level of devotion. We're paired on a virtue. We're still a ways away from illustrious. But... The enemy wishes to meet me in the mountains. That's fine. The city of Lewis has the outer Hebridean, Hebridean uh, sweats. So far in the north there. We'll see if it expands the capital. So far, the capital's been completely untroubled by any plagues. I hope that continues. A victory. 100% the King of France should end the independence war now. We finished our first ever stewardship. Um, I know that my steward is currently out spreading culture instead of getting taxes. So I'm going to hold off on tax ban for now and instead go in the direction of cutting cornerstones just to make buildings cheaper because we will be building pretty soon unless we get the illustrious level pretty fast here. Now, as long as the king's battle continues, we'll send our army over to get more prestige by fighting battles. Nonetheless, it's done. And so, for helping out, I believe we get some prestige on that one. And yeah, we're still a ways away, so more battles, more good. Uh, guests arrive with a claim on part of the duchies of Lower Lotharingia? Absolutely not. Attacking the HRE seems like a pretty bad idea. But we've gone home again. And how much prestige per month are we earning? 432. We need to earn another 620, 616 points. So you can do the math. It'll be a long, long, long wait. But taking over Iceland will do it for us. Iceland still has the alliance with Normandy, unfortunately. Were it not for that, we'd be good to go. We can start a legend. So we can't start the Sons of Scotia yet. I don't know if anyone else is allowed to start, allowed to start this one. I just need to get it done. But we could try to do a great deed. Few bearing the name of Dunkeld have done so much for their dynasty as Donchad. So we're going to speak about how well our great great grandfather has done. Let's go ahead and do our first ever legend. Here we go. The legend seeds for a famed legitimizing legend. Select a legend protagonist and create your legend. So I don't know if you could have multiple legends on one character. I should be careful, probably. 
So based on the protagonist, you receive different rewards upon completing the legend. You can't have multiple on one person. Thank you, Ponda. I appreciate that. So... Famed, illustrious, or mythical. So there'll be three different possible outcomes. If I put these on other people in the family, including dead folks, it may change things also. I'm going to say me. It's resorty. <laughs> All right. We have a 50% chance of gaining access to a legendary palace option. A great and vast palace with surrounding gardens and hunting grounds. A luxurious abode not only provides comfort and entertainment to a ruler staying in it, but functions as a status symbol of wealth and power. Cool. We also get a claim on everyday Yuri title in Scotland. We can also commission a legendary artifact. Cool. We can also also gain legitimacy and become a true leader at once. All right. The legend of King Arthur of Scotland is as great and large as the world, for his deeds are unparalleled. Upon hearing vague rumors that plagued the land, Arthur set his heart to accomplish the difficult endeavor. His legend culminates in a marvelous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to see his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. However, that was not the end of the tale, for when Arthur made his way home, he helped those in danger avenge their affronts. The journey back home was not easy, but King Arthur entered the city among triumphant chants, and now let us rejoice and feast for his legend to be celebrated. Uh, to increase the quality of this, we have to have this deed spread to 100 baronies. That's a lot of baronies. That's more than in Scotland, I believe. <laughs> All right, so how do we begin spreading the good news? Um... um Okay, my chronicler can do different things. Regular duties, searching for legends, extol the domestic legend. So this is how you spread the legend. Or commend legacy legend abroad. Every year when your vassal or neighboring rulers may make your legend their own legend, higher level of aptitude will increase the chances. So... I myself attempt to push it, sorry, I have my chronicler spread it locally, or I try to get my vassals to spread it locally. We're gonna start with the neighboring rulers first and see what happens. Court poets, I'll spread it, okay, cool. I don't know if I have any available poets right now, but we'll see. So many open jobs, no poets currently. Eh. Uh, People have been trying to assassinate me. Let's get some bodyguards functioning. We're making enough money. I don't mind spending a little bit more. Want some bodyguards? What does the musician do? Does the musician spread the news? Uh, just grandeur, unfortunately. But no one plays music well here. Okay. The architect makes him build faster. Not important right now. The tutor could help our child learn better. Our child's getting fairly old now, so that's fine for now. Oh, you think a musician might actually spread it as well? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Disease is nearing our capital. That's okay. We're invited to come to a hunt. A hunt of our brother who's tried to kill us previously. He wouldn't dare kill the king, would he? Our son's 15 and possibly sickly. I know full well we might get killed doing this, but won't it be a fun time? <laughs> won't it be fun to go on a hunt? Let's go, let's go. We're bringing our bodyguards. This will be fine. My brother and rival's hosting a hunt. This will help us lower our stress. We could also try to befriend the guy, but 
Hopefully he's not a murderer. His success chance is very, very low. This is a falconry event. Let's do some falconry and see what we find. The party is called to assemble in the hunting ground. With any luck, we'll find some birds. We're Birdman. My hawk disappeared from view. Looking on the landscape, I see nothing. Then I hear it screeching and find it perched with blood. There's no sign of our beast nearby. My hawk has something too big to fight. We go looking for it, and we found it. Huge success increase, 17%. Good, 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 good. The Prince Belmure signals the party to hush. We've arrived at the release spot. There's a clear, sight, uh, clear line of sight to the brown ducks. Sneaky birds. Go! Kaka! It's like the giant eagles in Total War Warhammer. That's what I imagine is happening here. Because no matter what I think about, I'm really thinking about Total War Warhammer. My hawk finds the target and chases after it, but misses over and over again. What a pity! That said, we've not been assassinated. We had a good time. It eluded us, but that's all right. We gained legitimacy, we lost stress, we showed up, and we gained even more prestige. Thank goodness. Uh, my counselor has died of the typhus. My counselor was from the Isles. Is this typhus out this way? It is. It is. So my counselor has died of what's afflicting his people. Our stress is down again a little bit for now. We need a new chancellor. Um, so the Countess of Tivitdale would like to be on the council. She does have a 16 diplomacy. Seems good enough. She's negative 11 now. I'll try to swear to our side. Good. Good, good. And our spouse gained architectural expertise. One more point in stewardship. Fine. But then, my son is now a man. He has a thorough understanding of the flow of gold in the economy. He has remarkable creativity in dealing with the matters. Universal, basic income. Hooray! He'll be a good king. Except he has absolutely no intrigue at all. <laughs> he, he does not doubt anyone's intentions. He completely believes that everyone is with him. His wife, unfortunately, the Prince of France, has no meaningful intrigue also. He's going to get stabbed and die. We'll see if he gets a son before that. We have our hopes. <laughs> we have our hopes. <sighs> All right, it's time for the marriage. The King of France is now with us. So, we can go attack Iceland now, I do believe. Common people? The wonderful tale of the great deed of Dunkeld continues to spread. More and more folk from all strata of society have begun to weave their own perspective into the rich tapestry. So says Vittorio, at least. Lord and lady alike are certain such a tale sets out their undeniable right to rule, he muses. But if you wander into a local tavern, it'll be right with those who say it's dedicated to the common small folk of the land and their honest, industrious ways. Ah, uh, what kind of story is this? I could say it's clearly a noble's tale. If that happens, we get more prestige for all of our legitimacy. Um, so 0.25 times 4, I believe. So one prestige per month would really speed up our illustriousness. It'll come eventually, though. Or for the small folk. Commoners celebrated. Better control where we hold. I think our control is pretty good already. Or do you not write down my name enough? This discount towards upgrading the legend increases. Heck yes! It's about me and no one else. <laughs> so how much does it take now to upgrade this thing? Um, 281 money, 380 prestige. It must be held in... 100 baronies, we still have one barony, <laughs> so the spread is not going terribly well so far. <laughs> uh, maybe it's smarter to begin improving it in just our local territory. What's my uh, chronicler doing? He's actively performing it. It doesn't say how often. Oh, every year. So once a year he tries. A merchant with a sample of seeds sends me plants she says are good for health and mind. I don't really know how to nurture plants, but let's try. 
Uh, we learned a lot, despite not growing any plants. That's fine. Uh, do I have any claims against England right now? France and us together could potentially beat back England, but... Hello. My heir has claims on all of England? Um, his grandfather was William the Conqueror. His mother was the daughter of William the Conqueror. Now, we don't want this at this point. Yeah, we don't want this at this point because that would then spin him off a separate king. We can't have that. This could be useful at some point. Now, we could go for just smaller ports as we want to. We could get the border territories, perhaps. Um, no, never mind. His claims are only on Essex, which is here. Normandy itself. Or Bedford, so smaller counties then. So either Essex here or across Normandy. Normandy is a more interesting one for me because um, it lets us cut, cut, cuddle up our buddy France. Uh, for right now, though... Now, we do have the French alliance, it's true. Together we're basically, together we're stronger than the King of England. So France will be able to get there pre uh, first. England has an alliance with Normandy, which is fine. Um, this does change matters, doesn't it? I wasn't really planning to do that. I was planning to take like border counties only. I do want to take Connacht. I do want to take Iceland. Yeah, Normandy won't join in because they're the target. This was not the plan, and yet here we are. So just give me Normandy, please. Oh, interesting. It's not uh, the small bit here. It's just the, the border. And then also part of Cornwall? That's strange. Not sure why it's showing that, but all right. It'll be a fun time. As many of you call border gore through and through. Here we go. All right. Must invite King of France to come. He will surely come. Always glad to beat the dickens out of uh, our friends, the, the English. Here comes everybody. Of course I'll come beat the dickens out of, a lot, uh, out of England with his little mustache. So glad to see you. Now, it's a real possibility that England will march to the north and try to take my capital. We just need to keep our eyes out for that. Um, if we take the territory here, we're good. Run away, uh, France, run away, please. Oh, France, you fool. If France had caught out here, I will never, ever forgive him. I will set the goal of the playthrough to actually be go destroy all of France. Uh, we don't quite have enough money to maintain this war all the way through. But that said, I'm at my table reading through some reports sent to me from throughout the realm. My cat, God's Fire Brigade, hops up beside me, chasing the warmth of a sunbeam and curls up contentedly beside my work. I reach out to give his brown fur a stroke, and he stretches languorously in response. A mighty stretch. Too mighty, it turns out. God's fire brigade rolls over and completely off the table, landing at my feet. With a haughty glare, as if it were my fault, he sauntered away skulkily. Uh, the cat is dopey. This character is, let's say, a little clumsy. We <laughs> get less stressed with a nice cat around. Um, with that said, I don't believe this for a minute. Because it's not the case that a cat curls up next to your work. The cat curls up immediately on top of your work. <laughs> when I'm grading papers, my cat always climbs on the paper I'm actively grading. And occasionally he leaves like little paw prints. I gotta apologize to the students. You fool! You fool! This is so much money. Oof. Oof. The army of Baltimore spends all the money. All right. All right, all right, this is not very good. Run, France, run! 
Oh, Francis get caught out, aren't they? We'll go to the tapestry place first. Uh, I need money. So, we have religious carving we're not using anymore. We got 40 money, that'll keep the war engine going. Um, we can also see what, if anything, is inside the royal court I can sell. But first, my chancellor, the Countess Sebre, approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. She gestures to a less popular part of the room. I'm concerned about the state of the castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, we all noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines of floor below. I implore you to consider paying to fix the parts the building neglected. I have no money, unfortunately. So I invite my steward. Well, it's still a lot of money. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the worst possible event to happen right now. <sighs> so all threes are absolutely terrible. Spending the correct amount of money, it costs 150. We also get stressed out. Uh, my steward could potentially spend only 75. Plugging this to hold the floor, we get big, big stress and everyone gets angry. I can deal better with stress than I can deal with money right now. Fine. We plug the hole and hope for the best. Now, do I have any items I'm not using at all? The answer is definitely no. Like, clearly the answer is no. I can destroy the stone of Schoon. No, I need this all so badly. All right, we gotta start. We gotta start winning things soon. Hope France keeps running. If I can just get a siege done, we'll have a decent amount of money coming in. France is, or England's fairly rich in this part. Oh, I got caught out. France, you fools. France, you fools. I can't get there in time to help, unfortunately. At the service of a lady. And he was gallant, and she was beautiful, and he was a hero, and she was beautiful. It doesn't take long to discover where the music is coming from, as I soon find Sophie playing, playfully tuning her lute, leaning on a stone bench. Ah, my lord, her eyes immediately bright up. Isn't it true the reason for your legend is to impress Githa? Some random lowborn. I could say, how dare you? I am married. We then change a chapter of the great deed for Dunkeld, or she is beautiful, or I did it for myself. If I do that, we lose some stress. No, I want to change this. I want to change the great deed. What does that do exactly? So I'm guessing the story modifies some. When Arthur's spouse came to him one morning with alarming rumors, Arthur made haste and promised to honor their everlasting love. That's nice, that's nice. Still only one barony believes in me. I don't think I have a siege commander, do I? No, unfortunately not. We're fighting in the plains, correct? I don't really have plains troops at all. Aw. Darn you, France. Darn you. At least not be fully destroyed, but... England's coming after me now. Malingering scent. In times like these, it's best to be wary of any strange smells. This one, however, emanates from a corner of the market square, and it's positively fragrant. Get your sachets here! Only the freshest and best herbs used! The crafty merchant's stall was covered in various aromatics, and she holds a pouch filled with them in each hand as she hawks the wares. She notices me and extends one for me to try. Only the best, my lord, will keep you safe from the outer, outer Hebridean sweats it will! I pluck the satch from the proffered hand. It does seem like something that would keep the miasma away. Uh, I could buy it for 80 to 160 money. Or buying one for the full price, or I don't care about these. <laughs> they assume I have so much more money than I do. Speaking of money, I need to move my steward onto making money. 
with that, we're so much better on the cash loss. Also, glad to see that our allies are treating our direction. Unfortunately, he's going way, way, way into his territory. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if England is going to see. Um, what? Oh, my fish can fight the plague. Thank you. I forgot physicians have jobs now. He's currently doing nothing. He can control plagues. He can do some research, helping our lifestyle experience. Or divine charity, more piety. No, no, no. We can have him attempt to control the plague. Good call on that one. Now, the adding of jobs to the physician is something that's taking me a while to figure out. Now, I do not know why England went to water and then back to French territory. It's not the war goal. That allowed us to finish this siege, and also the French army is now back in the field again. So, one territory has been taken. We'll just watch and see. I'm guessing they're going to be going to the army of Valois there. Valois there. So I'm going to move this way, and they get ready to come right back across if necessary. Uh, they're following me. But then, a coveted claim. Vittorio, my mentor, frets all the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, we make our way to die, and he begins sheepishly. My student, they say Duchess Ava, your vassal, takes her purported claims on your lands more seriously every day. She maintains she's personally wronged by her continued rule of her rightful domain, Scotland in particular. What are you talking about? Number one, you're a woman. Number two, you are of my family, but I'm the head of the family. Look here, you. So I could call her a venomous fiend. I'm forgiving, so I don't want to do that. I can write her a letter and try to uh, discourage her. I can say it's treason, become truly rivals, or say it's merely inconsequential prattle. Looks like Ava and I are becoming rivals either way. Um, this is the better chance of not being rivals. We write her a letter. Hey, it worked. We softened her. She is not acting anymore like she is the true Queen of Scotland. I want to check real quick and see who the commander of the French stack is. A man named Rambeau. He has no commander traits other than Reaver, which is not useful here. He's a 24 marshal overall. My commander is a 25 overall. Um, it's just slightly better. I'm trying to decide who I want to lead the big stack here. They're dancing still. I don't know why, but they're dancing. <laughs> So, <laughs> I was ready to shift over and uh, protect the French army. But for now, England is confused. I don't know what England's doing. They're hanging out. Oh, sweet lord, no! A second dead queen. At least the memories remain. We are very close to stress level two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's pretty bad. All right. First things first. We can go for a run. We go for the run. I'll train with my friend Duke Angus. Fine. We had a run. We're still really stressed out potentially. Great. I gotta have a feast. Gotta make money, etc. Gotta get a new queen. Holding a funeral is good stress loss. Oh, I agree. It's so expensive though. We can't afford anything. If we marry the Princess Adelaide, we get an alliance with the HRE. Hello. <laughs> this was not the plan, but hello. All right, trading up wives. I meant to see what her um, stewardship score is, though. Unfortunately, the die is cast. So, Kaiser Heinrich V, the Greedy, and I are now allies. Her stewardship is three. She has the consumption. All right, no kissing on the mouth. <laughs> Nothing of the sort, thank you. I hope she dies soon. In the short term, though, we can have the Kaiser come help us. And I'll guarantee that we win. Also, we're illustrious now, so we can potentially start a second 
a second story of fame and goodness. Namely that we are descended from the Egyptians. Ah, uh, we got no money. The money is all gone again. Partially because we are no longer getting our taxes from having the wrong kind of queen. Um... Hmm, so we could give away one county to stop this. Um, again, Banff is the correct one to give away. How's the papal credit card? I haven't checked in a while. I suspect he doesn't like us enough, unfortunately. But let's see, he's plus 19. Yeah, he's negative 46, unfortunately, because we're currently waging war on the King of uh, England, because we're same faith. If only we weren't fighting the King of England, he would give us money. So, this might be a case where even though I am winning, we could white peace out. He doesn't want to white peace out. He's off by one point. All right. All right. This is fine. Mark of distinction. Our family is more amazing than ever before. My family's device is now well known all throughout Scotland. That doesn't give us money, but... So, fighting a war while... Uh, not having money is definitely not ideal. It gives a major, major penalty to just to combat generally. Also, the uh, uh, Kaiser Heinrich wants to come help with an uprising in Bohemia. I actually can't come help you. I'm sorry. I know I said I could. I also meant to invite the king to come help us. But. But. We have a prisoner. No, we don't. We could begin imprisoning folks. 0% chance. Alistair, 0% chance. Sophie Capet, maybe. Maybe. She's a fornicator. She's also our heir's wife. Hmm. When we finish this, it's probably correct to white piece out. I just want to win. Maybe we should have rushed London. The moment we saw that uh, England raised their rose, raised there we go raised their troops by France, we could have gone for London instead, and had a possibility of capturing the king or his family at least. Uh, we need pause on money again. I've got fourteen cash. Hey, we're rich. So Normandy is the entire coast, correct? Let's see here. Yeah, Normandy is all of that. Um, who is the Duke of Normandy right now? William III. He's at Rouen. So we're going to go directly to Rouen. And hopefully capture the Duke or his family and maybe get some decent money in the process. We've not gotten any items in a long time, so there's nothing for us to give away or sell for money. Now, if England begins unseaging these, which he is doing, it's in some measure sensible to go fight him. We get prestige off of that and war score, but we will not get any money, and money is the big concern right now. Hey! So, Duchess Babine of Munster apparently owes me more money than I've collected so far. Move her taxes up. Hello, child. Show me your taxes. <laughs> uh, she is she is normal normal. Um, she won't like this, but it's okay. We get a little bit more money for that trade there. Speaking of money, another possibility is there are vassals who don't like us very much or not giving all the money they should be giving. Yeah, everyone's doing such small money right now, because no one has all that much income, I suspect. At two per month, you should give me more cash. So, we've been swaying the Countess Sebra. I don't know who she is. I'm going to try to sway my number one vassal instead over at Man. Oh, we're still exactly zero. I have the tap trade itself. I already sold it, Pond. I already sold. I haven't sold both of my family tapestries, but I already sold sold the one extra one I had. Unfortunately, mm. 
At least we're still at zero. Hoping for some children. Just CK3 things. I hope to grab some children. More myth than legend. My daughter-in-law Sophie approaches me a word look on her face. It's about your legend. The Duchess Ava has heard, been heard doubting it. The court gossip has started to echo her. If you don't stop it in time, I'm afraid that every peasant in the realm will believe it's a lie. I could say my word is stronger than her. Just barely have a chance of winning that. Let them talk, I don't care. Or that pesky hag. Um, so if people respect my legend, there's a 2% increased chance of spreading. If it's mocked, we lose 5% instead. Let's take that chance. Oh no, our legend's been mocked. We're sure to fail in this thing. My poor legend. It's hey, it's believed in three baronies now. We gotta get to 100. But three is a good start. Does Eva can eat a sock? That's one way of putting it for sure. Uh, the King of England wants a white piece. I don't disagree with him. It would be the strategically correct move as far as fixing the economy. However, however, our stress is so bad also. We can pet the cat. The cat is pet. Also, we finished capturing that capital, giving us um, 24 money, and we captured five people in that siege. None of whom go to war score, but all of whom will probably be worth some money. First of all, our sister's in prison. She's worth 50 money. That keeps us going for a while. And then I'm hoping that as that ransom is paid, we'll be paused on cash again. We are. We now rush into the King of England, and France is following me in. We ransom some more folks for more money. This is good. This is good. The Duke of Normandy is spending so much cash to get his family free. Okay. As of right now, we might lose this battle, but here comes France to support us. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we have slightly more troops. Uh, all of our knights and all of our um, men-at-arms are neutral here, so no penalties to them. We do have some countering happening, unfortunately, um, but we will still win this, I do believe. My vassal, the Duke Ridare, a child, approached me with rage in his eye. He's holding my cats, and apparently my cat scratches I all, all to bits. He's a cat, don't you worry, you child. Uh, so the King of England is not part of the stack, so we will not be able to end the war all at once. Uh, that said, we are going to win this and get some decent war score off of it. Family matters. It's very curious, my liege. Very curious indeed. I'm not sure what to make of it. Can you fathom it, perhaps? Vittorio presents the vellum, dug out of a dusty nook in an ancestral home. I peered at quizzically. I'm not sure what he means. Particularly, look, your lineage doesn't show up anywhere on the list. Vittorio clarifies with what I'm sure he thinks is helpful charm. In reality, it darkens my mood yet further. This is seriously ill news for my legitimization attempts. I can insist it is indeed here. Unlucky to pull that off. We must keep it quiet or we'll find other documents. We're so stressed out already. I insist my father's name is there. He accepts the correction. We only have 30% chance of that pulling off. Or that being pulled off. But our legend grows ever wider. Just had to write my father's name in. It's all good. A uh, good victory. We're plus 25 on war score. We also captured the Duke of Northumbria. He will ransom himself for less than he's worth. But that's fine. I just need cash right now. And then we begin sieging down everything nearby. It's no secret that Duchess Ava... Is carrying a child conceived through a sinful union? She's not married after all. Who fathered a child? It's Conkabar. She's betrothed a 15 year old. That said, the truth is out. And everyone knows. Uh, our ally is currently sieging that down. Um, this is unseiged. I should probably go for that. But I need to be cautious not to 
accidentally get stepped on. So let me move my army to this one instead. It will stay kind of unified. In the prison, we still have two more prisoners, both of whom are worth cash, it looks like. Do you remember a day in September? So tell me, my lord. My mentor Vittorio's voice snapped in my thoughts, and I find him waving his hand, quills spilling ink all over the floor. What about the time you defeated Goss Patrick's war? Surely that's worth adding to your legend. I could say that was a great occasion, with a 50 percent chance of changing our great deed, and this happened in memory so people will recall it, or I don't care about that. No, no, no. I remember it. Everyone remembers it. Higher chance of spread. Good. Uh, the War Machine has enough money for the next little bit. And then... Wars are expensive. My treasury rapidly empties. I need to think about how to pay to keep my soldiers on the field of battle. More taxes! Everyone gets more money but less happy towards me. Or cut the non-essential military expenditures. If I do that, the army is cheaper. Or we die more likely. <laughs> or things work out in the end. No, no, no. Raise the taxes. We can deal with the peasant war if need be. Uh, our siege here takes 53 days. They take 11 months and 47 days. So the capital take a long time. We're going to finish this siege and then pivot over to fight at the capital. Also more stewardship. Collect taxes, effectiveness increases. We're now only burning 0.7 a month. We're in much better shape than ever before. Also, also we have 177 men, including three knights, who are not with us. So I want to get a boat for those three knights to come support us, especially. Ready in 10 days. But then, my mentor Vittorio greets me at court the morning, eager with news on the tip of his tongue. My king, I believe that Princess Enid of Deboroth is almost convinced of the veracity of the great deed for Dunkeld. She's aware of the tale and enraptured by it, but is unconvinced of its truth. So maybe we could persuade her, seemed unlikely. Maybe bending the truth made her believe her, or she can think anything she likes. So unfortunately, we're not good enough at diplomacy or at intrigue to convince her of anything. So she's probably not going to spread the good news. That said, I'll try. Our higher chance is intrigue. She's unconvinced. No one spreads anything. Hello, I am Dar. Thank you for the generous resubscription. How's it going, my friend? We're getting some reinforcements of knights down here. I appreciate your resub very much, my friend. That's a lot of months and no jokes allowed. <laughs> How you doing, Imdar? How you doing, my friend? Uh, friends, we had 50 seconds left until an ad break. Uh, I said I was only streaming until 2 o'clock today. It is now 2.01. So the question is, have I lied to you? Do we continue playing just a little while longer? I think the answer is yes. We got to continue going for a while. I think we gotta do that. What's the state of the HRE? Yeah, the HRE is definitely extant. And France is also. They both have survived so far. Uh, the Czech folks are having some troubles over here. Hey, friend Wu! Wu, thank you for the uh, raid. That's the word for it. Thanks for the raid, my friend. You were streaming a game called Above Snakes. I do not know Above Snakes at all. What is it? How is it? Uh, welcome to you. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, friends, the ads start right now. I'm just going to play through it because we have no more Crawford puzzle today. Uh, all you'll miss is me walking in circles in France and hoping that we uh, do not get stepped on by the English, as usual. Making an entrance. I should have seen trouble coming when Vittorio strolls into the room, an unfamiliar face in tow. Let me introduce Francois, my lord. The stranger offers a deep bow. He's a jeweler and metal worker. I thought perhaps you'd like to persuade or peruse some of his works. I've taken the liberty of preparing some particularly suited to you and that which concerns you nowadays. Francois starts laying down a tray on the table. That which concerns me? Vittorio's been busy. So, unfortunately because of our greed, we're not going to be able to buy anything. Instead I say that he oversteps some boundaries. Shame. Our stress is still pretty bad, but it could be better. Um, Above Stakes is an interesting world-building crafting game. It's like the wild, wild west. That sounds really fun. Thanks for telling me about that. 
Uh, another siege finished. So, I sure would like to move this direction now. Going through a plague. Fun. And I'd like England to come help me. Not England. France. Whoever it is. Uh, it's still not taking any attrition when hanging out in the plagued area. I wonder if the characters there, though, the various knights can possibly get ill. Uh, how much longer until you finish your siege? Eight months relative to five months. Sorry, France, we gotta go. I wish you knew how to leave behind a sieging army, but the AI is not quite bright enough for that one. So, another big battle to get more war score. Our 25, William is in good shape. William the Englishman. By the way, France wants me to come help fight off a Liberty War in Flanders and Gassion. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Gotta help France fight their wars too. Uh, luckily, their um, capital's right next door, so we should be able to go protect that. A number of things are happening. So one thing, a counselor just died. It's my master of the hunt and marshal. So, we need a better marshal. Uh, William the commander and bodyguard and knight, you win. Stay in the battlefield, etc. New acquisitions. During the daily management realm, I learned Daily Management Realm, I learned of several opportunities I can pursue. Each one has great potential. Realistically, though, I can only choose one. Which one to do? So I could try to find a lost tome, almost guaranteed to find it. I can get a hook against one of the countesses, countesses, a minor countess, or secure trade deals will help fill my treasury. That's so much money. I want the item, though. Money is temporary, books are forever. We get the old book artifact, 5% bonus stewardship lifestyle. While that's really nice, it only has the one bonus there, so it's not nearly as good as it could be. Um, what do we get rid of then? I'm gonna get rid of my learning one for now and go stewardship instead. We can trade those back and forth. Another victory at plus 44% war score. France is winning their own war. That said, Flanders is coming through. I'm going to leave my war territory for a moment, come back here very soon, and help France as promised. Oh gosh, they're losing the battle of their capital. Uh, we're going to win the capital. My sister, sister drank herself to death. We're at 198 out of 200 stress. Okay. I'm just going to go siege. I'm going to trust that France is going to win their own war. We need to awkwardly dance for a little bit, ensuring that England does not get back into here. The Duke Gila name has passed away. Oh no. There's a new Duchess. New Duchess of Man wants to lower the law. Everyone's dying. It's terrible. Well, we can get a very, very good steward now. If we put the Duchess of Moray on the council, she would chill. The same thing is if the Duchess Fingula of Man were to be on the council, she'd probably chill. I'm going to do the Duchess of Moray with that 14. It's good enough. We're now pulling in one money a month. Fantastic. So we can begin spending if we want to. All right, this siege is only 41 days. What we could do best of all is increase the size of our mangonels. Uh, we have a number of man at arm slots open still, but gotta chill. Okay, this army, the Duchy of Gascon, is um, against the French king. He's not part of the war for Normandy. Their siege takes 58 days, mine 25. I'm not sure we can march over there in time after finishing the siege. So if I try to leave behind a siege army, I still have almost all of my troops. So we're going to head in and hope beyond hope that no one attacks the small siege there. Okay, more folks are coming in. It's the Duchy of Armanac. Again, another French folks. Siege finished awesome. Head to you next. Oh, you, you, you. Uh, we did pick up a battle here. This will help the French king. Also, the Duchy of Normandy has brought more troops into the war. So we'll see. We'll see. 
Alright, a good victory there. My sieging army is not trying to siege without having the walls broken first. I mean, just make sure they don't get caught out. But they're only siege weapons, so not good at all in actual fighting. Okay, victory there on behalf of the King of France. Pushes them to plus 12. There's still a Czech Catholic uprising over in the HRE over here. Um, and I told the Emperor I'd come help, but I've not been able to do so yet. It's entirely possible that he's going to lose the Czech territory to his peasants. Am I a history professor? I'm not only guardsman. I am a professor, though, just not of history. Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. Fighting the English again is absolutely right to do. I'm afraid of my cedars being caught out. So we're definitely going to pull them away now. Here. Ah, shoot. I missed the part where I was moving forward. And now this army, which is not part of the English war, is moving away I don't like. And trying to chase down all of the different armies simultaneously is a little annoying. The Scottish War for the claim on the Duchy of Normandy's ended. How much did we just fight for absolutely nothing? King Jocelyn controls none of Normandy anymore. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> uh, is this a new King of England? Did he just ascend maybe? No? Why did it end? I have no idea what that war has ended. Like, Normandy is still part of... of England. We held a number of territories. Let's make sure Jocelyn is not a new king. So, King of England, Robert of East Anglia, presses in the past claimant, sorry, wrong one. So, Jocelyn inherited it on 1119, five years ago. Did Normandy switch owners? So, Duke William III of Normandy is who's been. He is dying, but that shouldn't end the war. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what happened there. That's a real shame. Or like, really and silly, honestly, it's a real shame. We were winning that thing by a fair amount. Anyway, the king, or the emperor, is fairly unhappy. I've not yet been over to help with the Czech Catholic uprising. I can say I'll be there very, very soon. Or I can send him some money. Or I just say I'm sorry. No, 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 we'll be there very soon. It's going to be a bit of a march to get there, but what else are we going to do? But then, my little kitty cat found me a secret text in which my seneschal says he does not believe in God. Oh, such shameful atheism in this Catholic kingdom. Still not sure where that war ended. Still not sure. Oh, hey, and I was glitter. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, reading the FAQ and quoting from it and so on. Ah. So we're going to try to take some territory that the uh, French king needs us to take on our march over to the Far East there. Be there soon. But my jester comes forward, known for his fantastically entertaining insults, and he's standing face to face my antiquarian Augustine. I'm just in time to hear a particularly scathing roast. You heartless philanderer and evil spawn of hell! Your insistent whining and wickedness are legendary. I had a perfectly wonderful evening with good company up until now, you libidinist. Brokhan says if you were possessed by Satan. Augustine's face is red, but he knows I'm watching, so he fakes some laughter. Uh, our stress is so high, I really need to lower this. Say it's a good roast. We make fun of them and say, don't you get upset. A good roast, 11 stress reduction. That's not very much. They'll keep us a little bit less likely to have a heartbreak in the process. Hey! The Prince Nude Thorfson, the Prince of Denmark, is promoting my legend. 
I don't know why, but over in Denmark, people are saying that I have done heroic deeds. I agree. That said, perhaps due to my lies, God is striking me down. We're a little unwell. It's just a cold probably though. And so we're gonna say a safe treatment, please and thanks. He brought me a concoction made of various herbs, buckthorn and senna. It didn't feel so good, but then it was a nice expurgent. I have expurged, expurged, whatever the word is, all of the evil out. And I feel much better now. Hey, only guardsmen, thank you for the 1,000 bits. That's really generous of you. Thank you, thank you. You like my content and how I carry myself. I try my best. I'm glad you enjoy it. We're here almost every day, and so I'm glad that you're enjoying hanging out. And again, thanks for that generosity. That's super kind of you and allows me to pay the bills and feed the cat and all the rest. So good to have you here for sure. Hey, Duke Alphagur the Cruel has also joined in this legend. So everyone's coming to believe. They're all starting to believe. Tinkerbell, you're alive. 23 baronies believe in me. I need at least 100 of them. So slowly, slowly, slowly we grow. Uh, this doesn't take six months to deal with. As much as I do want to help the King of France as promised, I really need to go over and uh, and help the King of... or the Empire Emperor. Uh, we just broke the walls, though. It's still five months of the bro uh, walls broken. Holy moly. That's a lot. But leave my siegers. We still have the main stack. I'm going to trust that England and France, I keep saying England, that France protect the stack here. If they don't, I'll be very sad. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to look back and forth in both places. But it is time to march all the way over and then help there. I need to get at least one point in war score. Um... Mm, I think I may not believe anymore. I'm going to slow down games because I don't screw this one up. If they just siege on the capital, they're not. They're attacking me there. Run away! So we'll go reinforce the French army in the north. Well, because I clicked it all, they stopped moving, and now they get destroyed. I'm so sorry, Manganels. I swear I love you. Yeah, they definitely could have gone away there, but then I pushed the wrong button and made a slight mistake there. Oh well, oh well. What matters now is getting to the HRE. We'll arrive here in four months time. Where's the Emperor? The Emperor's trying very hard to siege down territory instead of Bohemia. I wish you the best of luck. We got lots of money though. We got lots and lots of money. We should use that money to begin. Well, actually, now that my... Um, Manganels have been stack wiped. We can just embiggen them a little bit. And then we'll get back to building again. So Edinburgh cannot have any more improvements, nor is my capital. So let's work on the territory that's next door to the capital. Namely, Earldom of Gowrie at St. Johnston. And it has a bunch of openings still. So I don't think I have any men at arms stationed here. I do not. That said, they believe in the great deed for Dunkeld. Because you all believe in me, I'm going to make you a hospice. I'm going to try very hard to keep you all alive from the plague. But then, singers occupy the wooden dais, filling the night with music. To take a sip of my mead, I close my eyes and allow myself a moment of rest. And now, all listen, all listen, the great deed for Dunkeld. The clamor of my courtiers fills the room, sounds of cutlery banging on the table and raucous laughter. A doubtful thought haunts me among the admiration of the court. Am I worthy? I can say I'm not sure, or I can say yes I am. It seems that the, uh, the Legends quest is just endless, endless, endless stress. <laughs> I need to put it out of my mind. I will say I am not sure. It doesn't cause a malice, but I'm unable to take more stress right now. Goodness gracious. We can pet the cat in four years. We can work off stress in one year's time. It's because of the personality. Oh, is it? Diligent, greedy, forgiving. 
None of that feels like it should be against type to have a legend. Were we content or humble? Absolutely. But diligence, greedy, forgiving seems less so. My old self. I feel better. The illness is gone. I guess we'll save up for a... Um, we'll save up for a, a feast or possibly a... Uh, tournaments or something in the caverns of the mind darkness and cold dwell in the catacombs what if i just stayed here in silence the stone and me a rock in a hard place an occasional rodent is my sole visitor there's a calmness in that K king arthur duchess ava's figure appears on the corner what are you doing down here what a fateful encounter i've traveled days and nights to find you your legend i must confess it moved me my beloved my dear adeled my wife stands near her i was worried about you so i could say my love i won't disappoint you we gain support more fertility and our wife likes us more for 25 years ava you have moved me just as Ava begins to spread the great deed as well, I can't let my people down, the courtly people like me more, or the Countess can help me with the diplomatic details. The great deal deed gains dexterous legend. The character and the Chancellor's help to regain confidence in our legend. Everyone likes me more and more personal scheme power. No, no, no. Just as Ava helps me spread it also. So she'll be spreading it in the north of, of Scotland. Now, can we see our legend? So, New Troy is the legend of the Britons. The purple great deed for Dunyeld is mine. And so far, it's only being spread well, a little bit on the continent. That's good to see. And so far, mostly in Scotland and a little bit of England. Now, one of the Danish princes believes it also. So, we'll see if it keeps spreading. Okay. We're almost here. Unfortunately, the Atri is at negative 90 right now. <laughs> Britons, you mean the Trojans? I know, it's very confusing. I don't know who they are, what they are. How much longer do you got? Uh, in six days, the Atri will finally capture something. And I believe with that, they'll lose the Ticking War score. Just take one bit. The Ticking War score goes away. It's now negative 17. Fantastic. So we have a lot more time to get some War score now. Now, I don't have my siege weapons, so this might be very, very slow going. Also, the army of Flanders is now beating the Dickens out of France. So, what kind of war is this? It's a liberty war. So, the king of France might need to lower their crown authority, but they won't lose anything over it. I think I just saw that one of my accolades is not active. I wish to return the Mountain of Athol title. We have no one who could do this job, possibly. Oh, a shame. I must bring it back, though. So I believe we can look for someone who can fill this role. Yes. Send me the Herald. Find me a knight who can take the mountainous position. Ideally, the mountain's meant to be a giant. We've had some bad luck with that recently. Is there any giants in my realm? Hey, there are some giants now. I have a nephew giant. I gave him a title recently. He needs to get married off now. Irritable giant. like to see it. Let me find you a beautiful bride. Um, we only have unmarried men. We have no unmarried women in our court right now, apparently. Yep. <laughs> that is that. Well, no good luck there. Um, and because he's a landed person... He can go looking, look for his own bride, but I can't go looking more broadly. Oh, you can ask people to promote your legend. I didn't know that. What's it based on? What their tier is and what they feel about you. Hello, France. No acceptance. So the higher tier a character is, the less likely they are to accept. Opinion helps also, as is intimidation. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, if I asked some random baron, what would happen? Random baron. Hello, random baron. 
You can't ask them to spread it. So it has to be a count at the very least. Now, what if I choose my own personal count here? Your Duchess. Um, hello to you, brother and rival and so on. You don't like me very much. But you are my count. Negative 46 because he dislikes me so much. Uh, let me see. Of the people who are my vassals. Highest opinion. Hello, child. May children spread my... Uh, children may not spread the good news. Mayors also... Okay. To get someone to promote your legend, they must be of our dynasty, a friend or lover of the king, an owner of the county, or speak the Anglic language. What is the Anglic language? It's my native language. I assume we spoke Scots. <laughs> Apparently Anglo is what it is. Good to know. So any people of um, higher than Baron rank, and I built a way to get that. So this count just likes me okay. As a child, can't do it. My provost is... So it looks like the mayors like me a lot, and the dukes and counts don't. That is unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, after this war, will make everyone love me again. Just got to keep believing they surely will. But the expedition to the east is now here. Uh, if we had uh, the correct level of vassal, or of domains, rather, we in much better shape there. Uh, Giros, I absolutely agree with you that the acclaimed knight UI is difficult. That said, a man named Freyr Veyani has heard the call. He wishes to be the mountain. You're 12 in personal combat. That's not very good, but better than an open slot. The mountain returns to us. Hooray! So we have the Shining Star of Scotland and the Mountain of Athol are two fine titles. Long may they run. I sure do hope that France wins slash loses this war before I have to come back over and help them out. All right, Duchess Emma of Lancaster has joined in promoting my legend. Our brother, uh, our number one brother, died at age 54 in his sleep. That's very sad. And then a faction against us is no more. There are still two factions. They're both very small, though. So our big brother is no more. Our big sister is no more. Our younger brothers, our older brothers, are both still in pretty bad shape also. That said, our son is a crazy person. <laughs> this poor family. Endless drunkenness and endless insanity. <sighs> the sudden changes in emotion, awareness, and ability that Dungald ex Dugald experiences can only be explained by spirits inhabiting his body. Surely he's mentally ill, but let's not be anachronistic. He's a crazy person. That's the entire story. <laughs> oh, how did it come to this? And his poor wife has yet to have a child. Dudes, I need y'all to have a kid. It's only been three years, so we'll give it some time. Give it some time. That's unfortunate. I uh, love well, my Manganels here. The siege is going to take basically forever. So we could, could, could re raise the army. The Manganels are only half refilled. I actually don't recall if they were filled during war. I think they might not do so. Let's slowly sit here and watch this. We can seduce our daughter in law. I've only done that in one playthrough ever. It obviously feels gross. Trying good to be good guy resorty. Also forgiving and greedy and diligent. I guess we could say we're greedy for a grandchild. Something like that. Uh, going game speed four. The siege still takes forever, but that's all right. That's 2.30 already. Uh, time just flies while playing this game, doesn't it? It's always amazing. They will, will refill during the war? I have a 32 now. Good call. Mental break. Some dark thoughts. Guilt and shame are all over me. 
like ants crawling on my body. And look at this. How do we deal our mental anguish? We write down a story. We've gotten two positive breaks, both athletic and journaler now. We go for a run. We take a second run, stress down. We then write down what we're thinking. Lowers diplomacy, but I grab the pen and the journal. With each sentence that graces the paper, I feel myself relaxed. Ah, only 20 stress removal. We're still stress level one, but at least we're much farther away from two than previously. Arthur, this cat has to go. My wife is allergic to cats. Absolutely not. Sorry, wifey. <laughs> the captain with you first. All right, the King of Boschlov of Bohemia has left the Czech Catholic uprising. But the new Czech king gets involved, for sure. King Jocelyn of England and I have an event. Vittorio busily jostled on my words I dictate them. I must be careful with my choices. Jocelyn, my neighboring ruler, could well be swayed to support my cause in spreading the word of the great deed of Dunkeld, but the wrong phrasing may come off as conceited. I pause. Vittorio does too, patiently waiting. What would he want to hear? We go for subtle threats? We can appeal to neighborly friendship or send it as is. So, the highest chance we have is a 46% chance of threatening him slightly. He is suitably cowed. The King of England begins spreading the good news. Occasionally, the dice fall in the right location. Fantastic. The Liberty War is no more. So, for whatever reason, France won its war. Hooray! Hooray, hooray. So all the wars are invalidating these days. It's our second invalid war, invalid war in a row. Uh, the AI uprising is falling back. We see a decent portion of their army is peasants. They're going to come attack us. That's fine. I wish the battle had finished first. Oh, me it's not fine. We have more troops. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. We could try to run away. We're going to fail in doing so. We must stand and fight. Is there anything I can do to help right now? I can send the king out for a king's advantage. That's still below 25. The one reason it would be beneficial to send the king out is then we'd have a free knight available to help out. Um, we stand and fight. We believe. I just wish we'd finish the siege first. Let's see how it goes. The roll is against us. The roll is against us even worse. Oh no. After everything I did, I showed up Roman Emperor. And we just get smushed. That's fine. A bit of a loss. We lost some war score. That said, we contributed. All we told the HRE is that we would try to help. We have now tried to help. Failed terribly, but we did try. <laughs> So if we go and unify with the army of the emperor, that'd be useful. Uh, that said, I just want to go home. I just want to say, we Audi man, it's been enough fun. Let's go home, thanks. A Duke Robert of East Anglia has joined in promoting our legend. Unfortunately, Alphagar of Northumbria stopped doing so. Why does it change? We're up to 46 baronies. Nice. Oh, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand on, we'll make it, I swear. Something like that. Uh, I think many of our local provinces still do not believe the legend. Yeah. So some Scottish ones don't. So I'm going to invite my... Where is he? My great chronicler to spread the news local, locally instead. So locally instead of nearby 20 percent chance of it spreading now and more stewardship all right all right all right all right we're really good on money now while we stay out of war so <laughs> i'm gonna go to start building for a while that's like a good idea and we finally finished retreating so we can now return to our home cumbrian catholics might be against me and let's going out inside the court 
My presence requested immediate a spat between Vittorio and William. The courtship must be awfully bored today, as many of them are here to observe. While the two bicker about tome collections were interrupted by a deafening crash, everyone in the room but me stagger as the wooden floor visibly buckles. God must be protecting me. As I'm seated in an alcove not affected by the disaster, those close to the door rush out, while others can do nothing but scream as the floor collapses. My eyes go between the two standing with me. So my marshal and bodyguard, or my teacher and archbishop and physician. So, we can try to save one of them. The other one might die. Or I watch in horror as they both get drenched. I will save my teacher. Luckily, William was only drenched in excrement. He did not die in the process. Better that could be. Can each county have only one legend? Um, that's a good question. Let's see. No, this one has both of them. They both have New Troy as well as the Great Deed for Dunkeld. So both of them are possible in one place, it seems. Um, my Seneschal has died. He's been a Seneschal for a very long time. Helped with control a whole bunch. We definitely need another of those. Also, Antiquarian, please. We have no good Antiquarians. And no Master of the Hunt. How do we keep losing Masters of the Hunt? Horse guy also needed. No, no Master of the Horse while actively fighting wars? Oh, the worst. Okay. The Papal Credit Card ready to go again. 500 money! Ha ha! <laughs> I hope that every player knows about the Papal Credit Card. It is just so much money for very, very little effort. I think the, the story is, just don't be sinful, okay thanks? I think that really is all you need to know. Let's make a building in celebration. Edinburgh will make an upgraded cow pasture called the Papal Farms. That's perfect. Hey, I have no money now. Well, I spent it all very aggressively. Oh, what happened there was going to see took all of our money. I didn't see how much it was going to cost. A grand entrance. I stand and wait clothes. I stand and wait clothes. Yeah. As Vittorio fusses about me adjusting my clothes. Sat by his work, he muses a little. I've been wondering whether you might consider a different style. I return his gaze with suspicion. Well, you've been trying to play up your ties to your forebearers. Perhaps it's worth thinking of presenting yourself in their image. So I could dress as the first Scots did. It's very likely that no one notices. We go with a stylistic hint, or I'm inspired by the past, but I do not defer to it. All right, if I do modern ruler, we get more prestige and such. But dressed as the first Scots, the legend may spread much more likely, but I'm not going to work out. Well, the style's a hint. At least makes it a little cheaper to upgrade whenever we get our 100 counties. Soon, 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 soon. Yeah, Chad Duke, we're definitely intending to uh, attempt to get Sons of Scotia done. We haven't gotten there quite yet. We got more taxes, lowered stress, we're rich again. We're out of the war. Sorry, HRE, Bohemia is definitely going independent. Is that what it's actually war for? What's the actual war target anyway? Czech Catholic Uprising. If it's enforced, other way, if it's surrendered, rebelling counties become an independent realm. So something Czech-wise, might be a problem there. We'll see, though. Okay. It's nice being at peace. What do you mean at we're at war? I think not. I think not. Um, we're still one over on holding size. Earlier I talked about getting rid of one, but because we're fine on money, I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to hold out until... Until what? I'm going to hold out until we have some more money and then possibly throw a feast. As you can see, we're still barely in Trestle Level 1. It's not the end of the world. We should probably just keep building, building, building. We do still have a claim on Iceland, don't we? We do. I need to go beat the Dickens out of Iceland, for sure. And then we did have a claim on 
Normandy. Yeah, unfortunately, with our son's claim, it was invalidated. A shame. Uh, friends, it is after 2.30 my time. We stream for about an hour longer than I usually do, so I've got to get going. I want to say thank you for hanging out today. I hope you had a lovely and good day. We spent a lot of time in Scotland. Uh, today, we went from being a minor count to instead the king of Scotland. Tomorrow, I don't know, tomorrow Iceland and working more on our legends. Uh, learning more about one of the new mechanics added to the game. Uh, maybe the Black Death will come eventually. It must sooner or later. Whichever way, thank you so much for your company. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you again tomorrow, tomorrow. Yes, indeed. It's time for a sandwich. I can't wait. It's going to be good. Tomorrow, more CK3, more hanging out and chatting. Thanks for the follows, the tips, the subs, the kind conversation, and everything in between. It was a good time for me, and I hope for you. Good night, friends.